Gospel sheets, rice papers, you name it. We are bringing the design this hour. Uh, we've got Debbie Moore. She is here. Normally she's in France. She's not. She's here à la hobby maker. À la maison de hobby maker. Uh, she is going to be here at 2 and 4 today. We've got mini books made easy with Debbie at 4. And we've got a brand new spring collection. Well, I say brand new. We've got the return of it in its paper format. We've also got digital downloads and we've got a USB format of it brand new for you this afternoon. Also, Craig Laird's going to be here. Yes, the king of Crafter's Companion with a brand new Paradise collection coming up this afternoon. So it's all going on. So that's the shows. Do you want to meet the people bringing you this glory? Shall we go into the dark room? Let's go into the dark room. Who's there? It's producer Laura with her gorgeous Titian hair. Go on, give us a shake of the old hair, Laura. Look at that. That, like she's just stepped out of the salon. Uh, and then we've also got in there as well, look, director Dan, 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 directing man, look at him. How's your arm, Dan? Last time I saw Dan, he had a cast on his arm. Is it all done now? Oh, apparently, you heard, I will just quote him, he had it off this morning. There <laughs> you go, there you go. Uh, well done. Uh, now, let's have a look who's in the light today. Oh, look, it's the smouldering Levi on cameras for the next four hours. There he is. Well, I say four hours, next seven or whatever it is, bless his heart. Uh, so that's Levi. And where's, where's, where's Lauren? Lauren, step into the light. Where is she? Oh, has she run off? Oh, she's, yeah. Is she there? I have no idea. Is that Becky? Who's that? Yeah. Is that well, <laughs> Becky and Lauren are out the back. There you go. They're there somewhere. Oh, there's Lauren. There she is. Bless her heart. There she is. Beautiful. And then Becky's here and Jimmy's here. They're all here, which is brilliant. Uh, look who's here guesting, everybody. It's the fabulous Sam Lang. God bless her heart. How are you, dear lady? I'm good. Thank you very much. You How good? are you? I'm not bad at all. Are you ready to bring the... Are you having a good scratch? Yeah. Are you ready to bring the bling? Just getting comfy, you know. <laughs> it was my leg. <laughs> which I'm glad about. You ready to bring the bling? I am, I'm, yeah. I think we're going to have very busy lines. We are talking That's Crafty, a brilliant company, and check this out, everybody. This collection that we've got for you, you are getting so much for such a little price. You've got three pots of the fabulous Gilding Flakes, Gorgeous colours here, Sam. They are. Just, well, you can use them on their own, mix them together. Just fabulous. So and you get those three. You're also going to get as well, look, you've got your two pots of gesso, your black and white. What is gesso for people that don't know? Well, these particular gessos are fab... Well, any gesso is for porous surfaces to prime so that you don't waste your good paint or you want a nice backing for your rice paper. Um, but these are purposely in this kit so that it doesn't swallow your gilding glue up. So you get those included. And what's our other two pots of joy there as well? What are they? That's your gilding glue and your varnish. So if you were going to use something like your gilding flakes for home decor, you would then varnish because you don't want them to tarnish. Oh, I like that. You've got to varnish if you don't want it to tarnish. Exactly. That's brilliant. Have it. you been thinking about that before? Huh? No, that just came out. Well, I'm loving that. It's That's going to be fabulous. one of these hours, isn't it? It is, isn't it? <laughs> can we talk about what you can make as well? It's a complete angel policy with that crafty. You can make what you like. Um, I just love gilding flakes. I mean, look at that. The edge decorated there, the lid of this box. And it just gives it that extra touch of va va voom, doesn't Decadence, it? isn't it? Um, and it all depends on the the way that you apply it, what you use, how you use it, and how much you use. So. I think it's fab, it really is. Now, also, we've got to be honest, producer Laura's not the only fox here today because, look, we've got a fabulous fox over here as well that has all been gilded to perfection. And I think, again, you can take a top or whatever it may be. Here it is, Mr Fox. But it just looks fabulous with that MDF covered in the gilding flakes. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's the, the MDF is fabulous, but the right... I mean, that is the rice papers and the MDF and the Golden Flakes. Uh, we have the MDF on the show, I am yep. going to say, because Sam is here for two shows today. I know you can do a bit more of an MDF workshop later, aren't you? Well, I'm going to split. I'm going to do a bit of card craft and a bit of MDF on both shows, so, I, so no one misses out. So one and five are your shows today, aren't yep. they? OK, let's have a look. So that's what you're getting. You are going to get the varnish, you get the glue, you get the two pots of gesso, the three pots of the Gilding Flakes as well. 28 49 I think it's a good price, but no, come on, let's give it a tickle. Bring on the chevrons of joy. Where are we going to go? 18 99 That, wow. I think, is fabulous. When you look at what you're actually getting there, check it all out. You are getting the three pots of the Gilding Flakes, and these are going to go a long way, because Gilding and flakes are always tightly jammed into their uh, uh, into their vessel. Flipping loop, lay there. You open it up, and you can never get them back in. 
So I would so. say, yeah. So you just, if you get yourself a little box with a lid, um, and if you pick like that, you could be the like the smallest flake, but you unfold it and it keeps unfolding, and it, it's just brilliant. It really is. Now, if you would like to order yours, let's all, by the way, can we get some names? We need to sort out our screen, by the way, in the studio, because it's got Sewing Street still on it. Uh, we'll get that. Oh, Jimmy's on it, bless his heart. Uh, if you do want to go for this, 18 99 is your price for this one. Your item code is NQ. That's nice quality. NQ3095 is your item code. You get your gilding glue, your gilding varnish, the two gessos, the black and the white, and the three pots of gilding flakes. I mean, literally, they are jam-packed. They really are. Three ways to order. You can either order via the phone lines. It is a free phone telephone number, 0800 001 4433. You can, of course, order as well if you want to via the app. If you've not downloaded the free Hobby Maker app before, please do it from your app store or your Google store or wherever you, wherever you get your app fix. Or you can order as well if you want to via the website. Jimmy, Young James, what is the website? All the W's what? That is the one. Do you want to put your hands in the air, like waving like you just don't care because you're on? There you are. <laughs> There he is, bless his heart. <laughs> Busy studio today. You just saw Debbie Moore as well. But you can see more of Debbie Moore at two o'clock. Uh, so that's your first collection. <coughs> Excuse me, if you would like to go for that one, pop that in your basket. Incredible value for money. Um, right. Let's do some more bling for you. Let's do our foil sheets. Now, our foil sheets, there they are, thank you. And you could see them in my face then. I was like, where are they? Uh, these are your foil sheets. Now, these are brilliant. We have got them in gold, and we've also got them in silver for you as well. Uh, and you do get not just the actual um, flakes, the, the actual sheets themselves. How many sheets do we get? 50 sheets, isn't it? 50, uh, 25 of those and 25 of those. And then you've also got the glue as well. Um, this is a brilliant deal. 16.99, I think, is incredible what? for this. I know. Can you believe that? But that's it. That's so good, isn't it? Um, why would you recommend this then, Sam? The sheets are most definitely more for your. I would normally use the sheets for a bigger surface area plus home upcycling, furniture upcycling. That's what I do with things like this at home is put stuff on for furniture. Oh, most definitely. It just looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah, so you've got your silver and you've got your gold. Awful. And they are blingy bling. Okay, now, are we under the air con? Because <coughs> I told them to turn it off before we came. Are you ready? Look at these. These are gorgeous. Uh, you're getting a lot per sheet. I mean, the sheets are about, what, about six by six inches-ish, I would say. Uh, and you are getting 15 of the silver. No, you're not. And you're getting 25 of the silver. That's, thank you. F 25 of the silver, 25 of the gold. So 50 in total. Yeah, absolutely. That's and again, fair. just make sure you get yourself a little box. Um, so any little runaway flakes mm. that you don't use at the time. I always think with gilding flakes and foil squares, it's an excuse to have a lovely Indian takeaway or a Chinese takeaway, because you know those little tubs that you get, use those afterwards. Yeah, definitely. <coughs> Whenever I start talking about Or ice cream goes, tubs. <coughs> excuse me. I've got water down there. I'll sort myself out in a moment. I'm just sounding like 0800 hobby maker. Um, <laughs> if you would like to order this one, HF, how fun. Uh, 3036 is your item code on that one. Again, busy lines for this. Well done to Leslie in Powys, Nadine in Greater London, and Helen in Cornwall. Already virtually 20% of these have gone. You are getting 25 of the gold, 25 of the silver, and you are going to get your foil glue as well. Uh, right, do you know what? I think it's time for a bit of inspiration. Who's going to bring the bling? Over to Sam. Right, okie dokie. So, do you want me to show you how to put a bit of rice paper on some card that, I've, that I have prepped? If that's what but you've got I planned. Just, it's, it, Are you going to be putting some bling on it as well? It is going to be blinged up, but I just wanted to show people that you can actually apply. Because we have got all the mediums on the show. We have indeed. Um, but if you don't want me to show that, that's fine, Nigel. I got the memo. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm just going to bring... Hang on. Da, 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 da. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll just shuffle over. So, I have done just that rice paper onto my cardstock. Um, and this lovely little piece has got a lovely, I would say, lily magnolia. Um, I have decanted some of my foil glue into these lovely little bottles that people use for their alcohol inks. Super duper um, inexpensive. Very much so. Okay. 
And this one has got like a, a little sort of give to the tip. So this is like a little plastic tip. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how you can use this freehand and accentuate the rice papers that are on the show. So just slowly bring that out. And I have basically traced around said flower so that we can then foil. So I'll just do this little bit and I will go straight on to the one that I have prepped and we'll get some bling on it. So I continued that, I mean, that's sticky. I can use that for another demo, but I'll just put that to one side so no one sticks a hand in it. And what I would do is I would go through all of the rice papers after the demo, because we've got loads of them. I'm getting them all out now so you can see them all. But the one that's on the screen at the moment is the one that Sam's using, but that's just one of five varied sheets in that particular collection. But back to Sam. So should we go silver or gold? Your choice. No, your choice. Oh, well, then silver. Silver? Okie doke. So I have got one of these. I think many crafters have got one of these A5 boxes. Um, and I haven't used the silver yet. You've not used the silver? Well, I am glad to be the one to pop your silver cherry. There you go. <laughs> very excited about. So, because it's quite a long piece that I have literally popped my gilding glue on. I'm going to bring that over here and do it the easy way. Are you watching? I am. The easy way is pressing your project into your foil. See, that's so fab. I'll just tear that a bit away. So you've got choices with this, Sam. You can either put it directly from the foil onto the glue think, or yeah, vice versa. I just think that is one of my top tips today, um, is taking the card to the foil, because it is such a flyaway. Um, do you know what words today? I know. We're 14 minutes in. You're here all day. What's the word you want? Product. Product, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we get there in the end, Sam, which is always good. Do you know? Right, so now that that's pressed onto the gilding glue, just give it a little bit more of a rub. Make sure it's taken to all of it. And my excess product has been put into my little tray there. I've just got a makeup brush so that's going to buff that into there and take off more of the excess so you can see the design from below coming through because obviously yep. where it's raised almost like a sort of emboss coming through there yep and then i'm going to get a stiffer brush and scuffle it off i'm going to put that on my desk is that a technical term scuffle it off scuffle I'm it off that. That's better. See, immediately, I mean, that's just so much better. I mean, it looked gorgeous before with the rice paper, but I love the fact that you can add that extra va va voom, that extra dynamism to the actual rice paper itself, to the design by just using those foil squares. Yeah, and you can, I mean, if you're handy with a rigger brush. A what brush? A rigger brush, it's a watercolour brush. Okay. Um, so it's a long, thin brush. If you are handy with your brushes, then you can just use your brush. You know, it's water-based, which we forgot to add. Um, so easy clean up. Um, I might have just gilded this a little bit too much. Um, just to say, if you do want your metal leaf set, that's your foil squares. Um, you get 25 of the gold, 25 of the silver, and the foil glue as well. Already, what stock did we say has gone on that? 20%, one fifth of the stock has gone and checked out already. Um, if you have it in your basket, you need to check out, because obviously the stocks are dwindling on that one. And there we have it. That looks fab, absolutely it looks, fab. It looks a lot better, a lot different, should I say. I won't say better, because the rice papers were fab. But I just thought you can really go to town or you can be as delicate as you like. This is it. You can highlight a certain area if you yep. want to or you can go full on bling right the way across. It's entirely up to you. Sam, get yourself ready for another blingy demo. I, I That'll haven't be my... finished it. Oh, you're not finished? No. Oh, Carol, sorry. Back to Sam. Thank you.
<laughs> so, because we need a sentiment for the card, I have used the same technique, and I have, you're not going to be able to see this yet, but I've used the same technique and used some hand lettering to make a brush hello. So you've written something on there with the glue? Yeah, I've written hello. And it will come up in a minute. But this, again, was the same technique. Oh, that's fab. And I did this in the green room. I thought, I definitely need a sentiment for that card. See, that's fabulous, isn't it? Because you can literally write out whatever you like. Exactly. So we'll trim that down, if I brought my scissors. Yes, I did. And then we'll glue this onto the card with the fab glue from That's Crafty as well, which Lovely. is the multi-purpose stuff. Obviously, do check out the entire range for That's Crafty. We've got lots on the show today. And there's also a brand shop on the website, of course, and the website, all the w's.hobbymaker.co.uk. So hopefully my glue is free-falling. I'm get this glued onto a bit of black card. And I have scuffled the edges of my rice paper as well, just to, I don't know, just give a, a little bit of texture to it. And then that black has highlighted the bit of black that's left in my uh, rice paper, which I haven't blinged up. Are you a blingy kind of girl? No. So no. this is a bit of a departure for you. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's out of my comfort zone at all. I've enjoyed it. Um, but, yeah, it is different to what I usually do. Um, it's nice, though, isn't it, sometimes to sort of think outside Yeah, the definitely, yeah. I think. I think so. I think that's lovely. So we could just pop that. I will edge it. The bit of black, just so it's in keeping You've with got the wobbly the mat. We had the wobbly mat yesterday. Lauren, do we have a... Well, Jimmy, do we have another mat? Because that one's all wobbly, isn't it? Yeah. It's really annoying. I think so. I think somebody's picked one of the feet off it. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jimmy's got one for your next demo. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you. Oh, you can do it now. You're very good. Thank you very much. There you go. <sighs> Is that better? Yay. Yes, no wobble. There's a bit of foil on it, though, now. Doesn't matter. You've blinged it up. That's good. There we go. So I've just edged that with a bit of archival ink. We've all got our favourite ink pads. And I get that sentiment down there as well. Yep. When my glue comes out. I think you might need to restock in the glue. I think so. I think so. There you go. I thought, I'll just bring the glue because it's quicker, it's easier. And I'll pop that there. That's perfect. I'm hoping I haven't done an upside down card. No. Well done. <laughs> And obviously, it's a complete angel policy. If people want to make cards for charity or for craft fairs, things like that, no Absolutely. problem. Absolutely. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Sam. Now you get yourself ready for your next demonstration. I will. I'm <laughs> going to go through the rice papers because we've got four sets of rice papers for you. The one that Sam was using was the Flowers 2, wasn't it? This one. So this is Flowers 2. You've got five rice papers. They're all different. So that's the first one. Uh, there you go, there's the price, by the way, 9 99 so These work out at £2 each, which I think is phenomenal. Uh, that's gorgeous. I love the fact with this one, you've got the outline. So if you are doing that foil glue technique and putting the foil onto it, you can see exactly where you want to go. So that's the first one. There's the second one that we've got for you there. The third one, a riot of colour. I mean, I love the fact you've got the smaller elements as well, like toppers and, you know, panels for cards and things like that, so you can cut down into these great snippability. That one, very classic as well. I love that. I love that. I don't know what those flowers are, but I like them. What are they, Sam? Are you good with flowers? What are those ones? Oh, they look like calla lilies. Is that what they are? Mm. Lilies. Yeah, Debbie Moore's nodding as well, so I will go with you ladies on that one. But they're gorgeous. Uh, and then you can see that's the final one for you. So that's the first one. That's Flowers 2, if you want to go for that one. Uh, DL3039, uh, 3039, your item code on that one. Uh, the next one for you, this is, let me tell Laura, this is Vintage Flowers that we've got for you here. So again, you've got five different sheets. Again, it's the same price. Um, this one is very vintage. It's got that lovely sort of antique weathered vintage kind of feel about it, hasn't it? With the deep blue of the flowers and then that lovely sort of sepia colour in the background. Uh, so you have that one. That's the first sheet that you have. Then we've got the second sheet for you there. I love it, like, almost like scrolls that you have here with the distressed edge. So that's the second one. Then we have the third one on there, you can see with the bird. 
uh, and the florals as well. Great movement with that one. Uh, that's number four that we have for you there, so that's included in the deal. And then finally, last but by no means least, it's that one. Rice paper's easy to tear into. I mean, obviously, you can cut them, but I think, I think tearing is always good. Uh, put them onto furniture, wood, MDF, glass, whatever you fancy, really. Home decor, crafting projects, entirely up to you. So that one is your set of five of the vintage flowers. Next up for you, we've got flowers, this one is called. Uh, so you can kind of guess what you're getting here. Funnily enough, the first one has not got flowers. This is just flowers on its own. Uh, so you can see this is the first one. They just got the leaves, actually. No flowers on that one, but... I love the fact that you've got the leaves, very autumnal. Oh, look at that, very dramatic. The poppies there looking gorgeous. Really vivid with the colours too. Uh, then we've got this one. Well, I love the kaleidoscope of colours on that, a real rainbow. It looks like a drippy effect, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? I love it, that very mixed media mm -hmm. That's very fab. So. Uh, then you've got this one, that's sheet number four that you have there. And then the final sheet, those sunflowers with that lovely blue centre again, which is just gorgeous. Uh, VR3062, that's the most popular collection so far. You're loving the flowers. Um, I think you like this one, though, because there's some cute animals on it. Uh, this is Tails that we've got for you here, T-A-L-E-S. Uh, you have got there, you can see you've got the owl. Then we've got our little bunnies. There you go, with our butterflies. You know that fox from earlier? Look, there's where he came from. There you go. So you've got the two fox there. I love this as well. Look at this. I'd like to live in this house. Mm. I'd like to live there, Sam. Would you? No. Okay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like broccoli. Well, yeah, but it's not. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's a tree. It looks like some sort of fairy, fairy play. On this fabulous sample. Ah, let's have a look. So we've got the tree house, and then we open up, and the elf. Oh, that's fab. See, I do think, I think it looks very kind of like mystical and magical. It does. Like broccoli. Uh, and then you've got this one. This is your final one. Hmm. The final one that we've got for you there, you can see the lovely fairy with the key as well. I love see, that one. She holds the key to the kingdom, not the key to the broccoli house. Uh -huh. uh, so 9 99 on that one. That's your tails if you would like to go for that. EL3049 is your item code on that. Uh, right, we've got some MDF on the show as well. Let me clear the deck so I can show you that. Uh, the big box that Sam was showing us before, well, just showing us there with the um, broccoli house. <laughs> uh, we have that for you on the show. Is it in there? Nope, that's just a box. Have we, have we got one of Have we got a finished no, sample of that? I have no idea. Uh, is it under the rice paper that you've just... No. No? No. Uh, we'll have a picture of it. Uh, so you can see it from Sam's sample. You've got a couple over there. So it's that lovely box uh, that will open so you can cover it accordingly. Uh, so fabulous. It could be a box or a book. And I must say that the design team, thank you very much, you've... Again, out past yourself, surpassed yourself, should I say. Um, so with something like this then, Sam, I mean, obviously 9 99 is your price. Do you build... Oh, you build it. That makes yes, sense to me. That's Sorry. Why I said. Here you Under go. The rice paper. <laughs> that makes sense to me now. <laughs> Sorry, Lauren, I had no idea. There you go. So this is what you're getting, and then you need to put it together. So take us through the construction of this. Super duper easy. You've got your base, you've got your four sides. Um, just make sure that you put... Um, there's, you've got like little hinges here, mm -hmm. so, you, so make sure you put that on one one side. It's the it's same the on that one as well. Oh, same yeah, 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 same um, construction. What so glue would we use? Multi-purpose. Ah. That's crafty. So that's what we use. Yeah. Uh, let me grab this one as well. Here you go. So you can have a look. Sorry, just whip that away. Uh, you can see, so you've got the design on the front. So who's done this? Because I mean, yeah. see, so take us to what Joe's done, because she's obviously used the gilding flakes here as well, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she has done. And if, um, if I am right, Joe, I think she's put texture paste behind the rice paper to make it look... Yeah, 3D. 3D. It's raised. It's brilliant. She's really good at that. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look. She's left me notes. Uh, rice paper, that's crafty sand, texture paste, there you go. Structure paste, uh, daily art gilding kit, multi-surface paints, Joe Channon, you're an angel, thank you Joe. <laughs> there you go, fabulous. Uh, so you have that, you'll be able to make things like that. 9.99 is your price there, CK3095, your item code on that one. Uh, now the two smaller boxes, the one that Sam just showed us as well, uh, you've got two of these for you. They come like this, so obviously you're going to get all of your bits and pieces to put together. Um, again, same principle. Exactly the same, really easy, straightforward. You'll know what bit's what. 
and that's what we want. Um, let's have a look at the um, samples as well for this, because I'm going to go and... There's, we've got some samples that are missing, and we will find them in between the one and five show, guys, so please forgive me. But this that's is Joe again. Is this Joe Channel again? <laughs> Joe, Joe Channel, I love you. Literally. Let's see what Joe has done. I can pretend now. Oh, yeah, I'm spotting rice papers, multi-surface paints on that, daily art gilding kit, and the pent art fine iron crackle. Has been used. Thanks, Jen. I know. She's so good. Um, but it's just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it takes a piece of MDF, which is, you know, useful but not particularly pretty, and makes it just look stunning. Yeah, absolutely. It is like a little bit of decadence, though, isn't it? Really just, is. It is just. Two of those you're going to get. If you want to go for that one, for 9 99 so that's a fiver. I mean, imagine, I mean, if you know, put something in there, some lotions and potions, tissues, whatever it may be. That's a really beautiful gift to give somebody as well. Uh, UP3091 is your item code on that one, if you'd like to pop that into your baskets. Now, we also have for you, oh, I've better pop Joe's note back in <laughs> for later. Uh, we also have for you as well these oval frames. Now, these are gorgeous. These are like little cameos that we've got here. Uh, do we have any samples? Yeah, this is the one that's around the fox, isn't it? You're going to get five five of these um, so again Sam something like this I mean you can see you can stamp onto it ink onto it paper onto it there's a lot of choices everything that you can do on paper you can do on MDF if, and you can do more um, obviously it's compressed paper it takes all your mediums as long as you put a good base on and you put gesso primer any primer and it, you're good to go honestly brilliant stuff I, mean, I love it as well. I mean, you can see here using the fairy from the rice papers collection, the tails that we had before. I just think, I mean, making something like that, that could be, you know, a beautiful Christmas. keepsake for somebody, but you could make it for Christmas. Christmas decorations, yeah. tree decorations. Because they are super to. light. Yeah, and they're, they're just super pretty as well. That's what I love. I mean, the fox, look. Got to give the fox a little bit of a spotlight again. Uh, UZ3091, the item code on that. You get five of the oval frames there from That's Crafty. Uh, so that's two pounds each. If you are making a set of decorations, I mean, how affordable is that? Again, don't forget, if you want to check out the entire That's Crafty range or check out anything from this show, all of the details are on the website, Levi, it's your moment. All the W's what? Tommymaker.co.uk. He's good. He's got lungs. Love it. Um, Sam, how do we follow that with a bit of inspiration? That how is cool. loud? <laughs> He's got the lungs. He projects well, does our Levi. So I'm going to do a bit of the pot, the daily art flake. So I'm going to show you just the, the basic bog standard application. So I am using the rich glue. I'm just pouring that on top. May I just add, I've already put um, some white primer on. Um, so I am just brushing that on, super simple, onto the surface that I want to gild. So this is all from our gilding set, of course, because you get loads in there. You get the varnish, you get the glue, you get the gessos, and you get the three pots of the gilding flakes in the silver, the gold, and that lovely kind of like bronze colour, the copper colour. So we can actually give this a little blast and dry it. It won't take long. I must say, if you are using a thick layer of the glue, don't heat dry Move it. Move that back into the centre of the screen first, darling. Thank you. I, it's Thanking just because that doesn't oh, reach. Oh. Let's blame it on our PowerPoints. They're too far away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you use a thick layer, don't heat set it because you'll just bubble it, uh, which is very unattractive if you're not going for that kind well, if, of Yeah, if you want that effect, it's great, but if you don't, yeah, you're like, oh, no. But, yeah, it doesn't take long to dry. And really gentle here as well. So that's preparing the surface for what we need to do next. Yep. So I'll get my box ready again. And that's a mixture of all of the flakes in there, isn't it? It is indeed. It's going to be even more now. So if I take some of these out and show you what I mean about my glove getting in the way. Look at that. There's loads in there, isn't there? It's jam. It's fully compacted. And it just keeps going. It And that's just one flake that is just folded and folded and folded. 
Would you recommend people sort of decanting it all into like a little plastic container or something like that? If it's easy for you, yeah, you can do. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite happy doing it this I mean, look. I know. Never do it under the aircon because quite frankly, no. you'll turn your house to look like the crystal maze. When my the, when house the and my carpet, even after I hoovered, I think my doggy looks all blingy. Oof. So... It is gorgeous, though. I think whatever it goes on, it's going to make uh, them look even better. Yeah, and don't... I found out that don't overbrush it when you are pressing it into your surface and you're trying to get the excess foil off. Don't overbrush it, because it, you will dull it. Um, so you can go too far. So popping loads on there, Sam. I am. Um, you've got loads to play with, haven't you? Yeah, and then it will just all go in one pot. So I'm just making sure. It does look like a dog's dinner, though, at the minute, doesn't it? Well, you say that. I kind of think it looks like a glorious work in progress. So just get every little bit covered, and then I'll try not to breathe on it. And then you've got your sponge there, or is it a brush you're it's using? It's my there? brush. It's just a really soft makeup brush. Obviously, a new one. <laughs> so it's good. So it's agitating all of the extra kind of like foil and putting it back in the uh, in the pot ready for next time and it buffing is it all indeed. up. It kind of like gives it extra shine, I feel, when you do that, doesn't it? Um, it does, yeah, because there's quite a lot compacted on there still. I'm still going to get more off in a minute. Um, your first brush gets the majority of it off. I've obviously got some glue there. <laughs> this is the basic bog standard thing to do with your foil. Well, if that's the basic bog standard, I hate to see it if you put some effort in. Do you know what I mean? It's like, because that looks great. I will just get the excess off now, and this is where you will get more flakes off. Obviously, everybody at home as well, if you have used the Skilling Flakes before or you've blinged something up, we'd love to see it. Oh, yeah, please. Do send your pictures in. Always good. Uh, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk is the address for your emails. And if you do send a picture, guess what? You could be the winner of our next £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account. Send in your photos and the next winner will be picked at random during the 7pm show on the 27th of April, which I believe I'm hosting, actually. So I'd be nice to give away £100. It could be you. Send your pictures. She's in now, back to Sam. I am putting my lids on. <laughs> Very wise. And I'm just moving my little tray over there. So on the show, we've got some daily art crackle. We do. Um, we bring this quite often because, I mean, it is a fab uh, product. Um, and I'll tell you and I'll show you another reason why it's excellent. Now, the crackle is fabulous. Do we have a sample that's been crackled in the studio? Let me have a look. I you have got to... my... Oh, you've got it there. Because right, this lovely. is the demo, so shh, we haven't, no. There isn't one in the studio at all. Well, there is. It's coming up. Uh, this is with crackle. If you want to go for the crackle, this is what you're actually buying, this fabulous pot like that. Uh, so that is going to allow you to do fabulous things. You will see in a moment when Sam lets us see all. So I'm just putting this on with a palette knife. You can put it through a stencil that we've got on the show. It also comes with a bitumen. It does. It comes with a bitumen, the water-based, um, what do we call it? The water-based imitation as well. What is that? What is bitumen? It's, it, it basically ages your, pro uh, your project, so like really... Isn't bitumen dark. like tarmac? Isn't it's that what they call it? Yeah, but it's that kind of colour. Oh, I like the look of that. I've never seen that before. Yeah, well, I, I'm using it in a minute. All right, lovely. It's me told. Yeah. Do you know, again, preempting all the time. I'm just getting excited, I like to call it, Sam. Excited. There you go. Excited. There you go. So that's really easy. Okay. Pop that to one side. And then, et voila, I didn't expect this. Lovely. Here's the crackle. So... I was expecting just the crackle to crack, but it actually crackled my foil. That's just fabulous. Which it was just an, an amazing, pleasant surprise. Hold that up to our Levi so we can get in close on that, because it is incredible when you see the foiling that's cracked on there as well. 
that just looks so aged and weathered. It doesn't look like you did it, you know, today. No, no. It's incredible. So I wanted to show you the bitumen on there and then to show you how to file maybe a couple of edges on the box, but in a, a different way. Okay. So let's get this bitumen on. And this, I've brought my cloth, thank goodness. So I'm just going to add a tiny little bit on with a brush. You don't need a lot. I'm amazed you get both this and the crackle for under a tenner. Wow. I know, 9.99 for this, SX3012. And this yeah. is going to go a long way, isn't it? Cause it does. Nice, it's, it's got a really, real low viscosity. So it's quite thin. So it does spread quite a long way. And I'm assuming, obviously, because it's going on black, but it's not going to stay black, Sam. No. no. You rub it back and it gives it a lovely aged look. So pop that to one side. And we'll so would you always use like a microfiber cloth? Um, yeah, you don't want any extra fibres in there. Microfiber, it's really, well, there's no, you won't get any excess uh, pieces of cotton or wool. So or don't do it with like a kitchen roll or anything? No, you'll, no. That's fab. And that has just aged it. It also looks kind of like, like parched desert floor or like dinosaur it skin looks, or something, doesn't it? It just looks amazing. I couldn't believe that it cracked my foil. It was just like, oh my goodness. And I think it's just because it's shrinking. You know, because it's pulling away from each crack, it literally pulled the foil off the, the glue. So it was a very much pleasant surprise because I do love my crackle. But it's kind of like mixing and matching your um, That's Crafty projects. It, it is, sort of yeah, like absolutely. Together. Experiment and see what's what. That is brilliant, Sam. What's next? So I will show you um, another technique that I haven't... Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to put a bit of the gilding glue onto the glass mat. Tiny bit, because I won't. So is this the glue that comes with the it can be foil either. sheets? It can be either, but okay. I am using the rich one at the minute. So that's the one that comes with the foil sheet, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So I've got a natural sponge that I've cut up, and it's got this beautiful texture. Just free texture. What are you giggling at? Because Danny Mayer said it looks like a crumpet, and he's not wrong. <laughs> it does. So, because of that gorgeous I texture. I can get away with nothing with Sam, let me tell you, honestly. It's like having a very old school teacher. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. It's all right. I'll forgive you anything. <laughs> um, so, that's just going to give it a different look and a different feel. And that will dry superbly quickly. I actually disagree with that. I don't think it's crumpy. I think it looks like sourdough bread. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it does. My husband started making his own. Ooh. Well, I say his own. Obviously, I eat it too. But yeah, because he's just discovered he's pre-diabetic. So he started making ah. um, his own sourdough bread, which I'm very happy about. Not the diagnosis, but the... Uh, the I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I love a bit of sourdough. I do. It's gorgeous. Mm. So give that a quick waft again. And then for this one, I will just use the little bits that are in my box and just... See, that, those gilded plates, immediately, it just looks just so much more fabulous, to it, doesn't yeah. it? Do you think you could be, could be converted to being a blingy kind of girl then now, from now on, Sam? I think, I think the foiling sheets yeah. are like my best friend at the minute. I feel they've won you over. They have. I've, I've been thinking outside the box, especially with like um, the little alcohol ink bottles and things and freehand in my, um, you know, my handwriting. You've been thinking outside the box and also foiling the edges. Yeah. yeah. And then putting lots of foil everywhere else, including my doggy. Doesn't matter. I'm sure your dog's very happy about that. <laughs> I doubt it. Chihuahua. A oh, really? Long chihuahua. What's so. your chihuahua called? Zsa Zsa. Oh, that is the campus name ever. What, named after Zsa Zsa Gabor? 
That's the campest name ever. I love that. Uh, I thought me having a cat called Beverly Denise was camp, but my word, it's a chihuahua called Jar Jar. That's brilliant. Yeah, she's 15. <sighs> she's so old. I love that awesome. in my ear. They're like, who's Jar Jar Gabor? Jar Jar Gabor, they were the famous Gabor sisters from back in the day. If you think about the Kardashians now, they were like the Kardashians of their time. That's probably the easiest way to describe them. There's Zsa Zsa Gabor. Uh, there was Jar Jar Gabor, and then there was, um, what was this, sister? Eva Gabor? There was oh, like I three don't of them. know. There was Eva Gabor. I think I've got Raja a file on my face. Another Gabor. And they were like, I think they were married like about three million times between them. Google them online. There you go. They were like, I feel like the Kardashians of the day. And they have, you look like you've been really careful, but it's the sponge that's done all the work in the foil. I just think it's lovely. I mean, that does look now like an antique aged box from some emporium somewhere. Do you know what I mean? That you found on a shelf. It looks fab. Yeah, it does. It looks beyond fab. I love it. Um, if you would like to go for the metal leaf set, don't forget you are going to get 25 sheets of the silver, 25 sheets of the gold, and you are going to get your foil glue as well. So your imitation leaf foil sheets. I'd get them out, but they're going to often They will. Uh, so if you do want to go for that, sixteen ninety nine is your price on that one. Stop from that is dwindling quite Quite rapidly a third of that stock has now gone uh, right now we've also got some stencils for you today as well from that's crafty uh, which one should we do first let's do this one the words I like this this is the um, yeah the words that we've got for you here you can see we've got my adventure ideas travels dream story journey love secrets times memory life our thoughts art creative uh, it's a very kind of like it's almost like a kind of like military font isn't it, it yeah and it's brilliant that it's got quite a wide um, space between the words, so if you're not too good at being careful. Yeah, with your paste and stuff. Yeah, because, I true. mean, you do have to tape some of them sometimes. But I love the fact that you've got, what, one, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, you fourteen, sixteen words there. You make sentences. Sixteen words there, so yeah. you can make things up, like our creative My thoughts. love story, our Let's love see. story. Isn't that funny? I went down the creative thoughts and you went down the love story route. Yeah. That must say something about us, must not it? Mm. What else have we got there? Lo love time. That's what I'll have. Uh, there you go. Uh, ZW3017 is your item code mm -hmm. on that one. That's the words. It's an A4 stencil. Think about all of those mixed media projects, putting that onto canvas, things like that. But also on your paper crafting projects too. That's going to be good. Love dreams. Had a few. Uh, ZW3017. Brand new today for you there. Uh, now these you're going to love. You've got two stencils in this selection. You get the butterfly, which is a good sized butterfly. That is a good sized butterfly. Uh, then you've also got your daisies as well. You get the three daisies for you there. Uh, so you can obviously make up a bouquet or use them singularly if you like. Um, something like this, Sam, and when you see this immediately, I mean, that's a real focal point, but I love the fact with that one in particular, you could build that up to be whatever you wanted. Yeah, I'm using that in the next hour. Uh, the butterfly with the samples that are missing, oh. um, which are Shelley's, um, She's used that big butterfly and it's stunning. We will try and find that for the five minutes show. They're here absolutely. somewhere. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I, I'm going to send you off like a crafty bloodhound no, after the show I'm to track it down. Going for a coffee after this. Mate. Nobody's going to mess with you. They're, it'll be gonna, Jimmy. Exactly, it'll be Jimmy <laughs> versus Sam. Where are the samples? <laughs> I'm gonna, it's like it would be a, like a pay-per-view, isn't it, that match? I would love that. Uh, so if you want to go for those stencils, 11.98, brand new today. Uh, AP3085 is your item code on that one. AP Ace Product, uh, 3085. Uh, we've had a question in. We are live and interactive. Let's have a look. Uh, ooh, what's the question? This is from Karen. She says, hi, Sam and Nigel and the crew. Hi, crew. Uh, which rice papers are the birds on, please? I shall tell you now. Uh, OK, so they're not on that one, which is... I think they're... Yeah, well, they are. Now, OK, I'm just going to say, because I'm going to go through all the birds for you. So this one, Vintage Flowers, there are some birds on there. There are. I mean, you've got the birds at the top there, you see. So there are birds. So if you want to go for that one, if that's what you meant, that particular one, because you've got birds on there as well. Uh, but I don't... Oh, no, maybe you see. I think this might be the one that you're talking about, because look. Oh, no, maybe this is a singular bird this time. This is flowers two. So, again, you do have a bird on there. You've got the blue tit at the top, of course. Uh, but you've got the other flowers in that one. And that's the one that Sam used earlier for her designs. I've got to make sure I keep these in the right order. But I think you are probably thinking about this one, tails, because in here you get the fairy. You are getting the, well, I think magical, lovely, mystical house. Sam thinks broccoli. Broccoli. Uh, you are getting the, it's, it's, 
It's, it, I was going to say with that... Cauliflower. The, it's cauliflower florets, isn't it? If we're going to go down the vegetable route, yeah, right. to be honest, uh, then we've got the fox. <laughs> so you've got the foxes there. You've got the bunnies... And then you've got the owl. So I don't know. I, I don't know what you're referring to with the birds, to be honest. But I'm thinking. I think it might be the vintage one. Yes, I think it might be. Yeah. But I mean, you've got that. I've taken you through all of You'll the feathered friends that we've got there. Karen. So good luck with that one. Let us know if that's all right for you, darling. If not, email back and let me know, and we'll have a closer look for you. Uh, right, what's next? Uh, let's mention the paints while we're here because we've got a fabulous selection of paints. Full set of twelve here. Why would you recommend these paints, Sam? Multi surface. So they go on your MDF, your paper, your cardboard, uh, your glass, your plastic. Um, yeah, fabulous. Uh, we've got fabulous colours for you here. Here are all 12 of your colours for you. 34 99 is your price on this one for a set of 12. DM3024. So these are your 12 colours that you have here. So you've got Christmas red. I'm going to say Christmas schmishmas. You could use that all year round. Yeah, definitely. That's love red, that's poppy red, that's Santa's outfit red, Make it that's pink Valentine's with the white. red. Whatever you fancy, really. Uh, then you've got your chestnut brown, you've got your orange, which is really zingy. Uh, real men wear orange, just saying. Uh, mustard yellow, we've got light blue, we have teal, we've got ocean, we have purple, green, grey, black, and then the white. Obviously, the black and white means that you can kind of lighten or darken any it's of the others. Yep, which absolutely. is brilliant. So, if you'd like to go for that selection there, DM3024, 34 99 is your price, is it not? Yes, it is. Lovely. Just checking. Uh, so if you want to go for that one, it's two ninety one a pot, which is good value on those. And as Sam said, they will cover a multitude of surfaces. Um, do you fancy getting another demo in? I will show you something really cool with the gesso primers. Lovely. Sold. So. Loving that idea. Right. If you want the gesso on its own, by the way, we do have that. We have it as part of a collection, but we do have the black and white duo uh, on its own. So let's have a look. There you go. So we've got those two on their own if you do want to go for them. The black gesso and the white gesso. It's your primer. It's your base. It can be sort of function, but also it's very fashion as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so gesso is perfect because if you spend a lot of money on your paints, because some of us do, um, you use gesso and that means the MDF or the porous surface that you've put it on isn't going to soak up all that paint and you don't use as much. Um, and then it gives an even coating. So this gesso paste that is in the gilding kit is super thick, okay? So if I just put the word art... on my bit of card. Nice. It's a great font, isn't it? What, it wasn't Dad's Army, what was it? It's very mash. That's it. It's mash. Yeah. Again, before most Granddad people Granddad used the to watch time. that. You may, you may have seen it on a rerun. Um, I do like this typeface because it's very, it's like camouflage, military, mash kind of vibe, isn't it? But also it's very, um, I think, very um, non-specific. generic, gender. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to get my heat gun, and we're going to give this a blast. Rah. And this, this will dry raised as well, won't it, Sam? Uh, it will do, yeah, but watch this. OK. <laughs> I love it. It dries even more, with the raises more. What, it puffs up a bit? Yeah. OK, I'm going to get Levi. Can we get in really close and it puffed up? Oh, it started, I look. Puff up. I'm going to get Levi to get his extender out for you. <laughs> I love that. I'm being asked in my ear if I drive an Audi. Obviously, something in the car park going on. No, I wish. I've got a little VW up. There you go. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Then that will allow you to... That, does, that has raised up, hasn't it? Yeah. So if I just dab that with a bit of the glue... I mean, you can put the... Um, stencil back over what i will say is if you do get any of this glue on your stencils put it straight into warm soapy water otherwise you will not get that stick off i'm telling you it will not come off even with alcohol wipes okay i'm intrigued so you added the foil glue on the top there yeah, yeah? okay and you can obviously pop some foiling on there to make it even more fabulous. Yeah, and this was Shelley that showed me her 
butterfly and I was like, why is that raised? What? And then they told me and I was like, no way. So obviously I tried it. See, crafter, inspiring crafter. Yeah. It's great. We've got a brilliant team. So I'll get some of that on now, there. The Gilding Flakes, definitely the star of the show. The Gilding Flakes in our main collection, of course. You get the three pots of the Gilding Flakes. You've got the silver, the gold, and that lovely kind of like coppery bronze. Uh, you also get both gessos, the black and the white. You are going to get your varnish, and you've also got your foiling glue in there as well. So it's a really good composite. Um, Composite collection that you've got there. Uh, 18 99 Phenomenal price, I think, on that one. And apart from good. that little bit of glue I got on there. But that's the imperfection that makes it perfect. Well, that's why you would probably put your stencil over. Yes. If you wanted it. There you go. That's fab. That Love that. That's fab, doesn't it? There you go. Love it. I could probably scuffle that a little bit more, but but yeah, it it stays raised, which is it, it's a fantastic product. Yeah, I've got too much foil on there. So that was the gesso that we used initially. Yeah. And then we've heated it, puffed it up, and then obviously we put, put the foil glue, glue on the top, on. and then put the foil um, the foil sheets on the top or the gilded yep. flakes on the top. Whatever you'd uh, like fabulous. to use. And um, if you do want to go for the gilded flakes, they are part of this fabulous collection that we have over here. You are going to get three pots of the gilded flakes. You get the silver, you've got the gold, and then you've also got the copper in there. And they are good sized pots that you are going to get here. There's a lot of flakes jammed into these pots, believe you me. Um, I will say, please don't open them under the air conditioning because, like, literally, <laughs> or, you know, or ne near a window or whatever, that's just, or, you know, if you're doing it in the garden in the summer, don't open them out there because the merest gust of wind and your house will literally be covered. But, you know, pretty, but covered. Uh, you are going to get the uh, gesso in the black and the white as well. Uh, you've also got in there, too, you can see that you've got your varnish and you've got the glue. 18.99 is your price for that one. NQ3095 is the item code. Uh, don't forget, if you want to add that into your basket with anything else, we do have a cap P and P here at Hobby Maker of just 3.95 for the entire day, regardless of weight, size, quantity. Any order from midnight one night, so we're Friday, aren't we? So from last night midnight until midnight at the end of Friday, uh, all of your orders just one P and P of 3.95 here in the UK, no matter where you are. And if we ship things to America. Not sure it applies on this show, but if we do, then it's a capped shipping and handling of $12.95 for the entire day as well, which is brilliant. Three ways to order. You can either order on that free phone telephone number. Free phone. Love that. Um, 0800 001 433. The call centre, they're just up there. Well, they're just up there, actually. They are over there waiting for your call right now, so you're not phoning the other side of the world. You can, of course, order via the Hobby Maker app as well. Download that app for free from your Google Store or your App Store. Or, of course, if you want to, you can use the wonderful Web of Dreams. Yes, the Hobby Maker website. What is the address? There's only one man to ask. Levi, all the W's, what? Hobbymaker.co.uk. Very good. Very, very good. Sam, you're back at five. What can people expect? A uh, bit more MDF with the larger box um, and some more stencil in fun. Lovely stuff. So join Sam for that at five o'clock with Davey B. I'll be back after the break with the lady that gives us more, more, more. And that's how we like it. <laughs> Debbie's here. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card?
never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobby Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Good afternoon and welcome back to Hobby Maker. My name is Nigel May, but there's only one name on everybody's lips today. <laughs> Look, it's Debbie Moore, Moore, Moore. How are you? Hello. Mwah. Mwah. Now you live in France. How many kisses do we have to do? Is it like three? We'll four? do another one. Mwah. Love it. Oh. oh, that's five. Three. I love that. <laughs> We've now had five. This is a good show already. Um, it is a brilliant show, not just for the kisses, because we have got the return of a collection that you loved before in its paper format at the perfect time of the year. Welcome to spring. Debs, I mean, we've got so much more as well, but this yeah. is a returning favorite. Tell us about this I collection. I mean, this is the welcome to spring that was only on a few weeks ago. Yeah, so very successful, very and popular. And honestly, with this, there's so much on here because I've given you, you know what I like about giving you more? More, more, more. Uh, and uh, dimension. Yeah. So this, in this kit, you have got what I call the basic paper crafting. When, then what we're looking at, gorgeous envelopes. I'm gonna show you how to make the most Delicious, it's the only word, it's just lo lovely envelopes to go with it. And then you've got the toppers in there, you've got side scenes. Now, if you've never seen a side scene, where have you been? I've been doing this now five years. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. It's like Look, it's one of those it classics. goes completely flat in an envelope and it creates a dimension. I mean, they're so cute. And because it's a printed kit. Whenever you get a printed kit, I'll give you more. I'll give you the forever code. Well, this is the thing, because obviously with something like this, because these are consumables, they will run out. Once you've used the sheet, it's gone. But not with Debbie Moore, because she gives you that forever code that basically means that you can print these out time and time again, because you will have that code to download them. It is, which means then you can make a baby little side scene. So sweet. Um, so, so Debs, how many sheets are we actually getting in here? Because so you've got about you 56 getting, sheets. Yes, 56, as it is. Which means that you will, by printing it off, you've got more options. For and if you, even if you're thinking at home, oh, I don't do printing off, you'll know somebody that does. Keep the, you'll get a sheet in the kits uh, and you'll be able to 
Print it off as many times as you want for charity of yourself. Enjoy creating Complete our angel, angel policy. policy. I mean, look how adorable they are. Well, they're going to be perfect, aren't they? You mentioned charities, for like animal charities and things like that. But also, finally, you know, spring has kind of sprung. I mean, yes. I love it. You know, we're, we're spit off like mid-April, aren't we? We're never beyond mid-April now. Is it what's the date? 19th? 18th? 19th, 19th yes. of April. So Middle we are like way past mid-April. It's like spring should have been here ages ago. It's like finally it feels like we're getting some decent weather. Haven't looked outside today. It might be raining. I have no idea. Uh, I've but got you, nice weather. Huh? You mean you live in France? <laughs> Thank you, Ted. The weather uh, there is magnifique. <laughs> Here it's a big pile of something else. Uh, to be fair, spring is everywhere. As I was driving in to Hobby Maker today, there was little baby lambs dancing in the field. And I was just like, perfect, I love it, you know. We hired them just for you. Did you hire we them did. for me? Oh my goodness. I, I, do, I went to Bella. Oh, isn't that so cute? They are, though, superbly cute. This kid is cute, very busy for this. But what price? Because look, we've got big pound signs on our screen. But of course, we can get that price down. $29.99 for this entire collection, under £30. You've got your toppers in there, your envelopes in there. You've got your bows in there as well. You've got your wording, your sentiments in there, your toppers. You've got everything you need to make a, you know, a huge plethora of cards. Definitely. And then with that forever code, printed out time and time again. Which means that you can print things off at different sizes, create uh, 3D effects more, and also the envelopes. So you've got, you've got square envelopes in there. Mm -hmm. If you want more, we'll be having more on the USB key coming up. But this kit is a great way just to welcome to spring uh, if you would like to go for this one it's yq6196 is your item code don't forget three ways to order uh, website or of course via the app or of course via the phone lines it's free phone tele telephone number entirely up to you uh, we also have this on a digital downloads as well for you and we've got something a little bit brand new for you as well today. If you are loving spring and you would like it, well, if you would like spring to be str sprung whenever you fancy it, then we've definitely got something for you. The USB is with us today. Now, Debbie always puts the entire collection for onto the USB, but that's just the beginning. You always add more, don't you? I do. I, I think... I think it does say there's 1,500, but there's more, everybody. I can't, because I have, to, I have to decide what we're going to do beforehand. And so I think, right, 1,500. But then I add more, and you end up with 2,000, 2,500. So and that doesn't include resizing. So you have choices. They're all on the website now. You can go for USB, digital downloads, or the paper collection. Uh, let's have a look. Let's make something, because obviously, whichever one you're going for, you're going to get beautiful imagery that you can do fabulous things with. Debbie, over to you. Right, we're going to do a side scene. Lovely. There's one next to you. I absolutely love these, okay? Uh, of course, I've gone with pink to start off with. Um, Debbie always thinks pink. Now, when you get them home, okay, whether you're going for um, the main kit or don't forget, these will also be on the USB key. They've got instructions. I've even done a little diagram so you can see what you're doing. Okay, so to start off with, what you need to do is cut out the main bit. Now, as well as creating side scenes, you can actually use them for just base cards. And then this, if you have a look at this, this <laughs> is full. And you only need about this much. And then the idea is you can decide if it's an anniversary, a birthday, good luck, a thank you card. Who doesn't match. want a piglet on a thank you card? Well, th I, show Wearing me that daisies doesn't... in their hair. I will have words for them, quite frankly. If it hasn't got a pig with daisies in its head, don't come knocking at my door. So, so what I've done already for time, I've already cut it out, okay? And then these are the main mechanism for side scenes. So everything's done for you. You've got these two sections, which is on the diagram, and this bit. And then, as you can see, I've got loads more, which I'll come to it later. But to get started, you always need to, once you cut it, you score. You've got broken lines on there, so I just need my paper trimmer. Let's say, Catherine, in Lancashire, you are in. Thelma in Wiltshire, Deborah in Kent, you are all there. Congratulations. Don't forget to check out your baskets to secure your purchase. I have joined. I have to wear glasses now. Oh, Debbie, do you know what? But they are cool specs. Yes. Somebody said, why didn't I get pink? Well, I bought two pairs. One for close, which is green. Yeah. And black is for driving, so I know which is which. OK. No, I don't blame you. OK. So all I'm doing to start off with is I'm using an embossing tool. I'm using the channel on my paper trimmer. You can use an, uh, a scoreboard to do this, but you simply just score. And if you haven't got those tools, just use the back end of uh, a tool and a ruler because you're literally putting these little score lines in. 
So they are the inside of the card. Now it's designed so you don't have to think about it. In other words, this will create that wow factor in minutes. I've done all the measuring for you. You simply follow the instructions and you become the designer. You decide where you want to put everything. So it's build a piglet scene. <laughs> <laughs> so what you've got here is you fold this forward and fold this back. The type of card that we're doing is this one. But if you can get, I don't know if you can reach it, on the other side of there is a purple one. one just here. There's a purple deer. It's showing you that you can be inventive, just the purple, that one there. I have changed, I've given you, I've re, this one I changed last month, I reinvented, after four years I thought we need to do something different. So I reinvented and did a aperture window. Nice. So this is done with the same elements, okay? Same formula, different configuration. Yes, different configuration. So what I'm trying to say is it's been designed with the diagram to look like this, which looks amazing. So you can have it like this or you can have it that way, whichever way you want to. You'll see that the designs are very easy, whichever way you want to have it. Mm. Or a beautiful fallback card. So it's multi-directional. Oh, I forgot this bit. So you need to make sure you actually score all four sections of them all. Now this is what happens. How can I lose a tool in two seconds? There it is, under your glasses. Thank you. That's you're very you, welcome. That's why you're here, Nigel. Thank <laughs> you. That's, that's my function. That is your function. Ironically, it was under your glasses and you couldn't <laughs> see it. There you go. Well, you know, I'm new to this. It's, I think it's about six months now. I keep putting the glasses down. Well, it's a simple rule. If you want to see, you need to put the glasses on. I've learned that because I leave my glasses everywhere. But it's like, only... Where are they? For really close work, I can see this, but the broken lines, I need to wear my glasses mm -hmm. because I wanted them faint enough so people didn't see them. Because if you want to people want to sell these cards, they'll be amazing. Well, this is it. I mean, if you've got charities uh, you want to make cards for, you've got craft fairs coming up because, you know, well, hopefully some craft fairs going on and stuff, um, it would be very nice to, like, get, you know, make cards that bring people to your stand to get a bit of money. Would help if it's on public. Could I uh, have some... Jimmy, can we get a wet wipe, please? Is that what you wanted? Yes. There's plenty of glue in. Ah, oh, there we go. There you go. Because I made sure I got a new glue. Because <laughs> normally I'll come and I forgot that it has run out. There we go. So this creates the mechanism. So did you fly over? Or did I you did. Fly over? Oh no, I, drew, I flew over. Oh, how lovely. It was great. Uh, and I, um, every, you know, I was thinking, oh, should, maybe I should have a nap. But I ended up designing a new collection. Well, I was going to say, the <laughs> flight from here to France is it's not that long, is it's it? It's an so hour that, and a half. So I, I got a little level. glass of wine, uh, pretzels. Nice. A lovely pretzels. And... Uh, you know the um, cream cheese and chive one? Um, I don't know. Whichever one, they only or had that. Sour cream and yeah. chive, whatever. But they were lovely. Lovely. Uh, and then, literally, I need to... Oh, I might have some whites. Have you got one? There you go. Oh, you've got some. Fabulous. Bella, she's so organised. She's so good. Is she here today in the green she room? She is in the green room because we're on Sewing Street tomorrow. The lovely Bella. We are launching a new, two new collections. That's exciting. Yes. So... Going back to this, so this is called build a scene, which means these are plain, so you can decide what you're going to do. So you put a bit of glue on and you go from the bottom up, like so. And what you need to make sure you do is when you line it up and you're happy to where it's going to be, like I've just done that there, you fold that down so you know it's going to go so flat. And then the next thing is laying everything up. So I want to put my little character, he's going to go on there. I've got my... Uh, sentiment there. If you want to grab this next one that's there. This one here? Yes. So it's just to show you that you can keep on adding. So that's essentially what you can end up with if you want to use all the elements. But it's so much fun, everybody. So you can literally make it as like and a flamboyant as you like, can't yes. you? Yes. You can keep on adding. I'm just going to keep going glue, add foam pads on there, add more flowers. These images are so cute. That pig is so cute. He is adorable. Yeah, it's very what's that? What, what's that? Oh, oh, what's that story? Charlotte, what, Charlotte. Charlotte's Web. Yes. Charlotte's Web. There you go. Yep. Pigs of our time. <laughs> Charlotte's Web. Babe, and then Miss Piggy. All, all I'm doing. Pig, pigs in Space. <laughs> Do you remember that? Do you remember Pigs in Space? No. Muppet Show? No, no. Do you remember Pigs in Space? That was brilliant. And that, Why would I remember Michael, that? Michael, <laughs> how old are you, Michael? 32. 32. You, you, you won't remember Pigs in Space either, then, will you? You are my only hope there. On the Muppet Show back in the day. It was very good. Right. OK. So as you can see... Look at that. It goes completely flat. And then 
because I'm not finishing it all and I want to squeeze in, here is the envelope. I love the envelope. I mean, can you imagine if that landed on your doorstep? You would literally, or your doormat, you would be literally, that would be the first thing you would open. There's not going to be a gas bill or a you know, council tax demand in there, is there? You know it's going to be something <laughs> fabulous. Well, it would be funny if but somebody obviously, does. Obviously, <laughs> if I owned a gas company, maybe I would start putting things in that to break the... Uh, <laughs> you know, to soften the blow. So this is printed on a majestic gloss, which gives the colours amazing. Now, if you want this paper, we have this on today's show as we well. Do. OK, this is the gloss one. It's the end one. Oh, no, the middle one. It's Thank in you. there somewhere. Sorry. It's in there. It's 25 sheets. Oh, you were right. The end one. That one. <laughs> that one. The one that's the majestic Thank gloss. You. Yeah. So you've got 50 <laughs> sheets of that one if you want to go for it. Uh, for your gloss paper, we'll bring the details of that one up for you. So that's the one that you would recommend for your envelope. Yes. For a bit uh, of sheen. Yeah, well, if you, want, if you like math, go for the satin. That's quite... Or if you want to go even special, there's a pearlised one now. Now, what I've done is I've just cut out the white bits because, obviously, these have come like I showed you. And, obviously, if you're going for the USB key, same principle. Now, with the card kit, you get the forever code. How cool would it be to make a little small envelopes and somewhere in here look at this one this is made from the kit that you have lois has done this one lovely i mean you're right for anybody who makes cards for charity this is a lovely one or you know i would love to receive these they're just so fun i just love the fact that you've got a card and envelope that go together that's the wonderful thing for me that's the you know that co correlation that sweet there making sure that everything looks pretty so you you literally score the lines as I said to you before, I've taken, you know, sometimes people say to me, oh, it takes me ages to make a card. It's not that you take your ages. It's thinking about what you want to make. So in this kit, you have got all these choices from dimension to the envelopes as well to give you more choice and more enjoyment. Spend more time having fun, really. Mm. So once you've done that, all you need to do is get a bone folder. There we go. And fold over what you've just scored. See, mm. I should be wearing my glasses. See, I'll do this already. That's I know. Well, it's, it's getting used to it. You, maybe you need like a lanyard with them around the neck. So that uh, that, do you know what? Really Somebody fair. sent one in to me, made me... Oh, well, I'm what? sorry I've forgotten your name who did it. And you're um, not wearing it either. I know. Well, it's because I packed it away. Do you want to know how many boxes I have not unpacked yet? Oh, really? Is yes. Is still a work in progress? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I've moved everything, never well, mind. viewers that don't know, I'm sure most people do, but just in case you don't, because we've got new viewers on Virgin now, which is oh, really exciting. Oh, hello. Um, I've, hi. Uh, obviously, Deb, Debs has moved to France recently. She bought a chateau. No, Dave, which is my husband, is telling everybody he bought a chateau for Christmas for me. Which is very nice. <laughs> which is actually but not true. true. Well, it, Indeed, it's true. Well, he bought it for you. Yeah. What? So you didn't have to pay for it at all? He bought it for you? Well, we bought it together. There you go. That's okay. the thing. We bought yes. it together. I'm just thinking, he's telling everybody he bought it together. Yes, he is. Like, yes. No, you bought it together. We bought yeah. it together. But it's he exciting. likes that. It is exciting. And I get to design have so much. Have you met all the locals now? I have met loads of people. There's a huge community out there, which is what we wanted. And there's crafters there as well. Well, you're going to be doing retreats and all sorts of stuff yeah, in so the future, aren't they? The yeah. whole point of it is to do retreats, arts and craft retreats with not just Debbie Moore Designs, but with other companies as well. And I'm really looking forward to it. But at this moment in time, the shuttle has been empty for about four and a half, five years. It's a matter of cleaning everything. And how are you getting on with the lingo? Because I know Spanish is your, is your oh, first language, I isn't know. it? And obviously English, brilliant. <laughs> but what about the French? Uh, no. I have a brilliant phrase. It's je suis désolé, je ne comprends pas, parlez-vous anglais, s'il vous plaît. There you go. I'm sorry, uh, I that, don't understand speaking. The thing is, I, you, I am learning. I'm going, I'm going to lessons. I, you know, I really want to. The problem I've got is I speak Spanish and I keep going well, on. The, but there, I mean, there is kind of like, there are similarities with Spanish and French. I mean, not a huge amount. Admittedly, well, I went but... to a restaurant and asked for the bill and I said la cuenta instead of la decisión. So, yeah, so, yeah. so, yeah, so... But then you can do the international language of... Yeah. Can't you? Yeah, yeah, please, and smile. Yeah. And then they just laugh at me, because I'm trying. Oh, it's nice, though. I think it's good. I mean, are there, are there things... Because I speak French. I mean, I haven't done, you know, not fluent by any stretch of the imagination, but it's like, yeah, I, I did it at school and kind of, kind of kept it up throughout my life. It's one of those languages, I think, now, well, now you're there, you must feel you're soaking it up there. Yes, I mean, it is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I've actually only been living on site on the chateau for eight weeks. <laughs> so, eight weeks, though, and that's why I haven't unpacked everything. Right, OK, so what I'm doing now, all the little sections, I am now lining it up. 
like so. And this is how easy it is to do an invite. Oh, how cool would it be to do an invite, like an invite and invitation? What with a pig on the front? Yeah. I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Or maybe they get married in I spring. Like okay, that. I like what I meant is the shape of yeah, the actual would be envelope. Beautiful. It would be beautiful. I'm not saying have no. pigs on the <laughs> wedding. Imagine. It's okay. pig time. Okay. Uh, no, I, I agree. I think it'd be lovely. I mean, I think any occasion with these spring colours, the beautiful imagery, the animals, all of that, the flowers, it just makes you smile, doesn't it? So, I mean, you don't have to be using these in the spring. I mean, these are evergreen images that will work all year round. But I do think, I mean, that for a a wedding invitation for a, a birthday invitation for any kind of occasion invitation yes. would be fabulous i mean i mean that's just showing you how easy i mean to put together yeah. i mean yes i've just done a basic shape if you pass me that other one there that's been completed send in that and that or doing it on a craft fete or a church fete if yeah you, like, you know not only to be able to sell the Do cards you know pig is in french cochon no but I know how to say baby vas because I see all these baby cows everywhere. Baby vash. Yeah. Baby vash. Vas. Vash. 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 And that's a cochon. A cochon. A cochon is a Okay. If you need any word steps, I can help you. I'm okay. uh, right, if you want to go for that one, twenty nine ninety nine is your price for the fabulous uh, paper collection. It's a huge collection. Now, we do have a digital download collection of that spring collection as well. So if you do want to go for that, here are the details. It's not the USB. That's coming up in a moment. We've got like a digital collection for you. Uh, so if you do want to go for the digital collection, Debbie, this is brilliant. And you've got over, get this, over 1,500, 1,500 printable elements for you on this fabulous um, download collection. Um, Debs, I mean, this is phenomenal. It's got everything there. It, it, it is. There's so much on that. OK, so obviously we've seen just a snapshot mm. of some of the card elements. When we come to have a look at the USB key, you'll see what I mean. Oh, the download, because you've got both options. Mm. The USB key and the downloads is the same content. But obviously, you are getting the dongle when you get the USB key. But when you go through with the, it says 1,500. I will say I stopped counting. <laughs> so you get more. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, with the downloads, what you do is you go onto the website. So basically, there's no PMP on this as well because it's digital downloads, of course. So literally, you click purchase, and then that starts the download. It will go into your orders instantly. So if you do that now for $14.99, uh, literally, it will be yours. You can download it in the next couple of minutes. You can be crafting along with Miss Moore, Mademoiselle Plus, as they call her in France, <laughs> uh, by the end of the hour. How good would that be? QI6129 is your item code on that one. Uh, right. We also have the USB. Uh, busy for this. I'm not surprised. You always grab this as soon as you can. You know you're going to be paying the low, 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 low price. We'll reveal that price in a moment. But oh, well, in fact, we'll do it now. Uh, but Debs, what's on the USB? OK, so you have got on the USB key, you've got your design sheets, your backing papers. And then what we've done is we've given you some decoupage, given you 3D options on there. You've got all the envelopes. Now, when I say all the envelopes, you have got the square envelopes, you've got the C6 envelopes, and you've got the A5. But remember, you can change the sizes. So we've got pillar boxes on here. So look at this gorgeous pillar box. OK, so you go from this size, this is the standard size, to that one. And that's been a 50% size. So you can create even the bags. You've got bags on there. I mean, how adorable is that? So that's been printed on card. But if you want to print the standard bag, look at that. Look at that. Un petit sac de cochon, un grand sac de l'agneau. You do realise I'm not going to remember any of this. That's a big lamb bag and that's a small pig bag. <laughs> there you go. Well, then we have a fox. Or oh, okay. renard. And then we have a deer. I mean, look oh, at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now you're testing me. Yeah. I can't remember the deer. It will come to me. It will come to me. It's in green, though. Huh? Green. En vert. En vert. En vert. So what you get with the USB key is more flexibility as a crafter because it's a, sh a shop that never shuts and you can print off whatever you want, whatever sizes. And there's inspiration there. There's projects on there. There's even one of my favourite things, which are on the sheet over on... is. We'll have a look at it. I think we'll have a look at the USB kit and I'll tell Should you. Should we dive on in? Because it is, as they say in France, un magasin qui ferme jamais, a shop that never shuts, Debs. I'm going to teach you, I've decided. That good. Uh, let's dive on in and have a look what you've got on this fabulous USB. So, Debbie, this is where we start our journey. It is. Now, whether you have PC, Mac or Linux, it'll be fine, even the new Windows 11. Go into an area that you want to actually go. For example, Projects is a good one to start off with because you have the inspiration in there. If we go to the gallery, click where it says gallery, it gives you ideas. 
So sometimes you're stuck for ideas. I mean, we, we've got so many samples on today's show. I mean, as you scroll down, you can make this smaller, but if you scroll down, you've got the cute ones. You're showing you can do dimension. You've got the decoupage. There, it's also giving you a snapshot of what elements you will find on the collection, where you're going for digital or whether you are going for the USB key. And even the card making kit, for example, that, that, those elements are in the card making kit. And you can see that you've got the accents in there as well to work with it. If we come out of this, because there's so many, you, when you get it home, you're going to have a look. You click on the X. Let's go to the design sheets. If you click on the design sheets, you'll find here's your characters. So we've only seen the piglet in pink and also blue. But you've got on here, look at all the different color tones. So you can decide if you want a purple one, if you click on the purple one. Like Opal come up with the design sheet. It's got the different colours. Now, these are designed for fussy cutting, or if you've got any of my nesting dies, they'll work fine. Now, if you click on the top right-hand side, you'll find a little printer icon, and the printer icon will give you the print options. Now, at the moment, Fit gives you the size it is, but if you look down where it says Scale, you can change the scale. So if you want to change it to 30%. Because we now supply um, uh, our international viewers as well, you, I know they always want smaller cards. You can make these images whatever size you want, and you would just print it off. We click on the X at the top. Now, we're just going very quickly through it because there's so much on here. Keep on going to the next page so you can see more characters. The deers are just gorgeous. So let's have a look at uh, a pink one in the middle, the one in the middle. There we go. So you've got two-tone one, but look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? It is so spring, and you'll know somebody that will just love that. It's gorgeous. It really is. I love the fact you've got lots of different sentiments on that, and you literally do. I mean, I know this is digital, <laughs> but you fill the sheets, Well, I'm a crafter first and a yes, designer. Indeed. You know, when you look, if, you ever, if anybody's ever watching who's been following me over the last 15 years, you'll notice that as I develop, I've added more. So we close this down, okay, and we're going to go and show you some other characters. Keep going through just to show you the different characters characters you've also got another lamb now if you click on the blue one oh at the top i was going to say if you click on the blue one there we go you will see yet again nesting dies shapes or i love that think happy be happy jumping so, over with the lamb so lovely and then if you come out of that okay uh, and you've got the duck go to the next one you'll find because we've got some nesting dies on today's show if you click on say uh any of those whichever one you want you've got them in different colors You'll notice that we've got That's the new stencil, cute. the new sten not stencil, sorry, the new die on today's show yes. as well, which is coming off. But of course, you can just fussy cut them. Now we close this down by clicking on the X, and if you go to the papers, now the papers are a great staple because all you need to do is keep going through them, and you'll see that you've got pages and pages and pages of backing papers that you can use with this collection, but also with other collections, because everybody always needs a dotted paper. You've got all those options. You've got papers with daisies in because obviously the theme is Welcome to Spring. And there's more. We're on page nine now. Keep on going. Now let's have a look at some others. The, go to number seven, which is the toppers. These are beautiful. Now if you want to make cards quickly, okay, just click on any of those. You'll find these are layered up. Look at that. Mm, gorgeous. So you can actually print this off. You print it off tissue paper. Do mixed media. Put it on canvases. Put it on MDF. That would look amazing. Okay, and they, we've layered them up to give you that 3D effect already. Now, if you close that down and go to the next one, keep on going along. We've also given you some inspirational quotes as well, because I thought, why not? So click on any of them. So you can see on here that you have got uh, sentiments on here, like may everything you're wishing for bring happiness your way, and may your dreams be answered as you could celebrate today with love on your birthday. So you've got really good qu quotes on there. And then you've got, if you scroll down, you've got ones, I wrote that one, I love that one, believe in yourself, dream for tomorrow, live for today. It's a mantra that we can all admire. Definitely, okay. Uh, <laughs> that one because it was cold, wishing you a warm and wonderful day. <laughs> How is the heating at the house? Uh, we've got central heating. Yay, <laughs> hurrah. So, um, but then we've got about nine fireplaces that okay. I need to sort out. But that's another story. You'll get there eventually, you so will. So, the USB key is full, and it's been designed to work with the nesting dies that we're going to come coming up, or, or as a standalone. Okay, so if you want to go for the USB, it's seventeen ninety nine. All of that creativity, and I love it. It is the shop that never shuts. It's going to keep going uh, as many times as you like. Literally, if you've got a USB port on your computer, it doesn't matter what kind of computer you've got, that will work for you, not a problem. Right. Um, I love that. I mean, I $17.99 just... for everything that you've got on there. 
Ollie, our director, just made a very good point. He just said, like, a blank USB is about a tenner. It's true. There, it's rammed to the rafters with creativity for 17 99 We're learning. No wonder the lamb looks so happy. Um, <laughs> let's have a look at the nesting dies that Debbie mentioned as well, because we've got some fabulous ones for you. Uh, let's have a look. Should we do the hearts first here? Uh, we've got the hearts. These are brand new today, so you won't have seen these at all before. Um, Debbie, you can't go wrong. I mean, nesting die is always so popular. The heart, always such a popular shape. This is going to be one of those evergreens that you're going to be using constantly. Well, the thing about it, and um, I'll be hopefully showing you the next hour. Um, this is... back at four? Yes, I Yes, am. indeed. I am. This is also a shaped card die, which is why it's a little bit bigger. So you can create shaped cards with this. I did have a sample, but I think I've left it in the car. So I will get it out for the next hour. So yes, it's a nesting die. It can be used for weddings, anniversaries, or every day, or great for shaped cards as well. Uh, 17 99 if you want to go for that one. I mean, always when you send a card with a heart on it, it's like you're sending love, whatever the occasion, just because cards are better with a heart on it. That's <laughs> what I say. Uh, next up for you, we've got these, if you would like to go for this. Uh, this is fabulous. These are your... That's uh, the new one. This is the, this is the brand new one as well, Yes, this it? is the new Crescent Corner. Okay. Okay, and we've got a board for that. And we have. And a card showing you how to create an aperture. So these are the dies that you're getting. You get 14 dies. When you break these down, you can see this is how they work. So what I've shown you on here okay well, I've die cut it to show you that you can actually make your frames any size with the nesting die so that's two different sizes of frames and then obviously you've got your mats so with my nesting dies there's three ways of using it as your mats your frames and also using it with Debbie Moore designs collections like that one there so that's been done as an aperture so we've done an aperture card on there and if we open it up we'll find that is one of the nesting die shapes. That's fabulous, isn't it? It's just, I mean, again, nesting dies are so useful, so essential. I think if you've got a good set of nesting dies, literally, you are sorted. Uh, 17 99 your price on that. JV, jolly value. Uh, JV2897 is your item code on that one. Loving that. Uh, right, should we share the other dies whilst we're here? Do you want to share the other ones as well? Go on, let's do it. Our bows are classic. They are brilliant. And Everything looks better with a bow on it. Yes. So this one is my faux, what we call faux bows, and you can create them in different sizes. I've got the smaller ones somewhere. But all you need to do is... It's a large one there. Yes, that's, that one is there. Look at that. I think this one's actually from the USB key, though. This one looks like, this one looks like the right. This is a large one, and there is a smaller one. OK, now okay. let's have a look at the price on this, because I know Laura, our producer, is a bit like, this can't be the right price. These have always been fourteen ninety nine. yeah? Have you yes. changed the price on these? Not that I know of. Oh, let's, let's see where we go with this one, then. <laughs> Here we go. Let's have a look. We'll press the button. Oh, Debbie. No, that's wrong. There you go. That's wrong, I think. <laughs> I, I can tell you that's wrong. I think we may need to take that off. Yeah, that that's is the right. price for the swirl. Ah, OK, so... The swirl, which is a good price. Is the swirl at five ninety nine? Yeah. Ah, OK. This is, this is Orcs. OK, so that one we're going to take off the screen because that's not right. So apologies for the moment because if Debbie says it's not right, it shouldn't be that price. No. no? Right, lovely. So that one is not available at the moment. Uh, the Flourish, if you want to go for that one, uh, I think, we're, are we 6 99 on this one? This yeah, 6 99 I knew it was like 5 or 6 Yeah, 6 99 on this one. This is a gorgeous one, Debbie. It Debs, is. We, I mean, I've used this throughout, and also I think Lois has used it throughout to add to dimension, whether you're doing And we are going to be using it in this next demo. So it's just that perfect finishing touch of a flourish, isn't it, as well? With it something is. Like that. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. No, well, there micro go. cameras spotting it from a mile off. That's what there we love. You go. Uh, HD six one two six is your item code on that one uh, for your swirl lace flourish metal die. Six ninety nine is your price on that one. Okay, right. Are you ready for another demo? I am ready for another it demo. It feels like you are. Oh, the lambs come out. It's lambing season. It is okay, and also the blending tools. If you could pass me those tools. Of course, my lovely. I'm going to use one, but you get two. So we'll get two in the set. So what I've done here is I have got my toppers. I am going, obviously, with a spring colour. You've got um, bows already done. And I'm just using some distress ink. What I tend to do is just take a piece of card and put it underneath. And we're going to go with just making look a little bit more vintage by putting on some vintage photo. I do like blending and the beauty about this is I've actually printed this on 
I've left it like this so you can see that this was actually from the USB key and I've simply printed it off on satin paper because it's a matte finish and then all you would do is cut it from the back. I was trying to save time with everything. Which is always good. Because it doesn't matter how much prepping you do, it always changes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the way of the world, isn't it? So I'm just adding just some vintage photo around here. So just and to give it a little bit more of an aged look. Yes, a more aged look. But the other thing about it, the, the bristles on these are so soft and they're great just to add a little tint of colour. They are tightly packed as well, aren't they? We'll give you the details for these in a moment. We'll do a, a little bit of a roundup after the demo. And then what I want to do, so this is going to go on here. I've already, this is going to go on here. And you can see how I'm laying everything up, actually. That was supposed to be down here. And then we're going to stick it onto card, but we're going to use two colours with these brushes. And I just want to change, just to add a little bit of colour. And it's really great by having the, the blending brushes. You can use it very easily like that. And then pick up another colour. So that's using that flourish dye. Obviously 6 99 for that one, HD6126. And if you want to know what I'm using, I'm using Shabby Shutters and also Vintage Photo, which will be on the website. So do you have shutters on your chateau? <laughs> I do. I'm laughing because part of them have been print, uh, painted pink. And I got loads of comments. Did that you I, paint the pink? No, I did not. Everybody thought I bought the shutter because it was pink shutters. There you go. If I said pink shutters, I'd think Debbie Moore. No, no. They're going to be painted white, OK? I, I don't want them pink because they are really bright pink. <laughs> but you like, what, like your top? No, brighter. Like your lipstick? Brighter. So Nothing's brighter than that. What, like your matte? No, because that's like a dark pink. Trust me. Anyway. Is it not a nice pink? It, it, it doesn't go. Okay. It doesn't go. But everybody thinks that we've bought the shutter because I've got pink shutters. Well, I, I do imagine you know, it would be like Debbie Moore's big pink palace. <laughs> uh, that's what I imagine in my head. I imagine eventually, because I'd like to come one day. Oh, I you, you, you I are so up, invited. Kind of like candy floss colours, and but it's not. I it? want to create a craft haven. Oh. How lovely would that Holidays, be? Holidays, having afternoon tea, crafting, yes. uh, and just enjoying the history of the chateau. Are you going to have well? a little vineyard so we can have a glass of vino canapso? Well, we know with the chateau's been empty for five, five yes. years. So last week we decided that we needed to tack the garden. And there was, I call it my sleeping beauty garden. When I say it, it's an acre and it's full of brambles, we cut some back and discovered some vines. <gasps> So now I'm thinking Chateau Chimay wine. Oh my God, you're going to have your own <laughs> vineyard. You're gonna I, have your own I wine. love it. You're going to be like the new Kylie and Gary Barlow. You're going to have your <laughs> own wine. Honestly, this is brilliant. But then um, I found some wild strawberries and then my friend Sarah Payne said, Debbie, you can make wild strawberry gin. Oh my gosh, how wonderful is that as well? That is cool. Not that I'm alcoholic, everybody. No, but hashtag uh, drink responsibly, but having yes. your own gin, how cool would that be? Right, OK, so while we've been talking about alcohol, I have just finished doing that and just literally gives a different, you can leave it white or you can, I just like the vintage feel and we're just laying everything up and then I'm sticking everything together. What I always recommend is cut out all your elements, decide where you want things to go, which is what I'm doing, and then put it all together. Lovely stuff, building up nicely there. Um, love it, love it, Debs. As ever, it's an angel policy. You can make what you, you can like. You can make as many as you want. The prettiest cards as well with your fabulous Welcome to Spring Paper Crafting Collection USB. You've got so much on there, and it's a resource that will never run out. It's a library that will never run dry. It's a, you know, it's a huge collection that you can just print out time and time and time again. If you would like to go for yours, SX6148 is the item code on that one. Uh, putting it all together Debs. I am putting it together so what we've also got on um, the show is the uh, the paper packs and yep. remember that I've used on here I've just used the satin where prior I used the glossy I should bring them all over Debs and we will go through them all uh, you've got your majestic gloss if you want to go for that one uh, we did mention this before. You are getting two packs of this, I'm assuming, Debs, because I've got them here. Yes. So 50 sheets for you here. Uh, for 9.99 for 50 sheets. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, 150 GSM is the weight on that. All A4, A4, of course. RH, I automatically think Real Housewives. That just talks about my life. Uh, RH, oh. Oh, and I'm being asked by Ollie which is the best. I'm a bit Beverly Hills obsessed. 
But I, I, I do feel that everybody says to me, I need to watch Salt Lake City, and I haven't watched that. But I feel that like everybody says that's good. I love it, though. Uh, I so, don't have time. Uh, um, <laughs> what I say? I, I, it's when I lived up in Peterborough, I moved in with them, some friends of mine so when I was working up there. And basically, they were obsessed with their housewives. I was like, I'm not watching that rubbish. You can keep that to yourself. Ten minutes in, I was absolutely <laughs> hooked. I really was. Uh, right, this is your printable A4 card that we've got for you here. So you've got 30... Uh, oh, no, how, yeah, 30 sheets of that one. If you want to go for that, that is 798FH6123, your item code on that one. Uh, next up for you, we have got our printable pearlised paper. Uh, 15 sheets of that one. Pearlised paper, so to give it that lovely sort of extra sheen, Debs. You get 30 of these, actually. You do. You get 30 ones. of... You get two packs. You do. There you go. You do get two packs. Imagine that twice over. Uh, X, XE6187, your item code on that one for your pearlised. Uh, then we've got our candle cre... Oh, no. You these, get 20... Uh, you get is this like wax paper that you put into your candles? Not wax paper. What's it called? Tissue. Tissue, thank you. Well, it doesn't say, so I couldn't work it out. So it's yeah. tissue paper. This is what I was on about earlier, about you can print on and put it onto your canvases for mixed media or sink it into candles. OK, fabulous. If you want to give that... We don't have that on the show, apparently, though, so check out the right. website for that one. Confusion. Uh, then we've got this one for you. This is our printable satin paper, if you'd like to go for this. So that's the one I've used on this card. You've got 40 sheets of that one. Um, your prices are very good for paper dabs. Well, they are really know, good. I'm a, I'm a crafter. I like well, I know, but you just have to make money, don't you? But you're very good, I've got to say. Uh, 7 98 is your price on that one for 40 sheets of that. LB6161 is your item code on that. And Debbie's finished the card. Well, well, I've just been sticking everything together to create a lovely little cute spring It's so card. nice, isn't it? I mean, it's just one of those because it makes you smile straight away. It but does. I think spring as a, as a season, as the imagery of spring, it's always a smile oh, spring, yes. isn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, there's so much you can do. Let me show you some samples that we've got here. So obviously you can create using use them in your mini books. You've got boxes on here that you can do. And this is from the USB key. Remember, if we can give you that so you can open the pillar box and that. That's showing you can create smaller pillar boxes. You can go vintage, you can go bright, whichever you want. Look at that, how cute is that? I mean, you can have loads of fun with this collection. Just do the layering with them. You can do your shaker cards. No, this is actually an envelope. And oh, so what Lois has done is cut into it and she's made a shaker card. That's a nice idea. So again, thinking outside of the box. Yes. Yeah, so, for example, when on the USB key, you'll find loads of different envelopes. We didn't get a chance to have a look. And I've just remembered we were going to look at the sentiments. There's a sheet that has hundreds of sentiments on. To well, should we go back that. to the USB and have a look? Yes. If that's what you that. want, then we will do it, Debbie Moore. Uh, right, if you do want to go for the USB, busy, busy, busy for that. But just before we go there, let's mention as well. What did you want to mention, Laura? Ah, the mini, uh, hello, the mini peony magic kit. That's not easy yes. to say. I'm going to say that straight away. Uh, right, so let's have a look. This is the peony one here, Debs, isn't it? Yes, so yeah. you get two packs. So let's start with this one. So you're going to get this to begin with. So you've got your peony there. So the matchets, obviously, the dies are the right size to go over here. So literally one pass of the machine, you can cut everything out that you see from the, each of the, uh, the colours that you've got there as well. So lots of sheets here, Debs, which is fabulous. So these so are you great. Uh, so you're going to get a forever code. I've already pulled out the forever code sheet. You get Very it in wise. the pack. So what does that mean for people? It means that although you get the die, it's one piece, so you just overlay it on there, you'll get all your sheets so you can see that you are going to get on there 20 different colour tones. Mm -hmm. If you want to actually have that colour tone again, you can just download it again. So you can use it again and again. So this kit is not just for one, it's for both. So that's your peonies if you want to go for that one. Uh, but you are also getting this one as well, Debs, yeah? Yes. So you've got your spring flowers too. Oh, hello, come to me. There you go. Uh, so these are your spring flowers. And again, you are going to get the five sheets, four on each, so 20 of your colour variants there. Uh, with, of course, the actual... Is it 20... Where is my fifth sheet? Is it five I've sheets? I've used it. Oh, that, there you go. You've been sent to confuse I me. Have, I have. I have used it. There you go. Thanking you. Let's put... Hang on. Let's put up. Nobody, <laughs> nobody would ever know. There you <laughs> go. Used nobody it. You has to know. five sheets. Uh, so you're going to get all of that. So 14 for both sets. So basically, those 
and those and your forever code as well so you price, get all, and i need more hands don't i uh, so if you want to go for that you are getting buku there you really are uh, tg6174 is your item code on that one uh, right let's go back to the usb because that's proving to be very popular uh, so you wanted to go back to taking want, us through what we've got yes yeah, so i want to show you one of the other sections because we've got loads and loads of different sentiments on that so if you go to the usb key itself so we need to come out to the main menu again uh, the sentiments of it, if there's one that is, you can you see you've got different sentiment tabs. So we go into the first one, number eight. What we've done on there is we've got, if we click on just say the, the blue one, because obviously this can be for anything. Look at all the different ones you've oh, got. This is like ticker tape, literally just cut it down. Yeah, so we've got one of these, uh, a green one in the kit, but look. So you've got sending happiness, uh, lots of love, just a little note. Sprinkle the world with kindness, you know, cherish friend, friendship. You've got it's a boy. So, you know, you could use this with all your other crafty stash. I, mean, I love it. That is a background in itself if you want it to be kind of quite funky. But I love yes. the fact cut things down, pick, cherry pick what you want. And, and what I've done with this is giving you the choices. Because if you come out of here, uh, click up by clicking on the X at the top. And you keep on going. Look at all the colours that you're going to get for them all. But with the white ones, you can actually use your distress inks on top of them. If you go to the next one, next page, you'll find that you've got what we call the uh, family tabs. And click on the green one, for example. We've got all your family tabs. Mother, mummy, mum, ma'am, mum. But it's good to have all those variants, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And then yet again, you know, as you scroll down, you'll find that you've got all your relatives down there. And we keep on adding to them. And but somebody sends a message and says to me, oh, Debbie, can you... Add uh, spell mum a different way or do daddy or, or gran. We've had those, so we've actually added them too. I love it though, because you've got your grandmother, you've got nana, and you know. So these are the daddy. extra ones, but if you close it down by clicking on the X, I need to show you a section we haven't been in the dimensional cards, number nine. If you click into there, what you'll find is we've done the side scenes, okay, but if you look in the rocker cards, these are adorable. So you've got these, and just click on any of them. There we go. So this has got the shape. So this is a rocker. This is actually a rocker stepper. It's not and just a plain rocker. And you've got all of your uh, lines for scoring as well. Yes. Yeah, so you've got your straight lines. And you've got your cut line because this creates a stepper card. Then you go down. So that's plain. So you can use it with any of your themes. Mm. And then you've also got these as well. So these have been designed for you just to either fussy cut out or use it with your nesting dies. And yet again, they're designed, so you just print them off. And if anybody's doing workshops, these are great to use because we well, give permission for them. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, I think the USB for me is that if you do run a craft workshop or if you get together with your mates and you want to craft together, literally one USB, print out what you like. And you've got the whole class sorted out, Debs, haven't you? Definitely. Uh, we have a big stock of this, but 10% of the stock has already gone. Rosemary uh, in Kent, Susan in Dorset, a crafter in New York. Do we ship to America, Debs? Yes, we do. Hurrah! Cap shipping and handling, $12.95. Loving that. Uh, Leslie in Powers, Dillis in Rhonda. Uh, we've got a crafter that's got, well, lots of crafters going for this as well. Deborah in Hertfordshire, Patricia in Merseyside, Judy in Lancashire, Catherine in Lancashire, Lynn in Hampshire. Well done to you all. Remember to check out to secure your purchase. You can of three ways here at Hobby Maker. You can either do it via the app, you can do it via the phone lines, it's a free phone telephone number, or Michael on the cameras, Mr. Musicality himself. What's the website? All the W's. What? Hobbymaker.co.uk. Hobbymaker.co.uk. That is the one. He's in five voice steps. He is. He's a rock god. Did you know that? No. He is a rock god. <laughs> it's true. So we are now going to do our last demo on this collection. Because you're a demo god. That's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> a demo goddess. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to squeeze in as many demos as I can. So what I want to do is explain how by using the USB key or using the card kit, whatever extra elements, they'll work together. Okay. Now this is printed on our coated paper. Okay. So you can see that it's got a little bit of shine. It's different to the card that we did earlier. So yeah, that's people more been, matte, isn't it? Yeah, people have been asking me what's the difference between the two. So, so you, that was satin. This one is the... The glossy. Thank you. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just using a base card and we're going to use the spring flowers that come in the kit. Okay, so the match it kits, yeah? Yes. So look how cute they are. Very, very sweet. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some colour to it. And then I've used that die as well. Move that over a little bit for you, Debs. Thank okay, you. Okay, there, there we go. go. But we're going to literally put this together, and I'm using it with tearing technique. Okay, so what I mean by that is I've done it, I've left it like this so you could see 
that when you print off, some have like almost like a, a white edge. Not all printers will print edge to edge like that. Okay, and then let's put it together. So start off with, I'm going to simply cut this one straight and then it gives me that straight line at the top and bottom. And then we're going to do the tearing and join two colours together. So will you be, oh, I want to go back to you in France, Debs. Will you be going to like, you know, like a night school or lessons to learn French or are you just going to try and pick it up? Oh no, I'm, I have to be honest. I need somebody to make sure that I'm pronouncing it right. The thing is, Dave did French at school. Okay. So he is, he is really good. Where I'm like, I keep going into Spanish. Keep carrying on. Whenever. Keep going well, on. That, that's Spanish, that's it. Because yeah. obviously people may or may not know Spanish is your, na is your natural first language, yes, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. So essentially what I said is I need some help. And so I am, in between everything else, I am learning French. See, that's good. There must be like a, an app as well, surely, to sort of like help you with things when you're out and about. Um, there is, um, but I don't think it's... Um, Oh, I can't remember. I mean, I've got, is it Duolingo app? But I, yes. I, you're supposed to look at it every day. And I'll be honest, my life is a little bit crazy at the moment. This is. Right, so all I'm just doing is just tearing, just to show you that if you use this paper, you can actually have the white on the top. So I am literally tearing it. So you've got options that way. And then I've got my topper, and then we're going to use the distress inks with the flowers and the blending brushes. We'll put all this together. So we'll do a bit of a shopping list afterwards of all of the items that Debbie is using. I mean, this collection is really cute. Not is you've got all those animals uh, on there, and you've got essentially variety. And you can mix and match whether you want a stronger colour palette or you just want to go for the lighter one. Now, with the um, on the USB key, if you go into the USB key, I think I'll just use a tape pen. There's something wrong with that glue pen. Um, with the USB key and the download, you have what we call the PDFs and the JPEGs, which means if you have a scanning cut, we give you permission to use it with a scanning cut. See, that's nice because you've got even more versatility there then, Debs. Yes. So I'm going to put this this way now because I've put it on that. Take that off like so. Now, I have printed off the lighter colours of these, so you can print off the darker colours. When we looked at the USB key, you'll find that you've got the darker ones as well. Yeah, there. you give a whole range on there, don't you, which is always good. Yeah, so I'll change my mind on that. I'll sort that out in a minute. And all I'm doing is using um, the, these lovely, can you see, that if you feel the material, it's the same material. So, uh, yeah, so these are the, um, obviously from our match, it's using yes. the dies and then the sheets that come with it. And they're on that lovely sort of uh, gloss paper. Definitely. And what we're going to do is we've already got this mat and layered. And I'm just going to bring down some colour. And you can be inventive with everything. And then I'm going to have the good look up here. And bring that down. And Very then put the flowers pretty. on. I do pretty. I like You do do pretty incredibly well. So let's have this all together. There we go. The glue's finally coming out. Lovely. Add some ink in a second. And then make sure this is on here. So this is the swirl die, and you've got a sample, I think, over there oh. with a card just behind, under that die. Thank you. There we go. This one, you can see with the uh, underneath the pig, you've got the swirl being used there. Six ninety nine is the price for that one if you do want to go for it. Debbie, if you want to ask Debs any questions, you can do. Studio at hobbymaker.co.uk is the address for your emails. We are live and interactive. We are back together at four o'clock as well. We We've are. got a different show at four, haven't we? We have. Do you want to do a little bit of a tease? We have mini books. Okay, before the end of the show, we'll show you what we've got coming up at four o'clock. Have you got the matan, Debs? I have. I have got it, I think, behind me. So what I'm doing now is I've just got the topper and then literally I want to pinch these and then we're going to add some accents and colour. So just to add a little bit of extra dimension. Yeah. Now remember you've got these in different colours. I've just gone with these ones just because I want them to show and add in the leaves. And because it's printed on pre-printed on 150 GSM, it means it holds the shape. So you can literally go to town with it and keep. So these ones are, we call them the spring flowers. I'm learning all about gardening at the moment. This is good. So you're learning French, you're learning about gardening. <laughs> you're jetting back and forth to France with your crafting 
empire. You've got a lot on your plate. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's an empire, it's, but yeah. Well, you know. uh, there is a lot going on. Uh, we discovered um, all kinds of flowers that I'm learning. Uh, wisteria is my favourite at the oh, moment. Wisteria is a lovely flower. Yeah. But Always I discovered gorgeous. I don't have a range of wisteria, so I now need a range of wisteria for card Too making. right you do. So, yeah, have so you never done wisteria on your cards? No. That surprises me, because I would have thought, like, thinking about Debbie's, like, you know, you're such a vibrant crafter with your colours, and, like, wisteria is always oh, so it's gorgeous. gorgeous, isn't it? A garden with wisteria in is just beautiful. I know. So and those purples would so fit in with your colour palette. Yeah, and then I, uh, we discovered three lots of lilac. Oh. We discovered uh, an orchard. Okay. <laughs> as you do. There's so much going I on. I love that. I like what you do today. We just found an orchard. We did. That, you know, discovered a vineyard. I didn't even know I had a fig orchard. tree. Apparently, I've got a fig tree. Well, fig trees are nice. Yeah. Well, I was at my friend Lottie's house that they were um, on Monday. You remember Lottie? Yes. And um, she was just moving into a new house, and she was like pointing out the garden, saying, "Oh, ignore that big weed." Yeah, that big weed was an asparagus plant. Oh, what? So, you know what I mean? I well, was I like, wouldn't have known that. Don't dig that up. No. I wouldn't have known that though. But can you see how these lovely matchets give that gorgeous accent? So just pinch them, turn them, and you can add some colour, which I'm going to in a second, around the edges of the card, and lift it up. And there we go. Very beautiful, very pretty. I know we keep coming back to the word pretty, but I just think cards like this, they're a crowd pleaser. You could give it to a younger member of the family, or you could give it to your great aunt Maud, and she, or everybody would love it. All right, let's finish off with some ink. So I'm just going to use green not so much brown or vintage photo okay and so you can edge this accordingly i am so i'm just tapping the excess off because i don't want it too green and just and because it's printed on the gloss you'll find it will go into the paper so is it just to give it that extra hint of color at the edge then, it does actually? yeah and it's just a way to accent which these brushes are quite handy to have and i think they're at a good price and you get two yeah, we'll, do, uh, we'll give you the details of these in a moment because it gives you a very soft line on the edge. There's yes. nothing harsh, is there? There's nothing harsh. You can just, oh, it, you, you'll be able to pick it up a bit more. It's the colour that I'm using. Well, show it to Michael in a minute because he's, he's so good at close ups, is Michael. He's not just a rock god, he's a camera god, that's <laughs> all I think you find. All right, so I'm just going round the outside with it all. And you can, you know, the beauty about whether you're going for the USB key or if you are going for. The download you can print off and make as many as you want I mean you can add glitter different embellishments to it I can see that I need to I've not cut that straight but never mind it's all right my lovely I do think sometimes well, people get daunted don't they by technology oh, with things yes. like USB you can or even the digital downloads you think like oh no it's like I don't quite know you know whether I'm going to be able to like access it and use it in the right way it's so easy. You don't it need is. to be like technologically minded, do you? No, and, it's, and it is really easy. I know I'm just saying that, but as a crafter, to get 1,500 at minimum at That's one gorgeous. side. Right, let's get Michael to do us an extra strong close-up on the edge there so you can see all of that coloration coming through. Gorgeous. Look at that all the way around. It's the perfect finishing touch to the card, Debs. Love it. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine if you want to go for your match it peonies and your match it spring flowers. Um, can we just give the details of the blending brushes? Because we've not done these, and it's like I know Debbie's used these a few times. If you want to go for the blending brushes, two of those in the medium size. They are tightly packed. These bristles as well. They really are. Seven ninety nine is your price. That's such a good price uh, for both of them. Yes, do I get you? Yes, you get both of them. Um, HP six one sixteen. So HP sixty one sixteen is your item code on that one. Uh, right, the USB. Definitely very, very popular at the moment. So if you do want to go for that USB, uh, please pop it into your basket. Seventeen ninety nine for over fifteen hundred printable elements. And to be honest, it's way over that, Debs. Isn't there, it? there actually is because I kind of stopped counting when you think about all the elements are on that little sheet yeah. of sentiments. I mean, when you get at home, really have a good look. You'll be able to create so much variety in your boxes. You know, different sizes. And if you print on card, you get different results from what when you're printing on paper. To be able to have matching packaging matching envelopes to your card projects i think it's a no-brainer when it comes to the flexibility of a digital content really oh absolutely i mean i love the fact that you've got so much on there from tags to cards to envelopes to bags to boxes pillar boxes 
everything is on there. If you want to make cards that literally look gorgeous, this is the place to go. If you want to make things to put your cards into to make them look even more gorgeous, this is the place to go. If you've got a gift that you want to package, whether it be a bag or a box or whatever, then again, this is the place to go. It's all in one highly portable USB as well. That's what I love about this. We don't actually have a USB tandy, but you know how small it is. Literally fit it in your pocket and away you go. And for people that are thinking like, oh, what do I need to work this on? It will work on any computer with a it USB port. It will work port. with any computer, uh, even the latest Windows 11, because we've had loads of queries about that. We designed the program so it's a click and print system, which means if you've never had any experience using digital crafting before, you'll be totally fine. And don't forget, if anybody uses Scanning Cut, we give you permission to use it with that as well. Which is very nice indeed. Now, Debbie, let's have a sneaky peek of what's coming up. Oh, yes. So, what will it be? Come on, Debs. I'm trying to get to it. Here we go. So what is it that we are going to be looking forward to at 4 o'clock? So we have a new inspirational project book. Okay. And, and what are the projects in there? All about mini books. And they're all different. I'm just making sure I'll turn the right one. So you've got ideas. And look, Welcome to Springs in there. So you're going to be able to create a whole range, a minimum of 23 mini books. So a full-on magazine full of inspiration, aspiration and education. We're going to be bringing all the Asians at 4 o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> it's on the website right now, so you can check it out. What is that website? Let's hear from the rock god again. All the W's, what? Hobbymaker.co.uk. Thank you, Michael. Hobbymaker.co.uk. There you go. Uh, so if you do want to go there and check everything out, Debbie's brand shop is there as well. So you can check out the entire range of Debbie Moore booty and check out all the fabulous things that are there and pop it in your basket. And don't forget a cat PMP of three ninety five here at Hobbymaker means that wherever you are in the UK, as many orders as you like, and that's all you will pay, which I never tire of saying. No, it's brilliant. Uh, merci beaucoup, mademoiselle plus. <laughs> Mrs. Moore, <laughs> Mrs. Plus, um, we will see you at four o'clock. Until yes. then, Abianto in. Abianto, mwah, mwah. Bisous. Have you learnt kisses? Bisous. 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 I don't have now. Bisous. There you go. It was the <laughs> first word I learnt, learnt in French. I wonder why. See you at Pray the Break. <laughs> Avec Mr. Craig Laird. Bye. Are you having trouble finding the perfect gift? Then why not treat them to the new gift card from Hobbymaker at hobbymaker.co.uk. Simply scroll down to the bottom where it says gift cards, click and you'll be taken to the right place. Decide between posting the card or delivery by email and then decide how much you want to add. You choose the value. So what do you get the crafter that's got everything? Why not treat yourself or them to the Hobbymaker gift card? a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobbymaker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? or want to watch one back, then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching on the go with our brand new Hobbymaker app.
Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Good afternoon, welcome back to Hobby Maker where the boys are back in town. That's me, mind you, I've not been a boy for about three million years. Good evening, or afternoon, I should say. Uh, my name is Nigel May, this man, of course. Who is, who is a boy? Who is he? Who is he? Who is he? Who, who is, is this, he? Who is this vision of craftiness we see before us? Well, of course, it's Craig. Craig it's from Crafters Craig. Companion, which is always a joy. Welcome, sir. Always a joy when you're here. Um, oh, it's good being on with you. With something rather exciting. Oh, yes. This now. is brand new, Nigel. I know you're a way to go into it, but this is the third instalment from a Trends collection. It's Tropical Paradise. And let me tell you, oh, my gosh, oh, it is so tropical. It's so juicy. It's absolutely So what powerful. have we had before, then? So we had Mermaid Dreams. Yeah. So we had a lot of sort of the satin pinks and purples. Yes. The last one that we had, I had the pleasure of launching it, is the Spring Fairy. So you had your yellows, your lime greens, mm. which I would say a lot of them you're going to be able to cross over, but each one's is all about an up-to-date trend, this one being the collection. It's all about tropicals. It's absolutely fab. Now, I am going to say we've got kind of like two collections. Mm -hmm. We've got a core collection and then a larger collection. If you can hang on for the larger collection, yeah. which we'll be going to in about sort of like, you know, three, four minutes. It's on the website now. You are getting more, potentially with split, split pay, for less. That's what I'm going to say. I know, okay? I know, yeah. Uh, but let's talk about the core collection to begin with. Now, this is brilliant. So, Craig, take us through what we're getting in the core collection itself. Right, Theo. So, first and foremost, other than the gold metallic pen, all of these are brand new colours. Never seen or, before. Never seen before, Beautiful. no. And you'll only get them when it comes to that train collection. So you have got some stamps in there. Again, all of these are brand new. You've got stamps here about the tropical. You've got three of your stencils all about the tropical. You've got some tropical sentiment dyes as well. And then you're also then going to be getting the, uh, what's the third one you're getting? You're getting an embossing folder. So these are your tools that you're going to be getting, but then you're getting a tricolour aqua. I've got boards, so we will show you these yes. ones, but it's just to let you know what you're getting there. You're getting your tricolour alcohol pen there, so different colour family but blends together. You're getting your gems, you're getting your pearls in there as well. Your metallic pens in there, your glitter. You've got your shimmer sprays, you've got your chunky glitters, you've got your fine gl glitters, you've got gilding flakes in there. You've got the most incredible bright pink sequins and a bright pink glitter glue as well, and a duet, and a shimmer ink pad. It's a huge... Do you want to take us to the boards now? Or well, we'll do it. Yeah, like, let's do well, it. we'll quickly... Yeah, Right to you. I love the tropical feel of this. I know we were talking about spring in the last hour, but this, I'm saying, is giving summer all the it way. It is indeed. Now, look at these individual stamps that you've got there. So you've got that floral, you've got kind of like that banana leaf there, but you've got the cocktail glass there, you've got then your parakeet, your, par uh, your parrot, your lovebirds in there, and you can colour them whichever yes. way that you want. So you don't have you to use them. You Mother Nature. You could. Of course you could. Absolutely. Then you've got your three sentiments. Love, tropical and then See, cheers. That is not the invitation to a, a sort of a summer barbecue. I don't know what, like love tropical cheers. It's exactly like how good words that. that a tiki party, that's what you want. Oh yeah, that's a little really hobby maker tiki party. Tiki. Why are we not wearing like sort of like hula skirts and lays for this show? Honestly. Have you not seen what I'm wearing underneath? Well, I have, actually. I didn't like to look, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't going to happen there. Then what we've got as well is we've got our stencils. Now, Nigel, these are three stencils. These come in the one pack. So yeah. when you get at home, don't think, oh, I'm missing two stencils. They're all in See, the one pack. that's part. tropical, but also it's giving me jungle. Exactly. It's giving me kind of like real, I don't know. Yeah. Just, uh, just real sort of... Um, 
I don't know, just like, what's the word? Relaxation. Relaxation, yeah. absolutely, it is indeed. So you're going to be getting that elongated stencil. You're then going to nice. that one as well. Hibiscus? It's along that line, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I'm not that great with my florals, but yeah, it sure it is. And then we're also getting our third one as well. So now you're that's, going to be that's tropical, that's tropical. jungle. Straight through, through Hawaiian. and through. Hawaiian, absolutely. Then you're going to be getting your four by six 2D embossing folder. How fab is that one? I love it. How cool is that? Same do we have one of these individually as well? Just for people that want to get little, little bits and pieces. Laura, producer Laura, do we have them individually? Okay, we do have them individually. Check the website for that. But hold tight because we've got a big bundle that you are going to love. Right. So that is uh, kind of all your non-consumable items. You look after these ones a life. Uh, look after these ones, Nigel. They're going to last you a lifetime. Now you always get then, lots of bling and more. Oh, you do indeed. Now remember, other than your gold metallic pen, these are all brand new colours just for this collection here. Now I'm going to come to this side here, so it's easier to point out. You've then got your tricolour aqua pen. So this is your tropical paradise. So these are water-based here. Now when it comes to these ones, I'm just going to reach mine just so that you can see if you're not familiar with them. It's your three colours within that one pen here. Water-based, so you can start to blend and do all your techniques. You've then got your tricolour. You've got your plumeria in here. So with that one there, Nigel, technically, these are technically three different colour families. Okay. But they blend together, even although they're an alcohol pen. So that's in there as well. You're going to be getting your duet ink pad, which is your hummingbird, which is a really beautiful uh, color. Now, if you know me, you know I love my mint materials, my duck yes, egg blue, so I absolutely adore this collection. You've got your Island Shore, which is a shimmer ink pad. You've got your shimmer spray, which is your bird of paradise, the most incredible shimmer of that mica when it comes to the shimmer spray. You've then got your huge, great big tub of your fine glitter. It is absolutely huge, and I'm just going to quickly get mine as well, Nigel, just so you can see the most incredible large size of glitter, which is going to last you a long time. You've got your tropical waters, that's your glitter paste. So that's kind of like our fine glitter paste. We've then got our hibiscus, which is our chunky glitter. So that's along the lines of oh, our mesmerizing glitter paste. Yes. So it's a lot chunkier there. Then we're going into our gems here. What we've also got is our liquid gold metallic marker. So that's the only one you may already have a gold metallic pen but you're getting that in there. You're getting your uh, Kalea Lily. That one there is your glitter glues. You're then in with your deep iris, which is your gilding flakes. Those are sensational. Yes, yes. They really are. So your one is going to be midnight mauve. So just so that you know, we've got deep iris on the board, but yours will be midnight mauve, but it's that colour that you're okay. getting. Then you're getting your pearls, your passion flower, which you're getting different sizes. And then you're getting your huge big tub, and I mean huge big tub, of your bright pink sequins here. Absolutely huge. Now, what I would say is, this is the sort of thing, Nigel, where the word mixed media gets thrown yeah. about. Please don't worry, please don't get scared because we are going to do a demo just shortly and break it down. What I've also said, and I said this with Spring Fairy as well, let's say you're not going to use this as a complete collection. These are exclusive colours to the trends. Yes. So you might, you might already have our shimmer sprays, you're not going to have that one. Mm -hmm. You might have a glitter paste, you're not going to get that one. So maybe so you no want to go for that. No repetition. Before. So you're just going to build all your other shimmer sprays, your duet ink pads even further by using these exclusive colours. Craft Tropicana. That's what oh, I like that. This. That's what I'm going to call this. I like that. that one on me. Craft Tropicana. It's not free, but the price is going to be good, let me tell you. Well, well, uh, should we get that price on? OK, so you're already on the phone lines for it. There is some more bits and pieces coming, though, which is a bigger bundle, which is equally as good. Uh, Irene in Lancashire, well done to you. You're in. Look at your price, 94 99 split pay. Um, Craig, do we charge people for using split pay here? No, because no one does that, do they? No, well, because if they did, that would be what? That would be silly. Silly, 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 silly. Um, our price, 31 30, 31 66 one payment today one payment in a month's time one payment in two months time as soon as that first payment comes through to us here at hobby maker we'll send the item out to you all of that craft tropicana uh, so that's the first part of the kit but let's expand it okay so you're getting all of this in the first bit of the kit the core kit but let's expand it to include mm -hmm. your rocker blocks 
to include this black cardstock, to include the blending uh, tool down at the bottom there, to include the glue, and to include this fabulous uh, mat at the bottom. Now, this mat, Craig, what is it to begin with? So that's a mixed media mat, so okay. non-slab, easy to clean. So if you love to do your mixed media, your inking, or maybe you just want to work on it, maybe you're not fortunate enough to have a craft room yeah. or a craft area, you're doing it on the kitchen table, dining room table, that's going to keep it crisp, clean, and then you've got little sections in there if you want to do your water work, you can do that. Okay, so what's the price of that? It's 19.99. 19.99, yeah. Okay, now the price of everything. Remember the price of the core collection before it was what nine? What was it, Laura? 100. What was the price of the core collection before? 94.99, right? Okay, so let's get this down for everything. So the core collection and then all of the tools included as well. Sorry about the clock, forgot the clock, sorry. 114.99. So for an extra 20 pounds more than the core collection, you are getting the mat, which is worth 19.99, which is your extra price, 20 pounds. So everything else that you see over here, the rock of locks, the glue, the black card stock, and the blending tool with the extra refills, yes. all of that is free. That's incredible. So Craft Tropicana, that is free. Uh, I know, yeah, go. there you go. Fun and sunshine, enough for everyone. Uh, and we've got a four-way split on this as well. So your four-way split on this means that all you need to pay today is just one price of 28.74. Your previous split pay on the core collection was 30 something, was it not? 32 something. So it's more affordable if you want to go for it today to use your four-way split on the entire collection. So four times 28 as opposed to three times 33 or whatever it was. Uh, so it does make sense. I mean, Craig, those extra bits I mean, the rocker block's always useful. Always useful. Black yeah. card, you're going to be using Always, I'm going to be using it. Your blending tool, the blending extra refill pads. My favourite, pads. I love it. You're going to have that. Um, and, of course, the mat as well. So you get that all included. It is phenomenal. It's a complete angel policy with this collection as well. So if you want to make things with your tropical paradise like this, you can do. Of course you can, absolutely. Start to bring in all your other dyes that you've got. You can start to do your shakers. You can then start to do your DL cards in there as well. Maybe you want to do your inky backgrounds and then you, maybe you want to colour in, of course, your parakeets, your lovebirds with the water-based aqua pens, the tricolours there, creating really simple cars, but really, really effective. Or you can go to town, substitute your card blank, Nigel, for a little canvas, then that could be a little bit of home decor. But if you still love to do your concepts, your theatre, your box cards, you can absolutely do that. And if you use a few of them, you're going to get the shimmer from the shimmer spray, spray the glitter from the glitter paste, you're going to get the glitter from, of course, your glitter glues there. I mean, really, really fab cards here. Nothing stopping you from still doing your twisted easels here. It's a really great collection to sit play, get inky, you don't have to think about it, lay the colour down, see where you go. Or the other thing to think about it is maybe you're relatively new to us at Crafters Companion. This is a great introduction to mm. a lot of our colour and medium ranges that it we do. So it is. I love those cards. They just make me smile. They're so happy, aren't they? They are indeed. They it are. is your tropical collection if you would like to go for it. The big bundle at the moment is the most popular. I am not surprised. It's the mega collection. You are getting more and you're paying today. You're paying less because, of course, of that split pay. Uh, Stephen in Hampshire, well done to you. Sir Joanne in Cornwall, you are there as well. Congratulations. If you have any questions for our Craig, do get them in. Studio at hobbymaker.co.uk is the address for your emails. Um, so that's our collection. Am I sending you off to get ready for You are emails? indeed, yes. Off you I pop, sir. Go. Off you pop. Don't forget, if you do want to order, you can go to the phone lines, you can go to the free phone telephone number, of course. You can, of course, go to the app as well, the Hobby Maker app, or you can go to that there website that we love. It's the website of dreams. Let's ask Levi on the cameras. What is it, sir? All the W's what? Hobbymaker.co.uk. Very strong. Good. His voice is as strong as Craig's demos. Let's go and have a demo with Mr. Laird. Rightio. Let's dive in here, Nigel. and Let's start to layer them up. But let's break it down here. So I've gone in with some of our white cardstock. This is just a Crafter's Companion cardstock that I like to use. And we've got on the Hobby Maker website, so check it out. And that one, for anyone that wants to know, I've cut it to five and a quarter by seven and a quarter here. Now, what we're going to do here is I want to have, or let's bring in my black. So I've got a little layer just on the inside. So my white is my matte and layer. Now, I want that to be gold, Nigel. Now, you maybe not uh, got lots of gold cardstock. Create your own mat in layer. You've yes, got your indeed. gold cardstock in there. So I've already primed this one here. So I've already started to use it. 
And all that that means is when you get yours, your nib will be white. All you have to do is give it a good shake. You pump it up. And then just start pumping it up and down. So, like I say, I've already done mine, but you're just going to pump it up and down, up and down, until that gold follows all the way through, and then that's you good to go. You don't need to do that every time. No, just the first, the first time. time. You'll just need to shake it each time. If you do want the metallic part marker on its own, two ninety nine is your price. That's an extra one, because obviously you get one included in the huge mega collection. Back to Craig. Now, all that I'm going to do then is I'm just going to go round the edge and I don't need to be neat and I don't need to be tidy. I just want to get a really, really nice thin layer. It doesn't have to be overly thick, of course, because I've got the uh, just going to be a really small layer. And it's a nice way that even if you do have lots of mirror cardstock, it's a nice way to combine all the elements together. Sometimes you forget about the colour and mediums that you've got, Nigel. Colour your card, and it's a great way to create your mats and layers. It's a great way to die cut. It's a good way to, of course, emboss if you want to. But by simply going all the way round, and you just need to go through it. And I am going to skip sections because I've got a lot I want to show you within this That's demo here. Right. But you can see, carry on all the way round, add that in, Nigel, and then there's my gold mat and layer. So if you don't have gold cardstock, there's your layer. And it's like an antique gold, isn't it? As it well? is. I mean, it's, so it's softer. Maybe you don't want like the metallic bling of a gold cardstock. So that just works a treat. It works an absolute treat. Bringing in another piece of my white cardstock. This is just our white smooth. You can use our watercolour card if you want. And I'm going to go in kind of like the banana. It's banana leaves, isn't it? Is it banana it leaves? Is. Yeah. yeah, indeed. We're going to go in with that one here. And you don't need to be neat or precise with this. And this is what's great. If you want to use a repositionable spray, you can do. If you want to use like a masking tape, you can do. But we're going to go in with the Island Shore. So this one here is your pearlescent shimmer ink pad. It's absolutely gorgeous here. I'm going to go in with a blending tool. In the set, you get a circle one. Yes. I prefer my square one. There's no what one's best. It's no. personal preference. It's horses for courses. It is. It absolutely is. So there's no other reason as to why I'm using the square when it's actually a rectangle. But if you, you'll know what I mean by that. On the website, they're called square, yes. even although that they're rectangle. One of those things that's sent to confuse us. Yes, and me. Always will do. Always will do. But yeah, you can do exactly what I'm doing here with the circle. And I'm just dabbing. I'm dabbing with my blending tool. As I say, you can, if you want, use your repositionable spray or you can use a stencil tape or a low-tack tape. The only thing that I'm being careful about is, you'll notice, I'm not really blending round in circles because there's fine little bits there, Nigel. So if I blend, I don't want to pull them up yes. and rip them off. There's more of a, a dab. It is, yeah, just dabbing and twisting. And I say rip them off. It's a substantial stencil material, but you don't want to bend it and uh, damage it. And holding it down. And I'm purposely holding that if it moves, if it's not perfect, I don't want it to be because it's that kind of unnatural, tropical, nature look that we're going for. And we're just going to then add our colour. And you can start to mix and match. You've still got your uh, duet ink pad that you can use if you want. And let's just go in with that one down into here. And I'm not going to go all the way around here, but if I lift that up, what we've then got mm, is that shimmer there from our island shore. And then what you can keep going is use sections from your stencil. And we're just going to add that in, creating our border. You don't need to worry too much about the centre because that will be covered up. But even if you've got little sections, Nigel, just go in there at the base, fill it in, create a nice backdrop. And then if you wanted to, I don't do this with the shimmer ink pad, but you can, if you want, use embossing powder because mm. it's a pigment ink pad. I just feel sometimes that dulls the shimmer down, yes. but you can absolutely do that if you want. So at this point, what we can then do is let's go in with the most this incredible bird of paradise. That one is your mica shimmer pigment uh, spray that we've got. So do we roll it to activate? Personally, I like to roll it. Don't I don't shake. Well, it's not that don't shake, but I just find if I shake, Nigel, sometimes you get a lot of bubbles, which can sometimes yeah. block or affect the spritz. You so don't I just want like your nozzle roll. blocked. No, you definitely don't. You don't. There, yeah, no. no. That just opens up a world of you problems. You want it in, in good issues. spraying action. You do indeed. 
Now, this is where if you've got your mixed media mat, it's going to be nice and clean, your glass mat, your craft mat, it's entirely up to yourself. Now, the closer you spritz, the more of the larger puddles that you're going to get. Further back, the more of a spray. Now, keeping in mind, I would have inked all the way around with my stencil, but just at a little bit of a distance there. And then that is quite literally all that I'm going to do. Nothing more than that. If you wanted to add just a little bit more in that corner, in that corner, you can do that. But then what we can do is let that dry, even, even let it dry naturally or with a heat tool. What we've then got is our own background. Now that one there, I've gone a little bit more subtler and a little bit further back, but you're not losing any of that shimmer mm. from the shimmer ink pad that we just used. So let's just take that off. And this is the base of, or the beginning of our card base. So let's take our tape runner. You can use your tacky glue that you've got within the set. But given that a matte and layer onto my black, and that's why I love that there's black in it, because I use black a lot. Mm. I think it's it so really... strong, isn't it? It just makes all the other colours pop. It does. It really, really does. And I think anything bright, anything tropical, black really, really does help elevate it and lift it. Let's bring that in onto here. And that's our base. That's our base ready to work on. And we've used all the elements that you've got within that big bundle, just added in a little bit of uh, white cardstock, which we've all got. So that's the basis. So let's set that one to the side for now. And then I'm going to go back in with another piece of white cardstock. We're going to go in with the incredible embossing folder. Mm, this is one that I know that I'm just going to be using uh, far and beyond the Tropical Trend collection. And let's go in with our duet ink pad here. And we're going to go in and we're going to do our letter press technique. Now, I'm going to do it on this side, the purple printed side. So, therefore, all the detail will stay white. If you're unsure, just ink both sides with your ink pad. And all that you need to do, and you can do this with any water-based ink pad or, you know, pigment ink pad, anything like that. And we're just keeping it flat and we're rolling over the folder. And as I say, I do want this side, but this is just to show if you're unsure what look that you want or you don't know or you can't remember what side to ink, just do them both and then just use the one that you... Uh, that you <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Uh, Dan's just given me a compliment there in my ear there, so thank you for that one. And let's close that over. Now, what I'm doing is I just want to hold it and pinch it because I don't want to move it. It's then going to potentially uh, kind of move all the ink. So I'm going to bring in my MIDI. Now, you could use your G2, your OG if you want to, but I know it's on the Hobby Maker website. I've got another show with it tomorrow. But this is 2D, so all that we need is our shim that you get with your MIDI. I'm going to put it in, but I want a little bit extra pressure there, Nigel. So I'm going to take a bit of scrap cardstock, mm -hmm. pop that over the top, and this is your letterpress technique. If you're new to this, what this does is bosses your card, but because that you've got ink, it pushes all of the ink into place within your card. So let's read. So this is the side that I don't want. But then look at the look that you're getting. It looks fabulous, doesn't it? But then the side that I do want, oh, look at that. Hello. So it's pushed all the ink and the colour to the back, but then all of the detail, the, the banana leaves, the florals are there on the forefront. All that I'm going to do is let's just give it a light little waft at the moment. And then we're going to come in with, let's go in with our, our tricolour aqua pen here. So we're going to just heat set it just very quickly and then let's take our tricolour aqua pen. So these are water-based. So if you want to colour direct onto your card or your image, you can do. Or I'm just going into my glass mat. Could be a craft mat, could be a tile if you want, your mixed media mat. And then I've got some wa water here. And this is the one, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do little sections and then I'll bring in the full look here, Nigel, because if I've done it all, well... I'd be here for a couple of hours. So. 
Uh, I'll just we're getting show your busier and busier for that collection. Patricia in Devon is in as well. Don't forget to check out your baskets to secure your purchase. But you are getting an absolute corker. The colour palette uh, is just bright. It's beautiful. It's happy making. And the creativity that you got within the collection, everything from obviously the, uh, the stamps through to the embossing folder and all of that beautiful extra bling in the inks, it all goes together to make a glorious end product, doesn't it? It does. It really, really does. You look at a lot of the things nature-wise that's out there, paradise, tropical that's all out there at the moment or I can't stress enough Nigel that if you're not one that you think well Craig I'm not going to use it all as a complete collection it's the colours that you're only going to get with the trend collection so it's a nice little additional add-on to your duet ink pads that you've already got or maybe your tricolours that you've already got and as I say although you I say already got it means meaning your original range these are brand new colours for the tropical trend collection that uh, once it's gone then we won't be able to get these colors again so keep that in mind but because this is then water based i'm just going in there with the color so this one that i'm using is your tropical pool which is a lovely lovely mint and then you can go in and you can add lots and lots of detail you can then start to blend out if you want to and I would do that within all of these uh, banana leaves and the floral elements. And then we're going to go back with our gold. We're going to go in with our gold pen. And then we can then go in with the detail. So I'm going to make sure that my card is quite flat here. And where we've got the raised detail, what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour over. And because it's quite a thick bullet nib, it means that it sits onto the raised detail and then it means that you're not getting it where you don't want it to go. So this is not in a mix with the green at all? No, not at all, not at all. And if you find that you've got any green that has crossed over to the embossed detail, the gold will cover it and you won't see it. So you don't need to worry about that. And it's given you as if you've done some gold heat embossing. So we're going to go in, I'll just do this one here, like so, picking it up. Just going over with the pen and then we can then go into our floral. So if I go in with one of my florals here. So the other thing that you could do is the small floral, just colour the gold. And I say I've got a complete one that we'll show you in a moment. But you can go in with all of these foliage parts and then let's go in with the big open floral. I'm going to then start to bring in my tri-colour. So this is our tri-colour. So this is where, if you're familiar with the Burgundy Barrel, usually when you see pens like this, Nigel, it is one, uh, it's one colour family, but three different blends. So it's like a light, a medium, and a dark. With the tri-colour, these are technically three different colour families that you wouldn't always think blend together, but they do. And this is where Leah and Leanne at uh, Spectrum Noir, you know, them and the team, come together and they work out the colours for us as to which one will blend. They are the colour experts, aren't they? They are indeed. They absolutely are. And there's no, with the tri-blends, usually you would go like light, medium, dark, or dark, medium, and light. You can go in any order. These will blend in any order there that no you want. No rules. No rules. And that's what's good about the trend collection, where you've got, and again, don't be scared with the word mixed media, you don't have to be specific. You can go in blend colour and just play with uh, whichever way that you no want. There's no clashing the colour at nothing. all, is there? No, nothing. And sometimes you find, or you would think, that there would be a clashing, but there's not. It's that thought process. You think you get that sort of muddying where one colour sort of like muddies into another, but it not at all? No, and I think that also gives you that confidence builder as well. It's a good way to start with your colour in yeah, a absolutely. nice way. And I would then carry on and then just go into the other parts of the floral. Let's bring in our glitter glue here. Absolutely gorgeous, this mm. glitter glue. And then we've got little pin drops all the way around. And then all that you can do is go in. And I'm just going to use those little dots as a little aid to pop my glue on. And then you can go small, you can go large if you want to entirely up to yourself, in with those dots. And then the other thing that we can do is I'm going to take my tacky glue. Now, this is the tacky glue you get within the set. Okay. I've just put it in a little applicator. I'm sure you'll find them on the Hobbymaker website. 
and then I'm just going to do tiny, tiny little dots. I would do it with all the florals. And then let's go in with our passion flower petals here. You've got about three different sizes. And I'm just going to go in with a couple of them here. And then if you've got like a little uh, pickup tool, you can use that. If not, just put a little bit of glue of that on your glass mat. Take a pokey tool, just pop that in, and then just pick it up and then just pop it into there. Let's take another one. Just really want some of the smaller ones here for now. Let's pick it up, pop it into there. And then you can carry on. I'm going to just move them out of the way because I don't want to lose them. You can carry on and then colour the remaining components as of what I've just done there. And then if I bring this one in that I'd already done, and then that is how you can then start to get that full look using a lot of the components within this collection. That's so vibrant, isn't it? It, it is, really isn't it? Is. It really, really is. You might want to bring in some of your other ink pads mm. that you've got that you can absolutely do that. And then what I would do is another matte and layer, white cardstock, a little bit bigger, and I've done what I've done before with the gold, which then can go over the top. So this is all dry, so let's go along and add my tape onto the back. Gives us our layer here. I feel we missed an opportunity by not dressing in Hawaiian shirts as well. I think we should have. We should have done that. We should have sent out the memo like Levi, you could have been in one. Laura could have all been, been in one. one. Dan could have been in one. Could, could you imagine that? We could. I've got yeah. more Hawaiian shirts than I can shake a stick at. So it's like, yeah, I, I could have like kitted everybody out, quite frankly. Yeah. Maybe more could have been in a Hawaiian dress and a, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've probably got a few lays hanging around as well in the dressing up box. Oh yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. I have. I have. That a, would be a, a good dressing up box. People will know that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's got a couple of... Actually, do you know, Laura's saying they're probably in the top drawer. <laughs> Actually, they are. In the spare bedroom at home, the top drawer has about four or five lays in it. You are right, Laura. Have you been spying on my house? <laughs> Is that what's going on? There you go. I... Any chance to dress up. Oh, well, that would have been a good idea to do that. We should have done it. Craig, next time, if you, when you know it's you and me together, because you're much more organised than I am, so it's like... Phone me, message me, email me. See, Nigel, this is me. the theme that we've got. Yeah, let's dress accordingly. Let's dress it Come again. On. I think we should. I think we should. We could have a little bit of Hawaiian music. Dan could have created some fabulous visuals. Of course he could. He does. I mean, his visuals, I know. I, I think good. Levi would have loved that, wouldn't you? Imagine a halula yeah. on the desk there. Yeah. We should have had as well Laura some... like a big old coconut... Well, not big old, so that says all the better. <laughs> coconut bra on, you know, all of that going on. It's all of that. Good. Yeah, you could do. Could we, we could have had some, um, you know, non-alcoholic uh, cocktails. Yeah, absolutely. Some mocktails. Yeah, yeah. Laura I... says she doesn't own a coconut bra. Laura, we can craft you one. We can craft you one. I don't one. believe her. No, I don't either. Do not believe her. I think she's got... I don't know. I mean, I... Can we get Jimmy to nip to the uh, local supermarket, get some coconuts, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fun that we could have. I know. We should have thought this through. We should have. And it's not like me. Usually I, I, I do think... I wouldn't necessarily say I dress for the collection, but I do tend to think Yeah, ahead. you do. You're very good. So, uh, yeah, I'm kinda, I've let myself down on that well, one. Well, Craig, we, we're, we're learning the lesson from this. Yep. I don't know, Think maybe ahead. Dan, Dan's just brilliant. Dan, you've got like, what, 26 minutes to create some fabulous... Can we have something fabulous to go in the plasma that's all like me and Craig being Hawaiian and tropical, please? That would be good, thank you. I think you. that I would be Dan. really... He creates the most amazing thing. Oh, he really, really does. Every yeah. home should have a Dan. If I could, like, you know, sell him, I would. Well, I was, when I was here the other day, I was here on... When was I here? Tuesday that I was here. And we were talking about some of uh, some of the, not necessarily the nicknames, but when it comes to collection, what was it we were saying? Do more Debbie. Is that, is that what we were saying? And then uh, they were trying to think, they were trying to think of one for me. And if you had come up with Clueless Craig. Clu You're never clueless. And, and Dan done an absolutely epic graphic for that one. Really? I, mean, I need to see this, if it's still available. If it's still available. <laughs> I love that. Be about somewhere. Dan... Dan's got a complete back catalogue of things that is created. Are you responsible for Rosie's Rampage? Did you do that one? I know you did my fabulous Nigel's Wipeout, which I love you for. There was Rosie's Rampage. That was a good one. 
just joyous. Yeah. I think any show with, a, with an extra graphic or a dress up on it, I am very happy with. Yeah. I mean, they're all fun, but that makes it like even more fun. They're it? all fun. Mm. It's always good to see what Dan, Dan can come up with. Look at that. Now, that's... I've gone in with the tropical sentiment die here, and I've just cut that out cardstock, so G2, the MIDI, any other branded machine, and that's a good thing to point out. Of course, Crafter's Companion, the Gemini, but our embossing folders are die. They will work in any other branded die cutting Of machine. course. I don't yeah. think you have to have the Gemini. And I cut it out in card. And once again, in case you don't have gold, I've just coloured it in myself. That metallic pen is getting a good workout. It today. really, it really is. You. Loads of ways in which you can use it. Uh, the details on the screen at the moment are for the core collection. So basically, that's not the tools. You are going to get, obviously, the bits that you see here, basically. Uh, so you will get the embossing folder, you get the stencils, you're going to get the stamps, you are going to get the pens, uh, you get the, the glitter paste, you're going to get, I mean, the uh, gilding flakes in there, the sequins, the glitter, the spray, you get all of that. Basically, from there to there, that's what you are getting. Well, what's on your screen, basically? HJ2019 is your item code on that one, 94.99, but three-way split pay, and we don't charge you to use split pay, because that would be what, Levi? Silly. Silly. Silly, silly, silly. I love Levi's silly because it literally looks at me. It's just like silly. silly. He does the action as well. It's like silly. You get the head nod, which I appreciate. Back to Craig. Never silly. Right. So I've already cut out that same tropical die in white card and black card, Nigel, and give myself a drop shadow. You know me. You know I love doing a drop you shadow. Love a drop. You're king of the drop shadow. But this is going to be a triple one. Oh, hello. So that gold one. I've a put triple the tropical drop shadow. The, the, That's I, not easy to say. Rather you say that than me. Because, I won't try this um, again, I'll be honest. No, I'm not going to try it. Because it probably will not come out like Go that. Go on, you've got to now. What did we say? Triple tropical drop shadow. Triple tropical drop shadow. Yeah. Say it quickly. Say it five times over. <laughs> it's Debbie egging him on now. The <laughs> Debbie Moore's egging me on, rightly so. Um, Debbie. Triple, triple, trop what, what did triple tropical drop shadow. Triple tropical drop shadow. Triple tropical drop shadow. It's not, you don't have to do it five times, don't worry. <laughs> I've said it, I need to do it a third time now. Triple tropical drop shadow. That third time, you need to get it. Say my numbers. favourite Craig word. Say pearls. 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 You put two, two, two syllables got, to it, which I love. Pearls within and this film collection. And I love with you as well. Film. 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 Oh, swirl is good with Craig as well. There are words that Craig says that are just better than when anybody else says them. The other one back at HQ that they always get me to say, because... To me, they're com two completely different names. Oh, I think we've had this before. Go on. Oh, have we? I think so. Go on. Carol and Carol. Oh, no, we've not had this. Carl and Carol. Y yeah, Carol and Carol. Yeah, but you're saying exactly the same. No, I'm saying two... To me, I'm saying two different names. Say it again. Carol and Carol. Carol and Carol. And that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. I know you're saying two different things, but that's what... And I'm that's hearing. what they say at, H at HQ as well. They say, no, you're saying uh, the same name. I'm like, no, so to me, I'm saying... Carl. Yeah. Go on, say Carl. Carol. Say Carol. Carol. <laughs> Craig, you are adorable. They do sound exactly the same. To the untrained to the, uh, to, ear. Yeah, but it's to me. To the untrained ear. To me, two different names. The male Carol and the female but Carol. This is, what I love. I mean, I, this is what I love about accents and, you know, regional dialects and all of that. Language is a really fabulous thing. It is. It really, it really, really, really is. is. And your accent, you know, is one of my favourites. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I do sometimes. Again, even back at head, head office, I feel like a performing monkey sometimes with some so of they, the words. Oh, so they make you say things? They do, yeah. That, that, that uh, Fisher's the worst sometimes. <laughs> were, you, were you here? I don't know whether you saw when. Did you see the Debbie Robinson um, tuna breath debacle that we had? No. Um, I think it was salmon breath. She, like, basically, before we went in there, she had a big old fishy dinner. And she was really mortified. So she kept, literally before we went to her, she went, don't mention my fishy breath. And it's like, oh. you know, it's like red rag to a <laughs> yeah. I couldn't smell her fishy breath anyway. But it's like, she, so we went through the whole thing. So we re renamed her. Instead of Debbie Fisher, she was now or Debbie Robinson. Because there's a Debbie Fisher, she's now Debbie Fishy. Debbie, Debbie Fishy. <laughs> Debbie Fishy. She was Debbie Fishy. That's good. I like that Dan one. Dan did a fabulous thing for that day he with really his graphics really as well. Really really Craig, I'm going to say, I love that card. It is just joyously, euphorically happy and bright and vibrant and reminds me of holidays and makes me want to go to Hawaii and things like that. It's great. Yeah, uh, yeah no, and it's using many of the components. You know, we've not used the glitter paste. 
before the end of the, even if I can show you just how to use the glitter paste, then we'll do that before the end of the show. But it's still using so many of all these components, Nigel, as many as you want or as less as you want, or start to bring in all your own crafty stuff at home. It's gorgeous. And what I love it, it's completely unisex. You can send it to somebody called Carl or somebody <laughs> called Carol. Either way. Uh, let's remind you of the big bundle, the mega bundle, because you are getting everything here. So not only are you getting the core cool collection, which, of course, is the pens, uh, the embossing folder, the stencils, the stamps. You are also getting all of the inks, the glitters that you see here as well, the gilding flakes, the glitter paste, the sequins. Everything is included. But you are also getting some extra tools as well. You are getting your rocker blocks. I love rocker blocks. I'm going to say that right here, right now. I remember when rocker blocks were launched. And I, I, I still say to this day, I and mean, it must have been about, what, 10, 12 years ago they were launched. I have no idea. Uh, a long time ago. But I just think they make stamping so much simpler for everybody. They really do. So you've got your rocker blocks there. You've got your black card stock. You've got your mixed media mat. You've got your glue. You've got your blending tools and your blending refills as well. Let's remind you of what you're actually getting in the collection. The stamps that you get. Look, Craft Tropicana. Here we go. You've got cocktails or mocktails, whichever is your preference. But hey, it's the weekend. Hashtag drink responsibly. Hashtag hey, it's the weekend. Uh, you've got your parrot, cockatiel, cockatoo, lovebirds, you name it. I mean, you can be whatever you like, quite frankly. Uh, you've got the hibiscus there as well. Uh, so you've got your fabulous, I mean, I, I just think real sort of like holiday vibe stamps there. Love the embossing folder. The embossing folder, that Lost in Paradise, that is just beautiful. Steeped in design, and it's tropical, it's exotic, it's vibrant. Um, love it. Uh, you've also got your stencils. You are going to get this stencil to begin with, so there's banana leaves that you've got there. Or if you, have, if you remember the days of everybody having cheese plants, they, they look like cheese plant leaves. My um, mum and uh, stepdad had them in their bathroom. What, cheese plants? Yeah, yeah uh -huh, it's huge. They used, uh, used to, like, everybody used to have a big cheese plant. It was like the go-to plant. Uh, what have we got here? You've got your Tropical Paradise Hibiscus. That's your stencil there that you've got. Uh, and then you've also got this one, which is, it's, I almost feel like I'm lying in the grass there, looking upwards, sunbathing in the grass. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you've got that one as well. Then you've got your dyes as well. You've got Love, Tropical and Cheers. Jill in County Durham, Patricia in Devon, Stephen in Hampshire. Uh, Stephen, you've checked out. Well done. Patricia, you need to check out your basket, my lovely. So do you, Jill in County Durham and Joanne in Cornwall. Congratulations. You have done just that. £114.99 is your price, but let's take advantage of a four-way split play breaking it down to what four interest-free payments and no charge payments of 28 something 28.74 was it something like that uh, so basically one payment today so that's what the 19th of april as soon as the first payment comes through to us we'll send it out to you cat pmp and all that uh, second payment will be the 19th of may third payment the 19th of june fourth and final payment will be the 19th of july oh my gosh by then you would have done your summer barbecues and your tropical cocktail tiki parties and all of that you would have made the invitations you would have made you know the decor the bunting you name it you could make it all with this collection it is a gorgeous collection the tropical paradise it's a happy smile maker of a collection fh uh, fh 2080 is your item code on that one uh, now we have got oh hang on let's have a look this has fallen over i'm going to go and grab this uh, we've got these on their own if you want the tools and the refills you do get the refills. I don't think I've got the pack of refills out. I've got square refills, but I haven't got the round refills. But you are going to get your refills as well. So you get the refills and these. Uh, if you do want to go for this, we've got a great price for this. Craig, this is one of those tools that you just can't go without, isn't it? No, no, because these are great to do your blending, of course. But if you love to do all your techniques with alcohol pens, you can use them as well. But to have the actual refills, or if you even want to use these for taking the excess gild and flakes, you can do that. But I've just got loads and loads of them, certainly when it comes to the square ones. Your refills will be circular. They will be circular, just yes. So that you get something extra as well. Let's have a look at the price. Craig, have you seen this? 5 .50. I've not. What? I know. What? What? That's ridiculous, wow. isn't it? Five pound fifty. Could be a mistake, but it's on the screen. Take mm -hmm. advantage. Take TN twenty twenty nine is your item code on that one. How much are they normally? Like nine ninety nine or something like that. I can't remember. Even a bit that. more, maybe. Uh, if you want to go for that one, so five fifty. Yours will be circular, just in case you're thinking those two don't go together. Uh, now. Uh, we do have the square ones as well. If you want to go for the square ones, are we going to do the same deal? 
Oh, hang on. I picked up the wrong bit, didn't I? Sorry. There you go. Uh, you've got the square ones there. So you've got the tool and then the refills included. That's 550 as well. That is Billy Bonkers. AC2078 is your item code on that one. Uh, so if you're looking for that, they're not square. They're rectangular, but there you go. Uh, 550 AC2078 is your item code on that one. Brilliant. Uh, right. Is it time for another demo? Yes, it is. It's time for more Craft Tropicana action. Back to Craig. Let's do it. Let's do it here. Now, I'm going to go in with the set, the one that uh, you like. We're going to go in with this, this stencil here. I do. I just feel like I'm like, lying back in the grass, looking up through it in the sunshine, getting a bit of old vitamin D on the skin. Yeah, or it could be, what's her name's um, hairline from Traitors? What's her name? Oh, Claudia. Claudia. I'm obsessed with Claudia Winkleman. She's good, isn't she? I'm just obsessed with Claudia Winkleman. She's really, really good. Is I'm being asked if I ever interview Claudia. No, I've not. No. No, I've not. I know I would love to. I would love to interview Claudia. She's, in all honesty, she was one that, you know, I was, obviously, I was Have aware you met of her. her. No. Oh. No. No. Did you think I was about to say that? I yes, I thought you would say, like, when you met her. I got no. very excited. No, no. Uh, she was one that, you know, I knew her working at, but it wasn't until she started doing traitors that I really appreciated appreciated her as a, as like, as a presenter and She's talent. Just, she, on the traitors, I, I just think, I mean, I'm obsessed with that show, Like the World. And I just love the fact that she was so kind of like deliciously dark, but yet still everybody's mother. Every, yeah. And yeah. that's a very thin line to tread. That shows how good she is. It's not every presenter that could present that show. No. She's no, you so could. so brilliant. Huh? You could. Oh, okay, the boy can dream. It's like, I would love that. Yeah, that would be joyous. I'm surprised why one of those channels haven't snapped you up there, oh, Nigel. Craig, Craig Laird, if only you were my agent. That would be... Oh, I yeah. I have one, but there you go. Oh. And Craig, that colour is gorgeous. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? So that one there is your tropical waters that you've got within this set here. And this is your finer glitter paste. So we're just going to go in there, making sure... I'm using one of our spatulas that we've got here. I'm just going to take off that excess. Now, when it comes to, and unfortunately it's not in stock at the moment, but when it comes to glitter paste, I, I do like to use a repositionable spray. I do prefer, I don't tend to use it any other time, but I do with glitters. Okay. Only because what could happen is if you don't use a repositional sp a repositionable spray, if you're not careful, sometimes it can seep underneath the stencil. So I like to use a repositionable Ooh, spray. And then I always make sure my card is bigger than I need. And then I let it dry. And then I trim afterwards. But what you can also do, and I do like to do this, is the only bit of scrap that I've got to hand here. So if I go in, so let's put that back up. And I know there's not actually much on this one here. Take as much off as you can, pop it back in your tub. But then just go in with your spatulas, your palette knives in there. Get as much as you can off of there. Maybe even give it a clean with a little cloth or microfiber cloth. Clean your stencil. And then what you're going to get is if we take that off, you're getting another different nice. look. at Really, really kind of grungy and natural. Now, the one I'd done at home, I had a little bit excess on my stencil so you can see it's a lot more kind of but prominent you're not wasting any of what no. you've got that's the great thing um, if you want the palette knives by the way we've got a set of three for you we can show you a little picture of these you can see what you're getting just useful 449 wd28 oh hello it's going down that's that's flabbered my ghast 449 wd2087 is your item code on that one uh, if you want to go for those they are limited stock though so get that in your basket and check out asap back to craig so what we could do is let that dry and then trim it down. What I've then done is I've just taken my ice grey too. Now this could be a illustrator pen that I'm using, could be a tri-blend, any of our ice grey too. And you'll see me do this quite a lot with stamps, Nigel. But what I've done is I have trimmed it down and I've just gone round that outer edge with the ice grey too. And it's like it just elevates it that little bit more. It's very subtle because mm, it's a very thin. Bit. With you a bit. There, there, we, oh, there we go. And the only, I've just got one last bit for you to see. So into here, letting it dry, and then just travel your ice grey to it. Because you've got that barrier, because, of course, your glitter paste has dried slightly raised, 
I think that makes such a difference. It does. It really does. And as I say, I do this quite a lot with stamped images. This is the first time I've ever done it with a stencil. And you can just see, you get that uh, outline. It just seems to elevate it that little bit more. So let's do a little bit of black cardstock. This is more kind of a simpler, straightforward demo, but it's three and a half by five and a half for anyone that wants to know. So maybe you don't want to put all the layers and components onto your card or I don't project. think you can make a card with this collection that is not going to be vibrant, though. No, That's no. not going to have that wow factor, that pop of colour. Well, not even a pop of colour, an explosion. An explosion, an absolute explosion It is going to be, like, in your face. And I think maybe what will happen is you might think, right, I'm just going to use a few elements, components, and then you think, oh, actually, I'm going to add this. Actually, I'm going to add that. I'll add a few gems. I'll mm -hmm. add a few pearls. And before you know it, you are um, starting to build up all the layers. Now, five by seven card, just add that on, a little bit of black. You know what I'm like? I love a big white border. It really, really it does, works. Though it frames it to perfection. It does, yeah. It makes that different. Like that white speak, isn't it? It is. Yeah, sometimes you can, people can get a little bit scared of white mm. space and, you know, use it to your advantage. It so frames the work. is what you're going to use. It uh, is indeed. What would be your tipple of choice if we were in a local bar? Cocktail-wise? Yes. So it would be the one on the beach. Oh, yes, OK. We all know what you're having on the beach. Yep. Or Purple Rain. Oh, now what's in that? Um, You've no idea. You just drink it, don't you? <laughs> so nice. It's purple and it is filled, which makes a difference, of, you know, the really fine ice chips. Nice. You know, not, not chunky ice cubes, really. Like a, in a slushy, in yeah, a kind of way. Yeah, slushy meets cocktail. But my, my go-to is always the one on a beach. The That's one on always. the beach. I love the fact you, you won't want to say that word. Uh, oh, well, I do want it, but I better not. Oh, uh, it's a sexy drink. <laughs> it is, go. yeah. Um, OK, let's do it. Levi, what's your cocktail of choice? A Long Island oh. iced tea. Do you know what? I, I was, I was going to guess that. I wish I had guessed it. I thought, yeah, he looks like a Long Island iced tea kind of guy. And I was right. Dan, I'm going to say... Mm, I think Dan might be a woo-woo fan. He doesn't like a woo-woo. Oh. There you go. Dan, what's your cocktail of choice? Anything with rum. It's called a twister, or like a twister ice lolly. Mm. Oh my gosh, a twister cocktail tastes like a twister um, ice lolly, but it's uh, alcohol. Obviously, hashtag drink responsibly, yeah. but heck, hashtag get me a twister. That sounds gorgeous. Um, Laura, I think Laura could be an espresso martini kind of girl. Or oh no, she hates coffee. There you go, I'm so wrong. Or a Look cosmopolitan. I don't know these guys at all, do I, when it comes to cocktails? Okay, Laura, what's your cocktail of choice? A Hugo, a Hugo Spritz. Spritz. What, what in the... What well, in the name of craft is a Hugo Splits? Elderflower, elderflower liqueur, Prosecco, lime, mint, and with a little bit of soda water. It sounds nice. It does sound nice. Because I've got to say, my go-to go cocktail would always be a, a mojito. I love a mojito. Do you like a mojito? I do, but I like a fruity mojito as well. You yeah. know, I like a raspberry mojito, a strawberry mojito. I get I that. That's good. I get that. Lovely. Now, that is similar to what I've done with the gold pen, but this one, what I've done is I've tricolour, and then I've just used the three of them and just blended them in together. What I've then done is done it again in black and created a drop shadow, just creating that light drop shadow that we can see here. And then all that we need to do is, and this is a great thing with this stencil as well, portrait, you know, uh, landscape, you can go whichever way that you want to. But I'm going to go that way. And then what we're sort of, let's bring in what I've already done here. So what we've got is your stamp set. So we've got the stamp set where you've got a, a six of these stamps. I know you've got the board there, Nigel, but I've just used the wow. cocktail glass just there. And I've coloured in with a little bit of the pink orchid from the Tricolour Aqua. Just say, if you are going to do that, make sure you are using a waterproof ink pad because it's water-based. Okay. But you'll find that on the um, website. Those stamps are only 4 99 That's a great big. price. Really, really good very price. Very good. And then once you've started to build your card, as I said before, you know, play, have a look. You know, you can then start to position them all the way around you know we could have spritzed a little bit of the spray here we could go on again with a few 
of oh, your little oh. sequins and into here, odd numbers, you know, it could be three or five. It's like, I don't, they're gorgeous, they are so flamingo colour. Yes, they? yes they are, they really, really are. And because you've got a whole, whole tub, a 50 gram tub of them here, in there, but again, what you could have done is maybe go to the side here. Maybe you want to then just come down a little off the page there if you wanted to do that. Or again, we could have moved that one out of the way, turn it around. You could go in that direction mm. if you want to, into there or off the page is always a fun way to do that as well. Or from the one that I coloured earlier on, you can just go into the, imagine that as an invitation. Oh, Laura's honestly, said in her ear there. to that party immediately. I'm there. It's giving me some. I, I think like was it Dan earlier that said like a tiki, like tiki bars and mm -hmm. tiki vibes and tiki parties. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh my god. Oh my word. I love you, Dan Truman, so much. Look at this. That is the best thing ever. Dan, can you please email that to me immediately? You know my Hotmail address. That is just, look, Craig. Look that is brilliant. That is beyond brilliant. How does he do these things? I know it's probably really basic for young people. But for me, for me, an old person, it just makes me very happy. Apparently, people are laughing in the green room right <laughs> I'm now. I'm surprised. I don't know why. Oh, why Dan, you, you need... laugh at that. It's just genius. It you really need to send is. it to me as well, Dan. Craig, come on. Yeah, please, yes, go, let's go, go. Come over. Come on over. Come on, let's, let's reenact. You've got to do your bit. So what Let, I'm doing, I mean, yeah, what? and I'm that that's it, and I'm. <laughs> there you go. I love it. Uh, let's recap. Well, you do that too well. Uh, <laughs> let's recap what we've got in the collection. Yes, you are getting everything in the mega collection, which is what you're all going for. Patricia, Stephen, Jill, uh, Joanne. You need to check out your baskets. New crafters coming in as well. You get your stamps. Can't believe they're just four ninety nine. Love that. You get your embossing folder, which Craig did that fabulous demo with earlier. Love it. You've got your stencils as well. So you've got your banana leaves. You're also getting your hibiscus. And you are going to get as well the fabulous sort of like grass, jungle grass, call it what you will. Uh, on top of that as well, you are going to get these fabulous dyes. Love tropical cheers. We've seen what you can do with those yep. as well, Craig. And take us through your board of oh, tropical let's dreams. Look of all the goodies. I've tried to use as many as I could within that demo there. Remember these, other than your gold metallic pen, these are all brand new colours for this trend collection here. Tricolour Aqua with your Tropical Paradise there, Tropical Pool, Pink Orchid, uh, Papaya there, but then you've got your Tricolour Aqua, uh, sorry, your Tricolour Alcohol there with your three colours, three different colour families, but they will blend together. You've got your Duet Hummingbird Ink Pad, your Shimmer Ink Pad being your Island Shore. You've then got that incredible Birds of Paradise Shimmer Spray with all that mica. Huge tub of Heart of the Jungle Glitter. You've then got your Glitter Paste, which is your Tropical Waves, which is the fine one that I used. You've also got your Hibiscus Chunky Glitter Paste. So that is uh, from kind of the family of the mesmerizing glitter paste that we'd done, which was really quite chunky. Big tub of your Jungle Waterfall Gems here with the greens and the sea blues. Your liquid gold metallic pen. You've then got your Lily Glitter Glue in there. You've also got your uh, mauve, yours will be a mauve, uh, Gildan Flakes in there. And then you're going to be getting your Passion Flower Gems and Perils and that mahusive tub of the Tropical Florals Sequence. It's such a good deal, it really is. But if you're going for the mega collection, you're not just getting that, you're also getting some tools as well. You are getting a set of rocker blocks. Mm -hmm. You are getting your matte black cardstock. You are also getting your glue. You are getting your mixed media match. You are getting your blending tool in the with the circular pads. And you're getting a whole set of refills of your circular pads as well. It is a hula hula of a deal. It really is. FH2008 is your item code if you would like to go over it. Three ways to order. The best way is to order by the website. Come on, Levi. All the W's what? Hollymaker.co.uk. He the man. Love it. Yes, hollymaker.co.uk. Oh, we... Lauren's here as well. Where is she? I, I love her. Who yeehaw. Got... yeehaw. Was that Lauren? Honestly, this is funny. That's more of your cowboys. Dan, uh, this Lauren, is the best thing ever. Should we just end with this Still full there. screen? Let's do it. Let's get this full screen. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. it is brilliant. Uh, from me and Craig, we'll see you soon. We're off for a cheeky cocktail. Make mine a stiff one. We'll see you later. <laughs> Take care. Bye.
Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Head over to your app store now and search Hobbymaker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobbymaker app. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Good afternoon and welcome back to Hobby Maker on this Friday afternoon. Yeah, I think we can officially say, what, four o'clock is the weekend here now? Mm, I feel it is, yes, kind of. I yeah. think it is. The weekend's but here because starts, look who's here. I think I'm you Nigel started this is Debbie Moore. Last, you started the last show with your cocktails. Well, That's true, actually. We did have a bit of a tropical I vibe do going like on at the last show. I knew you'd be a mojito girl. Debbie Mojito, that's what I'm going to call you from now on. <laughs> Debbie Mojito. Oh, oh that's that. a new name well, for you. I think you. The, new, the name that you gave me all those years ago has stuck. Debbie and Moore, Moore, Moore. And the product the that we have on today is <laughs> so true. covering it. Let's talk about this because this is brilliant. We teased it earlier. This is your fabulous inspirational project book. We are talking mini books, 23 fabulous craft projects in here. And if you're thinking, what do they look like? Take a look, because we've got quite a few of them in the studio today. Debbie, there is something for every level, something for every there occasion is. here. And you think, oh my goodness, they look complicated. They not. No, not you when you just, have the know-how. No, you have everything there. I have to say thank you to the design team from Hazel to Lois to Pam and, you know, to even Jeanette. They've had so much fun creating these because it's showing you that it's not just one theme. Yeah. So I... Uh, this bundle is, I just didn't want one theme, like, you know, yes, you can see the uh, Welcome to Spring there, because it's spring. You know. Yes. But you've got Art Deck on there, you've got Cat and Man, it's, it's Birds like of Feather. Subject, it's kind of like your sort of thematic greatest hits, isn't it? It is, because there's even Christmas in here. Yes. There's Doing a, a mini book for Christmas. And so what I want to do is I'm going to show you as we go through the, to the show. This is all about showing you how easy it is. There's no way I can show you how to do all 23. Of the no, mini book. An hour. <laughs> yeah. We'd be here all day. But I, I, do. I, I can show you the principle of it because not only am I giving you the, the actual uh, booklet, our, our project book, I'm giving you all the templates and I'm giving you also all the papers. Oh, it's not those bits, by the way. That was the spring collection. There you go. Um, let's explain then. So, this is what you're getting. This yes. is the tangible thing that you will be getting. So, yes. you might be thinking, well, hang on. Where are all the papers and the designs that I need to make all of those projects? Because they're not there 
Well, they are, because in here you have got a code, and that code will do what, Debbie? It'll enable you to get all the templates, because some of the actual mini books you'll need templates, not all of them. There's instructions in, and we'll go through that. But also, you get 115 sheets. I don't know about printable elements. Loads. There's There's hundreds upon hundreds. They're the number of sheets that you get with the collection. Now, obviously, this is you're going to get the physical uh, booklet that you see here. And you can see that you can create themes from sunflowers to vintage to roses and bloom to seaside to even cards for men. And I think in the back there... Make sure I don't show you the forever code. The code. Uh, you have even got Christmas in there because it's a good idea to do throughout the year yeah, so you've got a bit of everything and of course those sheets you can use for card making as well now just say as well this one here it's so hot off the press this is actually not the finished version this is merely a prototype and that price on the screen let's give you a special <laughs> prize shall we come on 14.99 for 23 projects anybody that's checked out so leanne maria judy karen all of you guys and more uh, you will be paying that lowest price because that's how it works here at hobby maker 14.99 is your price 23 fabulous projects i love it i mean deb's i mean for people that i mean we you've got new viewers all the time here at hobby maker maker mini Hobby maker. Maybe if I could say the channel name <laughs> right, it would help. Um, I love the fact little mini books. I mean, they're just a great way of being like little scrapbooks, mementos. You can have such yes. fun with these. I mean, they are real sort of like memento keepers, aren't they? I mean, the thing about mini books, when you have a look at the, what the project book look gives you, it gives you the actual starting point and going through them all. Because cards are great, but what a mini book is, I mean, this one is fun. This is, <coughs> Excuse me, sneezing. This is actually made out of envelopes. I think it's the flowers giving me hay fever. <laughs> That's made out of what, envelopes? Yeah, open it up. Oh my gosh, hello. Okay, Keep right. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. We might need a wide old aperture and we'd like to get this in. Let's have a look. There you go. That way. Oh, look, you put little bits and pieces oh, in Oh, I didn't. Well. I think Lois did this one. <gasps> Adorable. You don't get those. You put your own bits in, but I'm loving that. But what then the you idea. can put, if you're going on, you know, if you want a special day to remember, put your memorabilia, your mm. tickets in there. You can decorate it. This has been decorated with a stencil as well as the papers that you get. You get as part of the collection. And it really is a fun collection. They're made out of envelopes. I just think, I mean, again, if I just grab another one from over here as well, I mean, they're all totally different. But what I love as well is once you've actually, I mean, obviously you can download these papers uh, with that code in the magazine, but... If you think about it, these are great ideas for templates for like other, you know, mini Everything. books of this style with different designs. Different you will papers. get them. So yeah. obviously, if you think this is obviously an Art Deco one, you think, I want a Christmas one. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. Look at that. Look so at that. So you Put can create the all the different techniques, you know, all your crafty stash you can use it. So you're going to get those templates in there. Um, I mean, we are going to go through some of the different ones that you're going to get now. We obviously have the physical, where you get the booklet, but yeah. we also have, we've done it as a special, because we know that we have loads mm -hmm. of international uh, lovely followers, and we've done it as a digital download. That's very good. So you've got the choice of going for your digital download, or of course, the physical, if you like. Either way, you've got all that creativity. If you want to go for the digital download, obviously you need to order that via the web, and obviously, <laughs> put that back together, and obviously there's no PMP on that particular one because it's not a physical product. Nine ninety nine is your price there. Um, so again, you've got all of that inspiration in the booklet as a digital download. Yes, but then you've also got 116 sheets. Oh yeah. And templates. You don't just give the recipes; <laughs> you're giving the ingredients. Given everything, well. yeah. okay, so you can enjoy it. But the beauty about the templates is if you want to make that smaller or bigger, you just want those, don't you? I don't think it's falling out. I don't know what they are. Are they erasers? Yes, make you smile. I do quite like them. They're very funny. They make me smile. Bless you. Um, so with the content that you're going to get, I, get, I go through the step-by-step -step step of the mini books with you. And with the templates, don't forget you can change the sizes. Now, obviously... We're not going to show you all the content, but as you can see from the projects that you see, you get everything to do those. So you will get, you know, so people say to me, oh, for example, one of the sheets there, I could have just given you half of a design, but I've given you a full design. But you never do things half cocked, Debbie. Let's be <laughs> honest. It's like you're always going to give us everything we need and more, hence your surname. Yes. Um, I love the fact with this as well, you've got something 
to suit every taste. I mean, you can see, and we've got the champagne bottles, we've got the florals, we've got cutesy in there, we've got sports in there, there's a bit of beer in there. Uh, you've got everything in there to suit, I think, you know, pretty much every kind of person that potentially we might want to make a mini book for. Yes. Now, I will say, I haven't brought all the mini books with me because they've come all the way from France. They have. So, so I could squeeze so much in. Uh, but um, we'll be going through a couple of them today. You have got 23 projects in there for you to follow. Uh, I mean, the, the actual booklet itself, if we can look from the top camera. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Do I need to cover a code or anything? Just, it's on just on one side. Okay. So I'm just going to go like this and turn it over. There we go. I should just give that, just in case we have any eagle-eyed people. There you go. Oh, so, when you get it home, okay, it will, be, it will list where you've got everything. Thank oh, you, Debs. Yeah, wrong way. I keep doing that. That's all right. Uh, so you can see that Nigel's just gone on about this one, and this one's about uh, how you can create... You get the template, so I'm going to talk to you about one of the demos on today is going to be about doing that. Then you've got basic ones. Then you've got different stages. You've got what we call a shutter mini book there. Then as you go through it, I love this range, roses and bloom. So you have got on there how to create the roses and bloom on there. Then you've got the birds of the feather, a matchbook mini book. That's the one that we've just showed, the tag one. Mm. Then you've also got the accordion pullout. So these instructions are in there. It tells you to, put, to get your template when you go through it. You've got little tag mini books. You've also got special boxes that these are already done for you to download. This is a box mini book on here. Then you've got oh, circle sad. star, okay? And then you've got a spine mini book, which is, I'm gonna demonstrate that one. And it's shown you how you can go different sizes. I've even given you here a garden seed mini book. So am I right in saying, Debs, that, okay, you've got 23 designs, and these 23 designs, and yes, if you use that code, you're going to download the papers and the designs that you see here. And templates. And, and the templates as well, yeah. of course. So because you've got the templates, you can use those templates for any other designs as well. Yes. If you've got, like, your spring collection or anything else, if yes. you want to incorporate that into that design, that design, that of design, Of course that you design, can. You can do. Because you've got the instructions, okay? Some of them tells you to get the templates. Some of them tell you to cut out different ones and the instructions of what you can do. I mean, look at this. I, I did try to put it in my case, but it just, I just couldn't. <laughs> there was no room with all those pink clothes. <laughs> Actually, there was no clothes in there. The clothes were already in the UK. Oh, really? It was full of card samples from this morning's show. You are literally international, aren't okay. you? Now? Bits in the UK, bits in France. So, France yes. Far and wide. But this is a secret book, okay? A mini book, and it's fab. So, you've got those on there. And as you go through it, you've got the Christmas ones, you've got the ones, you know, wish you were here collecting it. I love the secret mini box. There, you've got that there with. So, you're going to get everything on there. But as you go through it, then, of course, you've got cards for men as well. So, I mean, shall we go straight into Yeah, that? I want to get some names on the board because people go in for this. I don't blame you. If you want to go for it, K06154 is your item code for this. Uh, can we get the names up on the board? They've not popped up as yet. They've, they're being a bit reticent. You're there and you're checking out. They, oh, there's loads of you now. Brilliant. Uh, Jennifer in Bath, Julie in Northamptonshire, Leslie in Powers, Trisha in Kent, uh, Leanne, Maria, Karen, you've all checked out. Well done, you. Following people, need to wag my finger and say, please check out accordingly. Uh, Janet in Somerset, Lindsay Gay in Lincolnshire, uh, Gloria in Warwickshire as well. You need to check out your baskets to secure this fabulous item. 23 projects for you to make time and time and time and time and time and time again. Uh, either in the suggested way that Debbie says, with the designs that you get from that forever code, so you can just print them out time and time again. Or if you want to, you can use the templates that you actually download to then use other designs as well. It's, it literally is the shop that never shuts, which in French is what, Debs? Can I you remember you can't. Say. Le magasin qui ferme jamais. You there need you to write that down for me and then I'll need to practice it. You just need to phone me from France and go, right, I'm in a baker's, what do I need to say? And I'll be like, you know. Pan. No, you can't actually go, pan. Pan, pan, pour, I always say pour for four, that's Spanish. That, like, no, don't you do that, and that's going to confuse me. Spanish. Anyway, what are you going to do? I would like to get this, so I can, we're going to do, I don't know if you can get the sample with the bird on the front. When you say you don't know if I can get it, you're telling me to go and get it. Of course I will, what do you want? Well, you could have reached it here, this one. Which one? That one. You actually, yep. you could have reached it. I that. know, that's what I there. said, but I was going to say get the purple one. This one? one? Yes, because well, the same well, one. Debbie, there you the go, world. thank there you. you. So I'm going to show you how easy this was done by Jeanette and Hazel and it is such a fibreless technique and whatever size you want to do 
Okay. Because it is. Do you, want, do you want me to show it now? Yeah, you can. Sorry, if you it's want gorgeous. To. Look. Look. So you can see this fabulous book. This is not such a mini book. This is quite a maxi book. This. So one, you it? will get. You will get some of these papers. But I want to explain about these spines. So if you. Actually, before you show the rest of that, will you show this one? Of course I will. Whatever because it's to show you it's the same technique. Okay. But one is A6 and one's A5. So essentially, this is using birds of feather. If you like some of these designs, you can see that you will get those. Uh, you'll get some of these, and then there's some of them are repeated. Okay, lovely. Okay. So then this one here, if you look at the technique of the spine... It's called a spine mini book. It's made up of just spines. Ah, okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Obviously, I'm not going to show you from start to finish of all, but this enables you, if you had photos or anything with thickness, what Hazel's done here, she's actually done layers, so therefore it doesn't squash the design because of the spine. Which you don't want. I mean, if you've got a beautiful design, you don't want it squashed within yes, the book. Yes, exactly. Do Love so, that. Well what done, hazel pepper. Okay, so what I'm going to do is explain how it's done. And it's made up, are you ready, with just five pieces of card. Is that all? <laughs> okay. So, put my glasses on again. <laughs> need to make sure I have oh. all my tools. Now, the tools that you need, besides the card, so... What um, Hazel's done is she's used one of the collections, which is Cracker Box Mice, which you're going to get when you download the collection. Uh, and then what Jeanette's done is she's doing Birds of a Feather. So you will get papers and toppers relating to that. So we're just going to do the basis of it. Now, this is what you're creating. Can you see that? If I move that out of the way. It's the spine. So the width of the spine tells you what you can put inside. So... It, told, it said on here, you are going to do five, get five pieces of card and you're going to measure. And I would recommend that you use a paper trimmer that you can open up. Okay, A guillotine is okay, but you need something that has all the correct measurements on. Or you can use a ruler and a pencil. And it says 26. So I'm going to go to 26 like so. And then use your paper trimmer. If I can, oops, it's got a bit stuck. There we go. There we go. Make sure you've got it up at 26. I've already done a few of them. Line it up and do that. So that was easy. And then you trim it down to, what did I say, 16.6. So once you get the technique, you can make this any size you want. I know in our American love the smaller sizes. So you could do like a, 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 a 5 by 7 even. So then you have got... I've done, there's the four, and then I did one earlier. So there's five. And then it tells you to measure and score from the left-hand side. So you, I tend to use the channel. You can use the scoreboard. I use the channel, and I use a paper trimmer because I can use these lines. So it's telling me to score from the left-hand side at 12.7, which is quite handy to have one of these. 12.7, so I go to 12.7. There we go. And then use your channel and score. And this is called an embossing tool or a stylus tool. It's got a ball tool, is good. And because it doesn't tear, be careful about using the plastic ones. And then I go to 13.5. And then simply score. And that so that's is a page. Spine. Okay, you I, see I that. Love the fact you've got all the measurements written down in the mini book um, project booklet, but project booklet as well. It's just like it makes it so much easier, simpler because you've always got that that reference point. Oh, definitely, and because it's not going to go away. And for those people who are getting this collection as a digital, don't forget that you will get everything from the brochure to the papers and templates. So as you can see, all I'm doing is doing that very quickly. And you do need, the tools that I would recommend is get yourself a bone folder, which is very important, and an uh, embossing tool. So what did I say? 12.7, like You so. did. We're very busy. Gloria in Warwickshire, Lynn in Herefordshire, Sue in Bedfordshire, Mary and Jerry, hello you two, um, and Anne in Bedfordshire, you all need to check out your baskets. Well done to Jennifer in Bath, who has just done that. Suzanne in Hertfordshire and Anne in Bedfordshire joining you now as well. You've just checked out, so well done to you, Anne. 
I mean, we've had so much fun creating them because obviously the way somebody said to me, oh, is mini books hard? It isn't so much hard. It's finding the right shape for what you want to put into it. But I think when you see the end project, when you actually see the end result, you think, oh, that's, that's a lot because they do look quite complicated sometimes. They do. Flaps and folders and secret compartments and all of this. But you break everything down in the booklet and demystify it so it's I, easy for I all. I do. Them. And this one actually can go completely flat. Yes. As in, watch. No, so you want to send that? You don't need like your extra puffy big old envelope. You can make it go flat or you can keep it like that, whichever one you want. So what I'm going to do, I am literally going to line it up. Nearly 10% of a big stock is already gone. More people coming through. K06154. Don't forget three ways to order. Oh, Lauren, what's the website if people want to order? She always does a dance. I love Lauren. Let's, can we have a little studio cam for Lauren as well? Because she gets all excited. Look at this, Debbie. You can order by the phone lines or the website. The website is www. What? She's so good. <laughs> That's really She's good. So good. Or you can order by the app as well. Tap that app accordingly. That is really good. Shine retiring, that's what we call her. <laughs> and now exhausted <laughs> after doing that. Right, so I have now done five. Now there really isn't, you could go more if you want, but I, I personally think five is a nice size. I agree. Okay? Uh, now how you would put it together, so even though I have reinforced it, and it, you need to do that, what this does, it helps the spine it's become sturdy by using, I know it sounds silly, by using your bone folder, you're recreasing those lines to where it needs to be. So if you do want to fold it flat, it enables you to fold it flat as well. So make sure once you've folded them, you recrease those lines, and then the spine becomes so sharp that it also sits, but also when you need to go flat, it will go flat as well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using a tape pen, or you can use glue, but essentially, you put... You line them up, really. That's it. This but is how this, easy it is to do this. this is the joy, but do you know what? It wouldn't be easy if you didn't have the reference guide. No. If you didn't have the booklet saying, this is what you need to measure, this is what you need to score, this is what you need to fold. I would be doing, if I was having to guesstimate it or trying to get the dies for this, and also you don't need a die cutting machine for this. No, no die cutting machine. So it's not like, you so know, look. there are times when you haven't got a die cutting machine to hand or you so. might not have a die cutting machine. What I recommend is let it go flat like this, so you can see where you're going. And this is where you need to get the score lines. Put your tape on. And this is just one mini book that you can then change the sizes. And how many have we got in the collection? So there's 23 different 23. projects in there. And let's remember that those templates, there are 23 templates there. But you know, you get all the papers and things like that, but your templates you can use for all of your other papers as well. Yes. Because that is your foundation to build whatever kind of project you want, whether it's steampunky, whether it's floral, whether yeah. it's springtime, whether it's romance, whether it's Victoriana, vintage, you name it, you can do it. Um, with 23 projects for 14 99 that just works out per project at 65 Wow. That's ridiculous. I love it. But think about if you were making them to sell. Well, you're going to get more than 65p, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? What I mean is, this is quite a nice little project. Yes. Okay, so all I've done is I get my last one. But I, I, I love books like this as well, because I mean, I've said this to you before, Deb, it's obviously with the grandkids. Oh, it's like, yes. I, I love things like this where you can put photos of the grandkids or whoever it may be in there. Um, print them off off your phone, and I've given them to, like, Vicky and Paul, the grandkids' mum and dad. And they are literally like, oh, thank you so much, because we never print off photos. We never, like, have photo albums. People don't seem to do them like they used to. So oh, something like this, it. a mini book full of, like, photos is instantly a keepsake for a lifetime. But it's not even just photos. It's no. going out to the fair, yes. the little stub, yes. you know, going to the, the seats, tokens that, yeah. or if you're going to a concert mm -hmm. or things like that, you keep those. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you're right, Dave and I, that's my husband, were talking about how all our photos are on. So, Which is great when you like that, but it's not when you're like, oh, where's that photo again? It's like, you know, 10 years down the line. Oh, well, the great yes. time with Debbie back in 2024. It's like, where's the photo? Well, exactly. So mm -hmm. we decided to create mini books of events so therefore we're going to put them on the bookshelf oh it's lovely so you you know you can have fun you can do gifts so that was just a very quick one i've started with what i call a very basic mini book but look at it you know it is made up of spines and then you decorate it whichever one so that's a bigger size you can see that 
Okay, you can see the size of it. Look at that. Okay. And it's so, so easy when it comes to actually decorating it because on this one, what Jeanette's done, she's actually just simply, because you get these papers with it when you actually download it, okay, and she's just used the birds of a feather. But like you said, I mean, we're going to talk about pockets in the for the next demo because I've done it in stages. Yes. Because when you look at something a bit, little bit more fiddly, it's not complicated is the word. I don't use the word complicated because... It may look complicated to somebody, but in actual fact, it's learning how to do that Let's technique. Call it lavish. Lavish. Yes, I like that. It's we'll have lavish. lavish. More lavish. So you. So that's a very straightforward one. And remember, this can go completely flat, as long as you do the score lines. Okay. So if you're going to send it to somebody, it's easy to send. Let's remind people what we've got. We've got two choices with this one, really. You can either have it digitally or you can have it physically. Uh, the physical is the most popular one. Uh, the one that we've got here is literally a prototype. Yours will be a little bit more whizzy than this one. Uh, but yeah, this is your mini books project book, literally hot off the press. This is getting its TV launch here today, isn't it? I actually haven't seen it in physical format. <gasps> No, no, the, uh, yeah, no, the, the, no, the, no, I haven't, haven't seen, seen the, the actual, actual thing. thing yeah. No, this, I only got this last night when I came in from This is like the airport. prototype, so you haven't actually seen the actual <laughs> one that the lovely people out there are going No, get. so Jessica in the office says, Debbie, it's gorgeous, it's amazing. I'm like, oh, thank you. And oh, there you go. Was so she, it's was coming. She watching? Jessica, uh, she might. Hi, Jessica. If you're watching, Jessica, send us a picture. You never know. Uh, 14 99 for 23 projects, but that's not. That's the information to get the 23 projects uh, and everything that you need, the templates, all the papers. You've got a forever code in there or a code in there to download everything you need uh, for those 23 projects. And remember that those 23 projects, the templates, you can use not just with the serving suggestion of ideas design-wise that you have in here, but with any papers that you have. So if you want to do you know, that design, but you don't want to do it with... Let's have a look. That design there, but you don't want to do it with florals, you want to do it with you know, steampunk, it. you can do. That design there, if you don't want to do it with birds, but you want to do it with, oh, I don't know, hearts, then you can do it. It's you entirely can. up to you. So 14.99 inch price, and that, that's the physical. We also have it as a digital edition as well. Digital, obviously, anything digital, we don't charge PMP for, so no PMP. Our PMP is 3.95 for the entire day, ridiculously good, but no PMP on anything digital, because it's just yes. a download that will be sent automatically to you when you press the purchase button. Uh, if you want to go for that one, 9.99 is your price there. So everything that's in the booklet with the code, with the board, no, not with the code, with the papers there, will be there for you to print up time and time again. Definitely. I mean, everything's in there. And, you know, if you have any instructions, um, you can actually um, just contact the office. Now, in the mini books, we used one of the new matches. Which means let's show them, quite frankly. Yes. Uh, let's do this one to begin with. This is our fabulous, uh, this is our top of paper pack. What are we calling this one? Uh, well, this is the Poppy Dreams, 28 dies. Okay, this is that lovely Poppy uh, mini book. So, as you can see, you've got all the matches. It's literally, as you go through it, you've got 32 crafting sheets. So you, you can see, there we go, it's been used on the mini book, okay, as you go through it. And as you go, you know, um, obviously in the download you'll get a couple of sheets in there, but this one is the full pack and the dies. So I'll keep on going, there's more. Beautiful sentiments, and it's great because you've got all the different colourways. Thank you for being my sunshine every day, it's lovely. They're really lovely sentiments. And then matches. you've got, it's pre-printed for you, so it's on my majestic gloss again. That means the colour is vibrant, but we have it at a special price. Yeah, 35 98 is good, but it's not good enough for Debbie. More, more, more. She wants less, less, less when it comes to that price. Let's take it at 19 99 That would be 19 99 yes. so The fact that you're getting all of it for that price is incredible. 28 dies and 32 crafting sheets with a forever code. Which means is you'll never run out of all of this. That last sheet, everybody, that I'm not showing you, Kit for Life. Don't throw it away because it gives you access to able to download all this and use it forever. It's the key to open the door of your crafting yes. dreams. Uh, UQ6120 is right to go. Norma in South Yorkshire, Lynn in Cheshire. You are there. Um, Debbie, let's continue with that vibe. Yeah, so this, this one's one. a new one, okay? And we've got some samples. Um, so yet again, same principle of my Match It Rangers. You have got these gorgeous dyes. So these dyes, obviously the lily. And what we've done on here, you've got, um, I've, is it eight, one, two, three? Yes, it is. 
Eight dies, okay, so they're much bigger there, but then you get 32 crafting sheets as well. And a forever code. I mean, look at the pink. Great for oops. all. I know. I was a bit silly. I I've had, had, had too much wine. Is that, is that French wine <laughs> gone to your head? Definitely. It you crazy. <laughs> uh, and as you go through it, you can see you've got so much on it. I'm going quickly because every sheet is different and I did I that, that deliberately. That would look lovely with the um, collection we had before with Craig. Yes, yeah. it would look lovely. I deliberately made sure you had 32 different sheets. Uh, they're just fabulous. 17 99 bringing the colour, bringing the vibrancy. Um, obviously, you can make what you like. Let's have a look. The flowers that you have in there, I think, work for every occasion. I mean, this one here, yes, you can see that happiness isn't always sunshine. Sometimes you have to dance in the rain. If you wanted to take that way, that could actually be, I mean, a sympathy card. If it you is. Say, I mean, these cards, Nicola's done a brilliant job with these. And are they a this great... This one couldn't. This one would be everything celebratory. Oh, how cool that. How lovely is that? Look at the dusting of pollen as well. It's incredible. So we've tried a bit. I mean, they, the swirl, I think we had that on. The, we the did. The swirl. Yep. Yes, we had that on. 6 99 It's on the website So now. you can actually mix and match with these. And these are great accents, obviously, whether using the cards or mini books. I right, love it. That's E.T. Phone home. E.T. 6192 is your item code on that one. E.T. Craft home. Uh, so if you want to go for that, $17.99 is your price. Debbie, do you fancy another demonstration? I do. I want to talk to you about pockets. <laughs> then, then do. <laughs> Les poches. There you go. Les poches. Oh, I like French that one. Les poches. Les poches means pocket. Your pockets. Les poches. Okay, so this is a mini book I invented. Okay. Um, and I've called it a hinge. A hinge. It's, because it's only made out of hinges. Fair play. Sounds okay. like a good name for that. Then, and it's yeah. made up with, once you've measured three hinges, there's no measuring. Okay. Okay, so you're looking at me thinking, how? Okay, and then we create pockets. Oh, wow. Okay, on creating different pockets, and I'm going to be showing you how you can do different layers and create these pockets. And there is no no measuring. See, these are the kind of things that I put the photos in. For the they're, they're, this, yeah. this is one of the books. So you start off with... So is this one of the ones that's the, the 23 in the book then, Deb? Yep, it's, I think it's the one you put, front page one. That's the one there. Uh, okay, yeah, fabulous. So you start off with, if I just grab it at one second. So when you actually get it home, nice. really have... Yep, it's that one there that we're doing. It is this one here. Okay. So what we're going to do is it tells you what you need. So essentially it says you need to cut down, so you need three hinges. So I've done one already, and it tells you you need to actually trim it down by 15 by 14. So this started as 15 by, sorry, not 14, 15 by 4. And, uh, and what I'm going to do now is I've got my, all I'm doing is getting this and going to 4 centimetres. Let's move this this way. Like so. A minute, make sure I get the right way. I almost cut it the wrong way. That way. So you are then trimming it down to four. And then it tells you that from the left hand side you need to measure at 1.5, which is why it's handy to use your paper trimmer, 1.5 and then 2.5. And this creates a hinge. And you think, how do you make a mini book out of a hinge? You're probably thinking that, aren't you, Nigel? Well, yeah, and so the hinge we're talking about is that it's like the spine. It is, but on the other one that we've just done, we've done spines um, back to back. Okay. This one here is a different way, so it makes it more flexible. So you're actually going to stick this on here, like so. So I love the variety you're coming up with here, because each and every one of the 23 books, uh, is mini books, is completely different. So I like this because... I want, with the pockets, you want to be able to fill them yes. with all kinds of things. Yes. So essentially, you are still doing that principle. Oh, I've got to get used to wearing glasses. Get your specs on, Debs. Okay, so you just, uh, literally, and if you look at the sample that you've got next to you. This one? Yep. Yeah, and not stuck the over spine on, so you can see how it's made. Okay, so you can see, you put the three spines together there. And then what you're going to do, when I said there's no measuring, you use A5 card. Because what you're doing, everybody, so there is my hinges. So I'm lining it up. And yes, I could use glue. And I would recommend to use glue. 
Any particular glue? No, you can use double-sided tape, but look, can you see what I've created? So would you recommend like a wet glue? Like a, yeah, you know, a... uh, basically uh, my nozzle needs cleaning, so I just thought for ease do this. But the next bit is where the magic happens. So this is just an A5 card blank. Okay. So when I say you don't what measure, are you going for, Debs? Um, this is probably 250 GSM, okay. but it doesn't really matter because you are creating loads of pockets. So if you have thinner, then that's five. You don't want to use, um, you don't want to actually use anything too thin. So it needs to be card. You, you can't use um, 80 gram paper or anything yes. like that. It needs, it needs to, to have to be a bit card. of sturdiness to yeah, it. Yeah. So I would recommend you use it from there. It needs to hold its shape. Yes. So this is just A5 card blank, so there's no measuring. I wanted, to, I wanted to do a mini book that was so easy that you didn't have to measure. So it's only made out of, once the hinges are done, and to be fair, okay, they are made up, look, can you see? You then stick them in the inside. And, and that's, you can build this up for as many as you like. You can. Yeah. You can build it up, but also you need to decide what you want. So if I just show you one part of it, okay, and then we'll move on to the other book that we've got. So all I'm doing is that, and then lining that up like that. So this creates your outer, and then you do the same on the other side. Mini books are not hard, everybody. It's learning the different techniques. They've been around a long time. People do mini books for a living. What I've done here is I've taken 23 projects that I think mm. are fun to do and put them in a book. But look how easy. People look at mini books or look at any kind of like book, journal, whatever, and you look at the end result and because it's so fabulous and it has that wow factor, you yeah. automatically think, like, oh, I'm not sure I'll be able to do that. But if you break it down into each individual hinge or spine or page or whatever, it's yeah. easy to build it up. You just have to think about, ever, you know, you, just think about what you're doing for the moment as opposed to the end result, if you know what I mean. So if I'm saying these are just made out of A5 card, okay, can you imagine doing this technique with square mm. or 5 by 7 yeah. You don't, there's no measuring it's involved. The same, it's the same formula, isn't so it? So it's the same formula. So essentially all I'm then doing is putting, and because it goes flat, you can literally, because of the spine option, you can keep lining it up like so and already you can see how it's coming together right so because time's running on let's do the next stage because we talked about was it le poche pockets le poche le poche, le poche. see look my job is done <laughs> debbie's learned some french i'm very happy with that i do speak french oh. not fluently i could probably you need to come over and do french lessons for me <laughs> i don't think i could present a tv show in french put it that way but it's like yeah i could i can get by Right. I, I did it at school, and I also had a relationship with somebody from that country for a long time, you see. Well, I didn't do it at school. Dave has, and so he's good at French, and I'm... Oh, is, going... is he good at French? Yes. That must be a little annoying, I feel. I know, yeah. it's quite good. Is it? Yes, because whenever in the past, when we went on holiday, we always went to a Spanish-speaking... And you had to do And Spanish, I had to do yeah. the... You know, now, they speak to me, and I'm like, pardon? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I'm learning. It's all fun. I'm having so much fun. Talking about so much fun, when you see how easy it is to do the pockets. So, there's different ways of doing pockets, everybody. You can literally tear some paper and put it around here. Oh, let's share that, Debs. Oh, here yes, I forgot it's so long. There you go, it is. It's, oh, don't worry, I'll sort them out. It's only good stuff for samples. So, you can do it this way. However, how to create this pocket, what you need to do is remember I've done everything out of squat out of basically A5 so yeah. I'm not doing any measuring so when you create the inside part of a pocket so there is you can if I get a blank one at the back there you can see that there's a base all I've then done is then added something else and what you need to do is make sure it fits within there the instructions are in there and what I mean by that all I do is trim off it doesn't have to be exact, a little bit. And then you use your bone folder. And I don't, if you want to know exact, you can do four centimetres in if you want to do them all. Or if you like me and don't want to measure. <laughs> There's my pocket. There you go, sorted. That's Who wants it. To measure? Okay, so essentially on what I've just done, which I've kind of put down somewhere. Don't know what I've done with it. Which one? Oh, that one. There you go. So the idea of the one that I've just done, 
okay, with all these, is you would then stick this in here. So then you open that up. Can you see that? So literally every page is going to have like a flap and a fold and a secret And then it goes crazy because then, here we go. There's that one. Then what I want to do is I want to create another one. Well, that's nice. So you're going to create one from the bottom to the top. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to start it at the corner here. Put it in there. And then this bit, what you need to make sure is it's always smaller than the outer. Yes, because you don't want bits sticking out the edge. So look how easy that was. <laughs> okay, and then I go a bit crazy. Look at that, fabulous. Okay, so then what you can then do on this one, I've gone up. You now all know how the pockets are created. And then on this one, little off cut. Oh, do you know what I would do there? Put a magnet on that. Yes. That would be nice, wouldn't it? It is, it is just fold over. I've not measured. Once I've got the A5, okay. And then if you want to bring something in, you can. So what I've got here is another one. So if, for example, you want to do a double, all I've got here, everybody, is then I want to do something else here. So this opens this way. Don't forget you have the spine, so you've got plenty of, you can do secret compartments. Yes. And this is where you think that last, so then if we go back to this, this technique that I've taught you here, you can then bring it in here. Well, so you can use it in any of the mini books. I mean, what you are giving, I mean, you are giving everything, but also what you are giving, if uh, some people out there, is probably the, I, the foundation to create whatever they Yes. Like. Yeah. So then all I'm doing, remember, you do need the hinge. Okay, you do need to fold over. And then what you would do is then have this in here, and you could even cut it off, whatever you want to do. And then straight away, you have changed. So where Jeanette has made that sample over there, that beautiful one. You say that sample over there, the beautiful yeah. one. That doesn't narrow The bird down. one, the one that I'm doing. Sorry, Nigel. That's all right. They're all beautiful. That's the thing. So I've now changed the concept. So on here. Did you want to show that? Yeah. Go. So originally, we just, it was a spine one, A6 spine one, everybody. But now when you open it up, you then have that option. Now what I've done is I've taken that step and then gone here and then giving you a pocket. You can keep on changing it, and that's taken two different mini books, and you, you made another one. You can make it bespoke for you. Yes. Because you might have photos of a certain shape or tickets that are this size or that size, it could be a theatre ticket, bus ticket, whatever. So if you want to make a little mini scrap, I mean, I love the idea of doing a like mini book that's a scrapbook of your holidays. You have a week away. You know, we all have a hobby maker outing to Debbie Jeet in <laughs> France, to a lovely chateau. And that's a hint. It can be. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, I know. We're all coming. Yeah, that's fine. When, when I've actually got... <laughs> Who's going to drive the coach? Levi, do you want to drive the coach? Yeah, Levi's going to drive. Oh, no, apparently... Are we going to drive or are we going to fly? What are we doing? You can get are flights for £9. For £9? In return. Oh, hello. That would be good. Although it would be quite nice to drive, I feel, as well, through the French countryside, countryside La Campagne. Yeah, that would be I nice, mean, it is beautiful. It? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, what was I going to say? So we could come away, take loads of photos, and then put them in a mini book. Definitely, definitely, we can do that. We might need twenty-three after all the adventures uh, we yes, have, quite frankly. Exactly. Um, if you are just joining us, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Nigel. This is the fabulous Debbie Moore, and she's here with a brand new TV launch for you: the inspirational project book that is your mini books. Twenty-three fabulous mini books for you. Um, the great thing about this is you have got in there the words and pictures, the instructions for 23 fabulous mini books. Some are easier than others. Some are more lavish than others. You've got something for everybody in here. So no matter what level of expertise you are at or not at at the moment, this is something that you can build your confidence with, which I think is great. You can see from the actual projects that we've got in the studio as well. I mean, they are just divine. There are so many of them. I keep moving them, so I should put some back over there. Uh, but you can see there are 23. We haven't got all of them in the studio oh, but yeah. you can see from the ones that we have that they are all so completely different and that's the joy i don't know whether i've got room debs let me have a look <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh, so all completely different um also i mean obviously you get a code with this uh, booklet to explain that code debs so with the booklet <coughs> excuse me we're going for the physical one you will get 
a lovely booklet with 23 projects. And your booklet will be slightly better than this. This yes. is the prototype. This yeah, is, this good, is my prototype and it looks great, but yours will be a bit thicker and will look even... It'll be a bit more fancy and yes, finished. Yes, it, but it still has all the information in. And but at the front, which is why I've turned it over, at the front there, you will find that instructions of what you need. Okay, it talks about glossary and different terminology as well. But you'll get a code to download all this content. And what I mean by content, I mean all the images that you see. So if I just do this, all up, this. Obviously, this is made by envelopes, but these little images you can be able to download. Obviously, you've got some Welcome to Spring, you've got the poppies, you've got music, you've got some flowers that we've just had a look on there. You've got the birds of feather, you've got the floral collection, you've got art decor, cards for men. You've even got in there the uh, cracker box mice, you've got some roses. There's so much on here. You've even got some more Christmas robins in there. You've got sunflowers. You've got, oh, I love this, build a bouquet collection. You've got Santa in there. So you're going to get all that, all the templates. I think it's something like 115 sheets. I haven't counted the printable elements, but there's hundreds. So you, for that price, you are getting 23 projects, all the templates, and all those elements. And those templates can be your foundation to use any design papers that you've got in your yes. collection as well. If you want to make like a, a mini book of that style, but you don't want to do the birdie one, you want to do one that's got, I don't know, Halloween on it. It's entirely yes. up to you. That's the great thing about this. Definitely. Now, before Spell we just value. show you one thing, I just wanted to, because I didn't tell you, when you come to decorate your papers in with using these pockets, okay, you need to remember two things. It is your mini book, so you can actually do it so it's behind. So I've put the pocket behind, the actual pouch there, and then the paper on top. So you can slip things in and Okay. Out. Or you can put it on top, but what I would then probably do is I would probably cover that. Do you know what I mean? Yes. The, you need to have the actual hinge itself to help it, and then you can actually put things into and create. This is just a torn, and it tells you in the instructions, and these little toppers are in when you download it and you can just keep on going with this. But well, this is the great thing, isn't it? I mean, I love the idea of putting your photos in there, your little keepsakes. But if you think about it, when you do go away, what are the things that you bring back? You normally bring back, you've got like maybe little brochures or pamphlets yes. that you've had yeah, when you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. your days out and a bit of a map, your tickets to things as well, maybe I mean, like the odd receipt or something for a fabulous night out or whatever, a nice meal. All of those things, I mean, if you were doing a scrapbook, you got the photo and then you have the tickets, you have the event, you have whatever alongside it. Yeah. It's just such a joy it's, to then look back at. It is. I mean, whichever one, so we've just shown you this one and the last bit that I haven't mentioned is you do get like a spine cover to, to keep it protected. But the reason why I've left it up is to show you that you could expand this I've only done three and you can make it wider and I think we need to show some of the other books at the front okay because... that's my excuse that's Debbie saying Nigel go and get them <laughs> so them, for example want? I would like the card sort the two cards for men one because everybody two, keeps what, asking what? me two cards for men collection that one and the one to the right no sorry that, that one, one. Yes. yeah yeah lovely okay so on the last <laughs> I'm Which just going to give you everything. Okay, we'll have a look at all of them. Yeah, why not? So, um, on the back, that gives you an idea of doing it of a certain size, okay? And then it's showing you that you can then change it on different sizes. So, this is a different type of mini book. This is made out of gatefolds. I like that a lot. Pam did this one. So, yeah, so it's showing you how you can do different ones. That's the accordion one. This is intriguing me. Okay, so... So, this is an accordion one. Let me just get to the right... Oh, have I not put it together properly? No. My apologies. There, there you, you go. go. So, it's got a little... Shame on me. So, that has even got a little bit of a... This, there you go. Nice. So, this is a template. You get a template, you open it up, who are these people? So this is, this card was made by Lois, I think. Okay. And obviously that's her dad and Blake. And that's Blake and Nick. Oh, how nice. And I love she's it. done a little mini book with this. And it's and not just that side, it's double-sided, Debs, isn't it? It is double-sided as well. Look at him. <laughs> Blake, I don't know whether Blake is the same. I don't know. Does Blake, Blake Lois, does Blake now? know that you've used his photo? That's fabulous. <laughs> so, so essentially... They're showing you different ideas. And then that one, oh, that is, I love this one. So this is from our lovely Welcome to Spring collection. And you do get the papers. And it's a pocket. 
as a pocket tag card. It's gorgeous. And then you've got, this is the shutter. Look at this, a shutter, card, uh, a shutter mini book. That's very cool. Template, don't, everybody, don't panic. Yeah. Template. I was going to say, if you had to measure that yourself by no. iron. Oh, template, no, 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 okay, no, no, no. so that's a template. Then you've got these ones, okay. So this one is a little box, if I can get into it. And then you have got a little mini book. That's sweet. And you can stick that to that if you want, or you can leave it on its own. Uh, so you've got that option as well. You've got the match box, okay. I love this one. This is really good because you could put this in front of a card. I need a card. If I get a large card, that would be a cool one to put. So you could have that as a card on a card. They open it up and then have tags in the inside. Okay. So you get all these papers also on the download. Now, nearly 20% of our stock has already gone. It's brand... Where is it? It was there. It's buried under a sea of buried. creativity. Uh, brand new today, this one as well. In fact, it's so brand new, it's getting its TV launch. This is not the finished version. The finished no. version would be a little bit more fancy than this <laughs> and a little bit more put together. It's like this is a kind of like a prototype, but it gives you the idea of the 23 projects that you are definitely going to get as part of your booklet. Volume 3 mini books made easy. And that's the great thing. It is made easy. If you have never made yes. a mini book before, this is a great place to start. If you've already made mini books, but you're looking for some more inspiration, some more creativity, some more templates, this is a great place to go. And I love the fact that, I mean, with that code inside, all of the bits that you need to make it and decorate it are there for you to download yes. time and time again. There's no limits, as the song once said. Exactly. And don't forget that once you learn the technique, you can change it. Like this one here, mm. you want to make it into a square. Yeah. Okay, you learn the technique, you learn how easy it is to put together, and then you think, wow, is that it? It's like learning a recipe, isn't it? You learn a recipe to say, make a chili. Now, whether you decide to yes. put like, really strong chilies <laughs> in there, or whether you decide to put like no meat in there, or corn in there, or turkey chili, whatever it may be, you do your variants. You do you, but Debbie is giving you all of the ingredients that you need to make the serving suggestion that you see in the yes. actual mini book booklet. Definitely. Okay. Do you want to do another? Have you got another demo plan for this hour? Um, I did, but it was on Welcome to Spring. We can do that. Debs, whatever you fancy. Uh, we're we're going to look at, mention like the Colin. tissue paper. Uh, the tissue paper. Ah, yeah, okay. Now, there's a story with this. The tissue paper was supposed to be in our previous hour, one o'clock this afternoon. Yes. Due to some hoo-ha, we don't know what, uh, we weren't able to bring it to you on that show. But we do have the tissue yeah. paper now, which is very exciting. Debbie, explain what we have. Okay, now, so... One, I do loads of printable elements, and this I is do. the tissue paper. And the idea behind it is that you print, and the design, whatever, it could be, it could be anything. It could be this bird. It could be, oh, I think we'll go for him. <laughs> him uh, on the candle. Do you know what pig is in French? Cochon. 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 C-O-C-H-O-N. I'm not going to remember. You will, because I'm going to be phoning you up. Just going, Cochon. Cochon. And then put the phone down. <laughs> that so, would be weird. If you want any image on the candle, all you need to do is follow the instructions. I mean, look at the price for two packs. And with the two packs, you'll be able to make at least 60 candles. Wow, that's good. I mean, again, you're an angel policy, aren't you? You're happy for people to make yes. what they like and do craft fairs. Be Think of Christmas fairs. Oh, yeah. With lots of fabulous candles with beautiful Christmassy images of reindeer and, and look. you know, the nativity, like burnt or not burnt in, sort of like sunk into that wax. Um, I'm assuming you can't burn the candle. Uh, I do, but I would say don't leave the candle unattended. If you're selling it, put it, it's just decorative candle. Thank you. Lovely. Good okay. candle advice. Uh, and then this is one pack, you get two packs. So you'll be able to easily make 120. Wow. Because think about it, you only need so much tissue paper. So one, two, three. Well, you're talking about big church candles there as well, yeah. aren't you? Make sure when you follow the instructions, okay, uh, and I think there is a video, you'll have to check on the website because I have demonstrated this before. Um, you literally, when it comes to actually putting it together, it's, it's what, two minutes, three minutes? Yeah. It doesn't take long with that. I've seen you do these before, and they are so gorgeous. The end result is wonderful. Um, the price on this is so good. Five ninety nine. QL6109. That's for 20 sheets. Everybody. Of the sizes that I gave I thought you. it would be like 10 sheets, but no. 
uh, 20 sheets oh, of oh, that size as well. Opening. Debbie, more, more, more. She gives us more, yes, more, more. Exactly. I've always said if Debbie had married a man called like... Um, I know, I mean... Dave Lass, I, I keep that would I, be wrong. I keep saying... She married a Dave Moore. <laughs> I said to Dave, I'm so glad your last name is Moore. I know, can you imagine if it was like, you know... Very well, bad, we've been married 26 years. Mr Dave, years. very bad value for money. Um, 26 this, years? This year. Well done. I know. Felicitations. I mean, Congratulations. There you go. See, you know these things. <gasps> but yeah, um, so if you haven't had a go, have a go, everybody. I'll make sure I demonstrate it when I'm next in, and I'm next in on the 4th of May. Lovely. So okay. May the 4th be with you. Oh, there I know, you go. I know. It's that day, isn't it? Everybody will be saying that. Um, right, we've got a couple of minutes, Deb. Should we sure. flip through the mini books again? Yeah. This is available as a digital option as well. The digital option, no PMP to pay on that one. Uh, but don't, if you want the digital option, we'll give you the details there. 9.99. You are getting all the templates, all the papers, everything you need, plus all the information in the magazine as well. Let's have a look at it, though. Let's go back to the details of the physical version. That seems to be the most popular today. There is a forever code in there which will allow you to print things out time and time again and download stuff time and time again. Um, Debbie, take us through what we've got. Okay, so you're going to get 23 projects. Some of them you'll need templates, some of them you won't, okay? I am going to I'm do ready. that. On this side, under that little pink box, tells you where to get your templates and your papers. And what we've got here is different techniques. So this one here, if I just reach over, is one that is made with envelopes that you've already got. How cool is that? So that is a project in itself. So there, there isn't one that I would say complicated to the other. They're all different ways of different, different, yeah, techniques. different techniques. Like this yeah. one is using this gorgeous um, template here. So this is the what we call the pouch a tag template. Then you've got this one. You like this one. Where I is do it? like this one. So this like custom, them, uh, Lois has used all oh, the match it dies on this, the match it dies and sets. So she's created using... As you can see, die cut all these. So those are the poppy match it dies that we that have one, yeah. for you. The poppy match it ones that we've used. Okay, honestly, twenty eight dies. All oh, this pack was it. 1999. It was 1999. Yeah. Details on the website for that. And then obviously you've got different doubles and layers. But then as you go through it, you'll find that you've got instructions. There's no template with that. I've just demonstrated that. It's just made out of A5 cards with the hinges. And then some of them have got templates. It tells you to go and get the templates. And as I said, as you go through it, you'll find that you've got from the tag mini book from Art Deco right down to, I love the pull-out ones. I mean, they're, they're all fun and fab to do. And can you imagine creating these in different themes? You have a garden seed mini book. You know, as I'm in France learning to garden, I had to put that in. <laughs> Uh, no, I, it's true. Because I need one. <laughs> well, there you go. You need a gardener. That's what you need. I haven't got time. No, I w really want to learn to garden. But when are you going to do that? You're going to learn French. You're going to learn to like how to I'm, make I'm planting little. I'm planting um, all my little veg. So that'll be lovely. Debbie's allotment. <laughs> that'll be lovely. <laughs> I just want to have a go. Okay. We'll, we'll see whether I can You're grow anything. Did, wasn't it this week? Did, wasn't it Meghan Markle did her own jam this week? Her own jam launch. Did she? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure I read that online. Ah, uh, no, no. So I think I'll stick you with could, gin. Do, yeah, there you go. Debbie <laughs> Moore's gin wine. coming soon. So one of those two. But, I mean, you've got different techniques, okay, from single spines right down to these. This is a quite an easy one because this is just made out of pockets. I keep doing that. That's all right, my lovely. This one is a very easy one. Now, I did have that one. Where is it, actually? I don't know, my lovely. But don't you worry, we're nearly out of time, Debs. Oh, OK. I think Are it's you back later? That. Is that no, it? that's it. But don't forget, Debbie is on Sewing Street tomorrow. Oh, yes, I am. On? I'm on, uh, me and Bella are on at 8 and 10 o'clock. Oh. And we've got two brand new collections. And we've got one back in stock, a sold out. It's a fabric collection. Yeah. It's gone crazy. I've this had so nice much though. fun. Honestly. Yeah. Um, Debbie, thank you. It's thank always... You. And plaisir, let it Merci. be said. Uh, that is it from me, Nigel May. David B is up after the break. We've got another bit of that's crafty coming up for you with Sam. So don't go anywhere. Uh, he's going to be taking you through the evening right the way through until 8 o'clock tonight. I will be back with you now. I think it's next weekend. I'll be back with you now. So I will see you then. Have a great weekend, whatever you do, and keep it crafty. And if you're going to keep it crafty, you keep it here at Hobby Maker. <laughs> from us both, take care. Or as they say where Debbie's from. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Here at Hobby Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and checkout and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the combine order button. Shopping made easy 
at Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker. Registering for a Hobbymaker account on our website couldn't be easier. Head over to hobbymaker.co.uk and click on register now. Type in your preferred email address, create a password of your choice, and we just ask you for a few simple details. Click on create account and then away you go. Within your account setting, you can view your order history, address and card details and items in your basket. Shopping made easy with Hobbymaker. Hobbymaker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobbymaker. Hey everyone, good afternoon. It's just after five o'clock. Thank you to Nigel for the last few hours. I'm with you till eight o'clock tonight, seeing you into the weekend, and it's going to be a great start to the weekend. I can guarantee you of that. We've got lots of great shows coming up, um, including a brand new launch, which you're going to see at seven o'clock. More on that in a minute. This is what's on the way, though. In a minute or so, you'll see Sam, the brilliant Sam with That's Crafty. We're talking of gilding flakes, all the products that you need for them to stick, and fancy techniques you can do with gilding flakes as well. We've got some MDF boxes that could be books or could be boxes of could be little mini safes as well. Uh, six o'clock, Craigie's back with Crafters Companion Decorative Nesting Dies, which proved so popular last week. We got them back for you tonight. The deal is incredible. And then at seven, I know Sharon is so excited about the show, Sharon Curtis. She was in this afternoon about three hours early because mm -hmm. she just wanted to tell everyone about the Sizzix 49 and Market launch. Uh, dies and stamps. Now, 49 and Market, I'm sure you're all familiar with. They don't normally do many stamps and dies. We've got the launch of it tonight, and you're going to see it at 7 o'clock. And we've got a certain amount of stock, and there are three shows today, one today, 
to tomorrow, we're not quite sure how the stock is going to work out. So if you're a 49er Market fan from Sizzix, it's one of their brand new collaborations. Make sure you tune in at 7 o'clock tonight because I'm not sure if we'll have any stock for tomorrow. Sam is here. Hello, my love. All right, Dave. How are you doing? I'm OK. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Good, good. To good. See you. Now, Sam's here to put her spin on the That's Crafty products, which are, in a nutshell are brilliant. They really are. I want to show you to start off with the gilding set that we've got. Now, one of my favourite things, and I'm sure it's the same for you at home, are gilding flakes. Originally used in, like, furniture restoration and gilding of, like, um, picture frames and, and mirrors and that sort of thing. Gilding flakes are a crafter's dream because you can put them on virtually anything you like. Now, the bundle we've got for you today is incredible because you normally have to buy everything separate. You buy the gilding flakes first and the colours that you choose. You have to buy your gesso separately. You then have to buy the adhesive separate. And then you have to buy, like, a coating for varnishing it separate. What That's Crafty very cleverly have done... I've put a bundle together for you. Now, first things first, look at the size of the jars of gilding plates you've got there. You've got silver, you've got gold, and you've got rose gold as well. They're 100 mil jars, okay? So they are crammed full. And as you know, when you take the lid off a, a, a gilding flake jar, it just explodes. There's so much in there because it's as light as air. We have to turn the air conditioning fans off, otherwise it just floats it everywhere. It does, yeah. You're walking around with a piece on your forehead all afternoon. Yeah, yeah. I've got a foil head. Full, full forehead. Um, so you're getting all three jars of the golden flakes. Next to it, you've got your white gesso and you've got your black gesso, which, of course, is a fantastic primer for your surfaces. Then above it, you've then got one tub of your gilding varnish. Now, I didn't realise that actually gilding flakes, like many metals, actually will tarnish with time. If you put a varnish over the top of it, it stops that oxidisation, so it kind of preserves the colour for you. And then you've also got your gilding flake glue. Now, this is not like any normal glue. It's a special glue for gilding flakes, which stays tacky for quite a long time. So you can Yeah, put it on and you surface. can keep it tacky for as long as you like if you put a bit of uh, wax paper or grease proof paper okay. over it which is what I have done for some of my prep that I did for today. And if you look around at some of the finished boxes and samples we've got here, we've got it in card making. Uh, so you can see that black and white one over there has got the silver gilding uh, flakes on it. You can see the, uh, the mushrooms and the toadstools have got other coloured gilding flakes on it as well. So look at the cards. If I just, which one are you looking at? That one there? If I just angle it, look, look at that. So you put the gilding flake glue down, then when it's tacky, put the gilding flakes over the top of it, burnish the excess away, and you end up with an effect like that. If I show you the black one over here, look at this. Look at that. So you can do various geometric effects. But then, of course, using it in your box making and all that sort of thing, it can stick onto MDF. It can stick onto any sort of surface. I'll grab this box just for a second, angle that to the camera. Look at that. So you can just add little speckles of it and flex a bit to give it a distressed look. You can make it more angular. Use things like your double-sided red liner tape to get a nice strip of gilding flake if you want to do that. But there's loads and loads and loads of ways of using it. Now, it should be, for all of those products, $28.49. And as I say, normally you buy a pot of gilding flakes and you think, right, have I got the right glue? Have I got the right varnish? Uh, have I got gesso to go with it as well? Probably not. You've got to buy that separately, that separately, that separately. Before you know it, you're spending a lot of money. $28.49 is what that bundle is worth. If you buy it from us today, and you can gilding flake and decorate whatever you want, it's entirely up to you, we're going to do a special pre-weekend deal. Let's get that price down. NQ, 3095. You can have a tenner off, which is basically 33% off the price. All three gilding flake boxes or bottles, and the two gessos, and the adhesive, and also the varnish, for an incredible £18 and 99 pence. That's all that whole bundle is. And you've seen, I'm sure, lots of guests over the years demonstrating gilding flakes. There's no limit. Wherever you've got an adhesive surface, you can put a gilding flake on it, burnish it away, and you've just got something rather gorgeous. Now, we've also got, in the show today, something that I know Sam is a massive fan of. It's a crackle paint and bitumen. Yeah. You've got a couple of boxes there to show us, haven't you, that um, you know what the crackle's like? Yeah, so this was using the crackle... <laughs> Cheers, Levi. <laughs> so that was, the, <laughs> that was the crackle on top of the foil, but instead of just cracking on its own accord, it's actually shrunk the film and cracked that as cracked the foil, the foil as well. And up beneath that, you've then got black gesso. Yeah. yeah. That's why the gesso is in the bundle with the foil. And then you put white underneath it, and it's a completely different look. 
Now, I know some Crackle products out there on the market are a two or three step process and it can get a little bit of a faff. This is a one step process. Isn't yeah, it? and you can, obviously this was meant as a last layer. Yeah. It is your last layer before you put either your patina, your bitumens on or your waxes. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting that. No. So it actually crackled the foil as well. So 9.99 gets you a large bottle of the crackle. And you've actually got there 100 mil of the crackle. And you've then also got 100 mil of the bitumen. Now the bitumen is a liquid um, and it gives what is, can only be described as like a distressed look, like a- Yeah, a aged. Look. Our lovely Shelley, which um, we managed to find her, <laughs> her um, samples. She's used the bitumen onto the crackle paint, mm -hmm. but the crackle paint is really thin. She's used it really thin coat, so you can hardly see the crackle. And it's just highlighted with the bitumen, and it does just give a really lovely age look. Okay, so you're gonna get both of those products, 100 mil in each, so you've got the crackle product, which is absolutely brilliant. If you wanna make something look <coughs> a little bit antiqued, full of character it could be the top of a tray it could be the top of maybe a bedside cabinet anything like that anything furniture wise or indeed you can use it on mdf and, and small objects as well um, you've got the crackle and the bitumen together now nine pounds and 99 pence i would have thought that would have been for each of them you're actually going to get both of them i believe for that price is that right wow yes Brilliant. you get both of them basically for a five at each. Hello, Margaret in South Yorkshire, you're in straight away. Shirley in Merseyside coming in straight away. You know what you want to give that kind of antique crackle effect. I mean, there are lots of upcycling and recycling shows on TV. Water-based. Water-based too. Both water-based, so no easy clean up. No, no VOCs, totally easy to clean up, doesn't ruin your brushes. Because um, there's a lot of patina and antique in paste out there that are solvent, so yeah. they do ruin your brushes and things. So. Yeah and yeah. not everyone gets on with... No, know, exactly. Sort of thing, so. Okay, so water-based, you can absolutely trust these products and um, you'll get great effects like we showed you a few minutes ago. 9.99 for both of them, SX3012. Now, what about, if you're thinking, I like the idea of these products, but I've got nothing actually to use on them. What about these oval frames? Now, we've got a lovely, I don't know what you call this, actually. It's like a triptych. hanging decoration. A triptych hanging yeah. decoration. So you're going to get a set of five oval frames, which you can use portrait or landscape. And of course, you can use the gilding flakes on them. You can use the crack on them if you want to as well. But these have been deliberately made to look antiqued and kind of maybe discovered in a trunk that's been locked for years and years and years. But look at the shine on those. You get five of them. They're all ever so slightly different. They are separate. So if you want to do five separate little ornaments and hangings, you can do that. Incorporate maybe the rice papers we've got in the show or any other decorative papers you may have got or cover them with the gilding flakes. That's a great way of using them. But they come like this. So they come in a flat pack, laser cut MDF, but you've then got, of course, the center, which pops out, which you can use on another project. So there's actually two elements to each of the frames that you can use. And you get five of them in a pack for nine pounds and 99 pence. Maybe you've got a, a very uh, old picture that you found or a, a picture that you've forgotten you ever had when you cleared out a drawer or a, a chest of drawers or something like that. Put it in a frame like that, it would look fantastic, it really would. Or if you want to do something hanging like this, like this triptych uh, lovely garland, feel free to do that. So it's working out to two pounds per frame with of course the oval in the center which you can use either with the frame or completely separately on another project. UZ3091 is a product for that or product code for that, £9.99. And then we've got our medium sized box. Now I just want to get all these products in before we go to demo with Sam in a second because all of these work together so well. Now this is, I know it doesn't look like a medium box when I hold this up. It's quite a big box. It's actually kind of tissue box sort of size, isn't it really? Yeah. It's, it's, and you can either use it as a box or you can open it up as a, like a book. Yeah. Now, if I show you, this is decorated, obviously. It doesn't have to look like this. You can do what you want with it. But you've got the lid, which is hinged. So that's where Sam was saying it can be like a box, an open book. It could be a book on a bookshelf. It could have, um, you know, personal belongings in it, keeping it in a safe place. Would people think to look inside their little treasure box, hidden treasure box of memories or whatever it might be? So you can have it that way. You can have it that way. It could be a bedside organizer box. It could be a box that you have by the front door or the back door that you keep all your knickknacks, so your loose keys. change and your keys in. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, you could put some little, put some little hooks. There. Little hooks in there. And it could be a key box. Yeah. So there's one that's been decorated. Here's another one that's been decorated. There we are, look, look at that one. 
using some of the rice papers, I think, that are in the show as well. But uh, that's Jo, yeah. She put some structure paste behind the rice paper so it gives it the 3D look. Yeah. Um, and, and she's so good at that. So good at that. And then Helen. One that you've got there. Yeah. You open it up and it's got a little owl in it. And oh. that's the rice paper. And we'll look at the rice papers we've got on the show. They're always popular. We get oh. sets of five in the show for under a tenner. Um, by the way, if you want to see everything that's in the That's Crafty show, head to our website, go to hobbymaker.co.uk or tap the app and you can see all the paints we've got in the show that you can paint the MDF with, all the other products as well. But should we get a demo going? Is that all right? Yeah, we can do. So I'm going to show you how um, special the gesso paste in the kit is. Right. So I'm going to put some through a butterfly stencil that we've got on the show. Um, this gesso paste is superbly thick. Um, it doesn't fall off your palette knife. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll just quickly put that through. I don't want too much of a thick layer because otherwise my heat gun may have a problem getting it dry. I'm just thinking, you know... I would have thought you'd pay at least eight ninety nine, nine ninety nine for a pot of gesso. For just one, yeah, and these will last you because you can water it down and use it as a thinner gesso, or you can use it as a lot of our samples have been used in using it through the stencils as a paste. Well, we've got the, the gesso duo pack for £13.98, but when you bear in mind the gilding set has got the black and the white gesso in it as well, and the whole thing, including the gilding flakes, is only eighteen ninety nine. Yep, and obviously, the gesso pack that you've got there isn't thick. It's it's a looser consistency, so yep. you couldn't really put it apart from maybe sponging it um, through your stencils. Mm -hmm. It doesn't react like this does in a more. And these stencils are in the show as well, by the way. So let me just. Put that to one side. I know it's black on black, folks. Um, Still looks good, though. <laughs> yeah, I just want to pop this to one side so I don't get your table black. There we go. Um, put the lid, housekeeping. Mm -hmm. And then I am just going to slowly heat this and dry it. And you will... I'll try and get it so that you can all see it and the change it makes when you dry it. Okay. Now, you can use the um, That's Crafty Texture Paste, the white one, but if you put that on a thick layer, it actually cracks. Right. I don't want this to crack. So that is why I'm using the gesso from the set that we have on. Okay. Now, just so there's no um, confusion, obviously the gesso that you're going to get in the um, Gilding Flex kit is 100 mil, and the pots that we showed you for 13.98, I think it was, they're 120 mil, so they are slightly bigger, but you're still getting an awful lot in the bundle with the Gilding Flakes and the adhesive and the varnish for 18.99. Three big 100 mil tubs of Gilding Flakes included in that for the price. It's only a fiver more than the Jesser on its own, the 120 mil ones. So uh, a really good deal, really good deal. Ten pounds saved. My heat gun is on a gentle heat because I don't want to overheat this butterfly. Mm -hmm. But you will see a change. It's starting to happen. Let's get it. Can you I see? Just, I just love the fact that um, that's crafty. You've put. Can you see you it? Need. Yeah, yeah. You can see it. Starting to bubble. Yeah. That's what I want, because then it's easy for us to put our gilding glue on. Okay. And the fact they've put the gilding glue, the varnish, three tubs of gilding flakes, and the black and white gesso for eighteen ninety nine—that is an incredible deal. Incredible deal. I mean, it's brilliant. When I heard the price, I was like, "Are you joking?" Ten pounds saved. And if you've already bought something, that's a delivery as well. 18.99 delivered. Otherwise, one PMP for the whole day's orders. Well, it puffs up, doesn't it? It reminds me of the fluffy stuff. I know it's, it's like not... puff rice. Yeah. <laughs> and can you overdo it? Can you burn it accidentally? Um. Not really. Well, you can. Obviously, if you start smelling something that you shouldn't be smelling. Yeah, fair enough. But um, no, you get it to how you want it. And obviously the puffs decide to either stay puffy 
or not so puffy, dependent on how much you've put on your project. And if you don't want that effect, then just let it dry naturally. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then you can go back over and add another layer. Yeah. Um, you can get it quite a good relief on it. And by relief, I mean the depth, guys, just in case no one knew what I meant. I know what you mean. <laughs> I know, you but the viewers, but some you know viewers what, might not mean. You know what, though? It looks very, very, very lovely as it is without anything else because you've got that three-dimensional aspect to it. Yeah. I mean, I think I've sort of like, I haven't got it quite even. So some parts are a bit puffier than others. I like that, though. I mean, it does look rather old which is i like making new things look old and old things looking new strange isn't it that we do that can you make me look new <laughs> an old thing like me look a bit you new. look lovely as you are dave don't you worry about that i never would have thought of using a heat tool like this with gesso but it works right. it's that gesso it's fantastic and the white one works just the same okay um, so the other side of my butterfly does not want to puff up. So we'll just do one side of my butterfly. Okay. <laughs> That's enough drying then. So I'll get a little sponge. So um, dependent on the effect that you want. Um, so I have quite a close, dense sponge. Mm -hmm. Um, I used a natural sponge in the first hour to okay. give me a different look. It does give you a different effect. So Could you just use a kitchen sponge if you've got nothing else? Absolutely. Okay. You can just use your finger if you like. It's, you know, the water-based. I'm just adding. Like I apply gilding wax with these sponges, um, since having telly nails, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's easier for me to do it that way. So this is the gilding flakes glue that you're going to get in the kit yep. on the screen. Yep. This is absolutely that one. And it's great to have the right glue for the right job. Absolutely. And because it's quite warm, it is drying fairly quickly. Mm -hmm. I don't want to overdo it and get too much on the box space itself because I want... I want it on the butterfly, so we'll just give that a quick waft just to be sure, and then we'll get some gilding on it. Okay. And remember, this gilding glue is different to normal glue because it stays tackier longer, um, which, of course, makes it easier to put the gilding flakes on and, and create a lovely effect. So that is included with three pots. I've got one pot of the glitter, uh, sorry, the gilding flakes here for you. If I just take the lid off, can you just see how crammed this pot is? I mean, there is so much compressed gilding flakes in there. 100 mil. We've turned the air conditioning off so it doesn't fly everywhere. But mm. look, there's so many pieces that you can... It's wafer thin. It literally... Wafer will, thin. Wafer thin. <laughs> it will literally float in the air. It's that, it's that light. Look, it just floats. But that's a full pot, and you get the rose gold, or copper as they called it. You get the gold and you get the silver, along with the white and black gesso the glittering glue, or the gilding glue, sorry, and also the gilding varnish as well. And I Great. didn't realise that gilding flakes tarnished. Yeah, they oxidise. So um, I, I learnt this because, obviously, I use Sculpey a lot. Um, so I'm just going to put a mixture of foil, by the way, before I carry on conversation, okay. um, from my box that I have used over the last couple of days. Um, and it's stuck to my finger. So do you empty the jars into like a I, container or something? What I do is take out of the jars what I think I need, put it onto my project, and then obviously my excess gets put into this pot here right. that has a lid. So I don't purposely empty it into there um, because obviously by emptying it into here, you're mixing it with the rest, unless you want three separate pots. Sure. Normally I can see your names on the screen, but today, for some reason, I can't see the names. But yeah. We've if I can see all, all the names, I'll, uh, I'll get them up on the screen for you, hopefully, in a minute. There we go. Maybe it's got to be reset or something, I'm not sure. We'll see if we can. 
It said this morning that it needed uh, updating, apparently. Oh. Restarting and updating. Oh, hang on. I can see a few names now. These are people that have checked out already. I can't see people who've got it in their baskets, but Georgina in Warwickshire, hello to you. It's nice to see who's calling through. Uh, Patricia in Northamptonshire. Josephine, evidently. Brenda. Another Georgina as well. Susan. Two crafters. We don't know your name, but you're coming through as well for this collection today for 18.99. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. You'll have a fab time. Fab foiling time. So I'm going to get a stiffer brush mm -hmm. just to get the extra little detail out wherever. Oh, there it is. So this is actually a stencil brush and it's got quite coarse bris bristles mm -hmm. that will get right in between those parts. So it gets rid of the gilding flake that's not stuck on yeah. the Yeah. Try not to rub the area that you have actually gilded too much because you will dull it. You can overdo it. But yeah, when I designed, when I was making my Sculpey jewellery, um, they do say that you have to seal those pieces mm -hmm. if you have foil in it because of the oxidisation. Right. And then you've got to think about all your perfumes. Yeah. So, yeah, it just, it's... I never realised it was a, a thing, but yeah. you are going to get the varnish to stop that from happening in the bundle as well. And there we have our antiqued Love boiled butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? And you've actually mixed those three colours of the gilding plates together. Nothing's stopping yeah. you doing that. If you want to make your own trio of colours with the silver, the copper and the gold as well, or keep them separate, it's entirely up to you. But just to recap on exactly what you're going to get in the main bundle today, because this, I've never known, in all the years I've been doing this job, I've never seen a collection quite like this, where you get not just one bottle of gilding flakes, but three. Silver, gold, and copper, which could be also rose gold, because it's very, very similar. So you get those three of the jars. There we are, look, one, two, three. You get the white gesso and the black gesso, the 100 mil version. Then up the top here, you get the varnish and you get the gilding flake glue as well. All from That's Crafty, and it should be £28. You've got £10 off, which is a third off the price, down to only eighteen ninety nine. And loads of you are loving this concept. A quarter of the stock is now in people's baskets, so please check your baskets out. If gilding is something you've always wanted to do, and you thought, well, you know, if I buy that pot of that, I need then the adhesive, I then need the varnish, I then need uh, all the other bits that go with it. This is everything you need in one. The only thing you might want to add into your order is the Crackle, which is a separate product, and you can get both of those for just £9.99. So for less than £30, you could be crackling and gilding all sorts of things, furniture, ornaments, whatever you want to do, card making, of course, as well. It can be used in all sorts of ways. Now, these are oval MDF frames. These are brilliant. A set of five, and they're just 9 99 for all five of them. And you are going to get, remember, the middle, which has been lasered as well, which you can pop out. Use that completely separately on another project. So you get five frames and five oval MDF pieces for £10, 9 99 isn't that amazing? So we're going to get a demo with that going on in a second, but you're going to be using the rice paper, aren't you? Yeah, well, I've got the frame out, and I just thought we'll get some rice paper on the middle, and I was just looking at this lovely little angel, which is very cute. Okay, let me go through the rice paper yep. just for a quick second, Sam, if I can. So rice papers, I know for many of you that have watched over the years, they're some of my favorite things because you can use them in all sorts of ways. If you've got the right decoupage glue, you can use them on fabric, bags for life, t-shirts, you can put them on furniture, flat trays, all sorts of things. And you can tear the rice paper and just use elements of it. So this is the Tails collection. You're gonna get all of these, basically two pound each a sheet, which is amazing. You get the owl, you get the bunny rabbits with the butterflies. Again, if you want to use the butterflies separately or the flowers separately, just tear it off. Do your own um, kind of uh, decoupage with it. You've then got your foxes. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They the are foxes. gorgeous. Then you've got this little toadstool house. That's more like a mansion rather than a house. Well, I called it a cauliflower house. Okay. Broccoli cauliflower house. Yeah, why not? And then this one, which you're going to use in the demonstration, you've actually got one, two, three, four, five. There's five images on there of angels with a, a, a key to someone's heart, that sort of thing. So those five are 9 99 and that's EL3049 for those rice papers, just 9 99 um, The other one we've got for you is Vintage Flowers 2, or Flowers 2, I think they're calling it. Now, this is the one that you saw Joe Shannon use on that box a few minutes ago. Um, you can cut that out if you want to, or just roughly tear it out with your fingers. 
So these, you can add all sorts of other colours to if you want to as well. So they're like silhouettes of flowers, aren't they? Yeah, I used one in the first hour um, and used my little needle point bottle with the glue and just literally gilded the whole flower. Fantastic. So those, that's flowers too. That's 9 99 for those. Again, all five sheets, so two pound a sheet, which is pretty amazing. Um, we've got, this is vintage flowers. Beautiful. Look at these. Now, these don't give you the outlines. These give you the filled in colored flowers. Again, you can do all sorts with them. Little hummingbirds there as well. It's like torn edge paper as well. Absolutely. It's like a page book. Do you, do you find you use the whole sheet very often? Book do you tear page it? even. Hmm? Say that again, sorry. Do you, do you use the whole sheet in one or do you tear it into Um books? Depends what project. I mean, I mean, for a candle, you would use the whole, I mean, because you obviously can use them on candles. Um, I tear into mine a lot and I use a water brush so then it feathers the edges so that it sort of melts into mm -hmm. your project. So that is vintage flowers. And then the last one, we've only got four sets available for you today. This one is flowers one. So this one's a little bit more autumnal maybe in the colorways. Kind of burnt, burnt. Really kind of funky, really yeah. Lovely. Gorgeous. I mean, that's been kind of collaged for you already. I mean, that's just... It looks um, like a gel, jelly plate print. It does it, actually, yeah. Look at this. Lots of different elements there. Use the whole sheet or use just part of it. That's been split into four. Uh, four. So they could, be, they could be card fronts. They could be anything. You could even put rice papers onto glass as well. Yes. As long as you've got the right decoupage glue, you can use it on all sorts. And then the last one, that's been split into five Pocket. as well. So you could get potentially about 20, 25 projects out of these sheets for 9.99. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, so that one is VR3062, if you want that one, but they're all printed on the website if you want to have a little look. Okay. So we've got this love, I think I may use the bigger angel and it will curtail her wings somewhat, but that's okay. She doesn't have to be an angel. She could just be a little girl. I just thought it was brilliant to use the frames as Christmas tree decorations. Oh, yeah. I thought they would look beautiful. Absolutely. So I'm just using some rice paper glue. We've brought it before on the Pentart show. Yep. So it should be on the website. Um, let's pop our little girl there. Just make sure it's wet around the edges so I can tear. So what product are you putting on the top? So this is the same. It's the Penta rice paper. Right. It's decoupage, glue and varnish. That'll be on our website. So you just, yeah, you put it on your project, then you put your rice paper on, then you put a coat of it on top just okay. to seal it. But yeah, we've brought that to you before. Um, and then I am just going to hopefully just tear it away because my sand sanding block is in the green room. Uh oh. Alex can get it for you if you want. It's okay, my nails are doing the job. Oh okay. And actually tearing rice paper like this is so um rewarding it just feathers which is lovely you don't it get like, is. a rip you just get a feathered yeah. edge and then if you do get too much of a tear you've got your foil yeah so so as you can see i tore a tiny bit away there than i should have done but that's going to be hidden behind the frame so we'll put her to one side what color would you like your frame dave um what out of the metals yeah uh copper copper all right. A bit of copper. Well, you know I love rose gold, and that's the closest thing. I to do rose love gold. rose gold as well. Oh, by the way, we, we have actually got loose leaf gold and silver sheets coming up. Um, can I just check? Does that come with the foil leaf glue as yeah, well? Yeah, it, it does. does. Right, okay. Well, that deal you're not going to believe in a minute. So, put her to one side, and we'll get some... We'll use the other glue, if I brought it in. Where did I put it? Oh, it's down there. I'm not used to having such a little, a little bit that I've only brought. I've not actually brought a 
a shed load like I normally do. Oh. So looking for things has been quite easy. You're travelling light. Yeah. So I'm just putting a bit of that, I'm dabbing it on with the sponge that I used earlier. And that's the fo uh, foiling glue? Yep. Yep. And I already um, gessoed it with the black yep. from the kit. There we go. And give it a quick waft. Waft. And remember, this kit that's got the gilding flakes in it is only eighteen ninety nine. That comes with the glue, the gilding glue. It comes with the varnish. It comes with the white and black gesso as well, 100 mil of each, and three colours of gilding flakes for under £19. Crazy price. So, copper. But you, I've mixed some with... Um, oh, that's a good choice. I had some on my fingers anyway. But, um, yeah, you can mix, and you'll see. I've just picked up a chunk there, and it's going on and on and on. You get so much in those pots, and I'm trying not to breathe, guys. So it will just go everywhere from that pot. But it's one of the most rewarding and enjoyable crafts you can do. It's just so easy to do yeah and the result is so amazing no skill required at all um it's probably more skill needed to stop yourself from going too far <laughs> because you don't have to use a lot a little bit you, of decadence here you, there when you brush away the excess that goes back into the pot or back into the into the box to use yeah it. into the box because you'll never get it back into the pot And just make sure that you keep whatever brushes and sponges to your to the foiling and don't use them for anything else. Yeah. Um, because you get excess glue on there that's maybe not drying. So we'll just rub that in. Mm -hmm. So I start off with a softer brush first, you know, so I don't take it off straight away and swirling rather than rubbing, mm -hmm. um, if anybody knows the difference. Um, but like I say, over rubbing does actually tarnish it and it just dulls it. So that's my... Then I've got a sponge, which is really good to take the excess off. And it just buffs it up and makes it nice and shiny. Yeah. Yeah. You can use all sorts to help you get that look you want. There's a tiny bit of gold on there, Dave, I'm afraid. Sorry. That's all right. I'll let you off. Put that get my stiffer brush in there. Now, I don't like it looking too new. Should we put some bitumen on it? Or would you like it to stay copper? Oh, I don't mind. I'll leave it up to you. I'm easily pleased. You know me. Right. Get that on straight away, she says, leaving yeah. it. I can breathe now. <sighs> yeah, and if you feel a sneeze coming on, move your gilding flakes yeah, out of the way. Yeah, definitely. So she can go, I mean, I've got foil everywhere on that glass mat. Somebody's going to have a whale of a time tonight cleaning. <laughs> so I think... That looks rather pretty as is. It does, yeah. Now, should we paint the lid black and add a bit of glue and a bit of gilding? If you but want to. Put a different spin on it, so brush the glue on. Okay. Okay, so yeah. do you want to do a bit more? Yeah. I just and I will get this painted black. While you're black. getting that ready, let me just show you something we've not actually shown you yet in the show, which I think if you love your gilding flakes, you're going to love this. Now, you're going to get two packs of imitation silver and gold leaf. Now this is not gilding flakes, this is literally sheets of gold and silver effect. And you're also gonna get a large bottle of your foil glue, okay? So now that's actually 100, uh, hang on a minute, 120 cc's, so four fluid ounces of your foil glue. But I just wanna take you inside here and show you what these are. These are so professionally done. I mean, every single sheet 
has got a foil divider or, or a, a tissue, protector, sorry, yeah. a tissue protector in between each sheet. Now, if I sh look, it's oh just divine. My word, each sheet is completely separate. Now, you might wonder how many sheets you're going to get. Am I going to get two or three or four or five if I'm lucky? You get 25 sheets of this amazing gold and silver effect foil. We're down now to virtually single figure stocks. You get 25 of the silver. I quickly want to show you the gold, uh, sorry, 25 of the gold. I want to show you the silver as well. You get 25 of the silver too. So these, if you don't necessarily like the higgledy piggledy nature of the gilding flakes, you like something a little bit more of a solid and more, con more controllable. Look, that is a complete square. They've got to be, what size do you reckon? They've got to be about seven by six seven. Six by six. Are they six by six? Yeah. Six by six of your silver sheets of silver effect foil. 25 of those. So between the gold and the silver, you can get 50 sheets plus the glue as well. And 120 mil, I think that's what it was, four fluid ounces. That's 120 cc's of the foil glue. 16.99 HF 3036. That is your price for 50 sheets of just the most gorgeous foil. And it comes in a little presentation wallet as well so if you fancy that 25 of the gold 25 of the silver and you can use it you know one sheet at a time you don't have to use all of it at the same time but if you've got a project maybe you've got a tray maybe you've got a tabletop and you're thinking about having like a silver or a gold top to that and you don't want to necessarily go down the gilding flakes route you need too much of it these sheets will cover a larger surface area in one go or you can of course cut them up if you want to hf3036 we've got literally a few left of these plus you get a full 120 mil of the foil leaf glue for 16 pounds 99 which is amazing so uh, to get 50 sheets of that some, something so precious to look at uh, at such an affordable price you know what you want to do with them maybe you've got um bits of furniture that you want to decorate maybe you want to decorate the legs of a, a chair or maybe the leg maybe the um, what about the, the staircase spirals of your oh staircase? yeah the spindles the banister spindles oh the banister mm. or the banister as well have a gold beautiful. or silver version of that beautiful all right back to you then sam so i painted this black as it was white because i was previously going to do something else but it's just changed course okay i've decided to do something different so you can also stamp, I won't get time today, but I will show you examples of stamping with the glue okay. and then foiling. Um, you won't get a perfect image um, and you have to be pretty quick. Yeah. And yeah, then you have to put your stamps into hot soapy water. Okay. Um, otherwise they'll be forever sticky. All right. Um, that will wash off the glue. Yeah, absolutely. All water-based. It does it so easily. Um, I was pretty chuffed that my stamps became rather clean very quickly. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the foil glue from the sheets that you've just shown. Yep. I'm going to put some onto my glass mat. Right. So think of the stamps you've got at home. Think of the stamps. It could be sentiment stamps. It could be stamps of birds or flowers. Have you ever thought of using them? with foil glue and foiling what your stamp stamps? So the stamps I used, they're in there, Dave, if you want to show them. So we brought those stamps last time I came on with That's Crafty. Okay. So look at this effect. You can stamp them and then you can actually foil them and then cut them out. There's so, nothing stopping you from colouring them with your inks. It's just a different way of using the glue. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? And I don't know how many stamps you've got in your collection, but if you're like most crafters that I know, probably you've got hundreds. Yeah, I think the more open the stamp is, the better you'll, you'll, get, you'll get with the foiling. And it's got to be the most affordable way of foiling. I and mean, if you think about how much foiling machines can cost, that sort of thing, they're very lovely and great to have, but they're hundreds of pounds. Whereas this has got to be the most affordable way of, if you've got like verses, stamping with the glue and then making it look like yeah, a foil. Yeah, verses verse. would be fantastic. Or freehanding, like I can show you in a bit, if you like. Okay. Um, so I've got my brush and I am literally brushing the glue on. Now you can be as frivolous with the glue as you would like. I am just, no particular, not thinking about it too much, just dragging it on. 
And then hopefully, this won't give us that full wall of foiling. It will give us a different effect altogether, mm -hmm. which is something that we strive for now and again. We like a bit of different. Yeah. And this will be perfect for our angel in her frame. And the MDF box, remember, is brilliant. It's a blank canvas. Use it for whatever you want. Decorate it however you want. Yep. All your mediums can be thrown at it and it will take it. And it's under a tenner, 9 99 It could be a book or you yep. can use it flat like that. It's up to you. Could put lights in it at Christmas, put a little Christmas scene in. Yep. I have done that um, previously and given it to my granddaughter and she has it at a bedside table at mm -hmm. Christmas. So I'm just drying this a little bit, guys, obviously. I'm going to go silver this time, though, Okay. I think. And I'll use the uh, the foil sheets this time. Right. That I just showed everybody, yeah. Yep. Still got just a few of those left, not many at all. Well, I'm glad they've been popular. Mm hmm So that's the gold. Where's my silver? There it is. Thought somebody had nabbed it then. <laughs> But yeah, they've got like sewn pockets yeah. where they've been protected for these sheets. I mean, to me, this is the sort of thing that I'd expect maybe furniture restorers to have. I don't know how much they would normally pay for their sheets of gold or silver, but probably a fortune. Quite a lot. So. It's one perfect square. I don't breathe. And it will only stick, obviously, to the places that you've applied your glue. Yeah. And my fingers, obviously. So let's get another sheet. Okay. But this, there's no waste either, because obviously the parts that you've not needed for the top of the box will go into my little plastic box for next time. Mm -hmm. And isn't it nice to work with things that are a bit shiny? It is. It's different for me because I don't normally. So it's been quite nice, been like girly, girly pretty. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can actually apply it so there are no creases in it, or you can apply it. Well, that's what like happens. It. Yeah, you, you do. Once you've smoothed it onto the glue and you start burnishing it slightly, the creases do come out. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, you could use these on the front of your journals. Imagine having a gold or a silver effect journal cover on the back of a book as well, right. if you've got your thermal cinch or anything like that, and you're struggling of ways to decorate it. That would look amazing. Or decorate your hands, <laughs> you know? <laughs> your nails. Yeah. I mean, I've got a free nail do for holiday. <laughs> right, I'll just get my thumb in between there. And with my... Watch it completely stick to the whole of it, knowing my look. It looks, it looks great from here. I don't want to have it completely covered, to, though. Uh, to cover that surface, let's just remind ourselves that you've just used two sheets. Yeah. Out of the 25 you've got in the silver and 25 that you've got in the gold to cover that complete front of that book so imagine how many um you know journals you can cover using those sheets very quickly and very easily for just a, a few a few quid it's deciding it wants to stick to everything that's fine so we've got a completely <laughs> so like i say knowing my luck because something always goes wrong when i'm demoing <laughs> look at that but yeah, you, I think I think the heating in here. Something's gone wrong, but it's not the glue because I didn't put it all over you. So no. didn't you? It looks good though. I do like it. Do you know what you could do on this? Put the crackle on. Yeah. And then it would all separate. But yeah, 
and that's a one-step crackle, the product that's in the show today. So if you've tried crackle before and not got on with it, it's a bit too fiddly, you've got the, got the consistency wrong, didn't follow the instructions, or it just didn't work, one-step crackle is so, so easy. Well done, Judy, in Lancashire, just uh, checked out on the Rich Hobby Metal Leaf set, 25 silver, 25 gold, and a big bottle of the foil glue, 120 mil in there as well. So it's nice to have the right glue for the right job. And again, think of how many books or how many covers you can cover using those perfectly, uh, was it six by six you said they were? Yeah. yeah. Six by six sheets of silver and gold. So yeah, that's, um, you can see where the glue is actually. If I went at that with a, a bit of a stiffer brush, which I don't actually have with me, right. I could get the rest of that off. Because uh, you can see the brush marks. Mm. Um, Of course, that's giving you that kind of brush texture. Obviously, you use something smooth if you want it to stay nice and shiny, but if you'd rather have the kind of groove in it and the lines in it, then use something a little bit more abrasive. Yeah, you can see the brush marks. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that great? Who would have thought that was MDF? But it is. That's all it is. But it could be anything. Depending on the glue that you're using, you could stick it to... Uh, I think the board. glue actually works on anything. Anything that's... Um, if it's non-porous... You can still use the glue, but you won't need to use the primer. Right. If it's porous, you have to put the primer on because otherwise the glue gets sucked up into the, the gotcha. pores. Yeah. Makes sense. Yep. I've so. Just, I've just realised there's something, before you put that frame on, there's something that I haven't shown you the details of that you used in the first demo. These stencils, we're being asked about the butterfly stencil. Um, you're going to get both. Butterfly stencil and also the flowers, the daisies. Both of those for £11.98, and they're good sizes. You don't have to use all three. I didn't know you got both. Them. You what? I didn't know you got both. Yeah, you get both for that price. Butterfly and the day uh, daisies for £11.98. You've even got a little hole there that you can put a jump ring on if you want to you know, have a collection and hang them up in your craft room. But that's a huge butterfly and the daisies for that price. And you can use it for interior decor, use it to decorate walls um, in all sorts of ways, or use it with the, um, you know, the, uh, the fantastic texture paste like... Um, Sam was showing you earlier on. But what about putting your MDF frames on, all five of them, in a set for nine ninety nine and decorating the box with it like this? Should we put some bitumen on? Go Just on because I'm not happy with that, I will not be beaten. So we'll put some bitumen on my file because I didn't want it completely filed. Okay. You think of bitumen with roofing, don't you? Well, you do. It's like guitar colour, isn't it? Yeah. But once you've... Um, and it smells amazing, does bitumen. This one doesn't smell because it's water-based. Right, but it's a bitumen effect, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So anything that you want to give that rusty or patina, aged, antique, it's great with the crackle that it comes with. Um, and I will just quickly wipe that back, and then we'll put our frame on. Yeah, it's not actual bitumen, it's a no. bitumen effect. So. And I think for some companies actually use, it's, it's a solvent. So it's hard to, to sort of deal with. It's hard to clean your, your things with, your, your, your brushes, your, your sponges. You can wet that and wipe it further, but I'm quite happy with that because I didn't want it fully foiled. And then we would just, I'm going to put her on landscape okay and i'm going to use that crafty glue i mean this could be a, a picture of someone in your family um granddaughter it could be like a memory box or something like that for someone that sadly is no longer around or it could be a memory box of uh, your grandchild daughter or son or whatever maybe if you don't see them that often but you've got lovely pictures of them um, maybe their first tooth, that sort of thing. A little box you could put all sorts of you know, things that mean a lot to you in there. And there you go. Really sweet. Isn't that lovely? So those frames, remember, and just to give you an idea of the sort of thing you can do with it, I've got uh, this by Shelley. Shelley's actually made this 
for the show. And she's used three of the five, one uh, landscape and then two portrait, but on a bit of ribbon. And that would look lovely, maybe hung in the bedroom, next to the bed or in the lounge or whatever. And again, it's up to you what you put in the frames, but you are gonna get the oval that's been lasered in the middle, as well as the outside frame too. And they're all slightly different, although similar. And you get five of them and they come like this all flat packed you just literally pop out the oval so the oval just literally pops out like on that one there and then that leaves you with the actual frame so you could potentially get 10 projects out of this uh, if you use the oval in the middle completely separately nine pound 99 and that's uz uh 3091 uz 3091 if you want that and this is a another way of using it if you've got any possibly chain or anything like that you can obviously uh, put little faux gems on there as well, but that's been using the gilding flakes and you can see how shiny that gilding flakes is. And that's one of the rice papers from the Tales collection where you get five sheets for 9.99, but that's really lovely. So you can make at least five of these from that collection. Uh, maybe make it go even further if you're sparing with the ovals in the middle. So that is another idea and another suggestion. We've also got a four by four box. Now this is also, here in front of me as it comes. So all Super of these elements. simple to put together, by the way. Good, excellent. So this is basically a flat pack of the panels that will allow you to make a box like this. Now this has been decorated again with a crackle on the roof. You've got some of the rice papers on the side there as well with a hummingbird. But this again could be a little jewelry box. It could be where you keep your watch at night. It could be a little caddy that you keep uh, odds and ends in, in your craft room. But how you decorate it is entirely up to you. We've got a few more over here. You get a set of two. All right, I thought it was one, you get two. So you yeah. get two of these for 9.99. Look at that. And then two of the big box, like medium boxes as well together. Absolutely. So you can make two of these for nine pounds and 99 pence. And the larger one, the medium sized one, you get enough to make two of those as well, yeah? Yes. Or one? Yeah, yeah two. You, okay, so you make two of the medium boxes. I thought it was one, okay. You make two of the bo medium boxes. You can make two of the small square boxes as well. Um, 9.99 is the MDF medium. So you get enough to make two in there. I thought it was one. Brilliant, isn't yeah, it? Definitely two. Yep. Superb. Okay. So for a fiver each, how about that? Maybe you didn't realise it was two either. I didn't. That passed me by. CK3095. Obviously, it's going to be blank, so it'll be like this when it comes. But you just literally pop out the elements, pop it all together, and away you go. Two for 9.99. CK3095. Now, we've also got the paints in the show. Now, if you're a painter or you want to cover up the natural look of the MDF with colour then these paints are going to be brilliant. I've got a little swatch here to show you. Now, here we go. You've got all of these colours that you can see here. There's three, seven, ten. There's 12 paints here, 12 colours, all acrylic paints, for just $34.99, and you get quite a generous amount in each the one. The multi-surface as well. Okay. Um, and very fluid, so they will travel. A long way. Oh, look at the colours you've got there. Lovely colourways. Um, all of them, 12 of them for 34 99 So that's around about £2.90, something like that, per, uh, per bottle. And you don't, have to, you don't have to prime the MDF with that paint, do you? Or do you? Um, you're better off doing so, because otherwise your MDF will soak. Right. You, you know, that, it, that is the beauty or not so of MDF. It sucks everything in. So to not waste that, you would need to... Put a gesso, gesso on. on. Okay, now we have actually got the larger bottles of the gesso available separately if you want those. So this is the gesso you used in the heat gun demonstration. No, 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 no. The, the gesso that I used is from the kit. It's from the kit, okay. Yeah. So this is the other gesso we've got, which does the same sort of job, obviously. Um, it's basically a primer. Black gesso and white gesso together, both of them together for £13.98, so £6.50 each. Uh, no, no, £6.99 each, isn't it? Six, uh, yeah, six ninety nine each. Uh, <laughs> QJ3060 gets you both of those. Then we've also got, this is your texture paste. Fantastic stuff. And this is a big, big tub of this. So if you've got any stencils and you want, you know, everyday texture paste that you can just, with a spatula, just scrape it across the stencil. Um, it's not everyday, Dave, though, because if you put it on thick, it cracks. It, if you heat you it. Get a, no. No? Put it on thick, let it dry naturally, and it cracks. It's fantastic. So it's a crackle relief paste? Yeah. Okay. So that is 10.99 for that, and you get 250 ml, a quarter of a litre of that. 
Um, that's OP3015. And then lastly here, we've got the acrylic liquid wax. Now this is, I was talking to you about this earlier on. This is almost like a wax equivalent of like, um, it's like a like glossy accent. It's like melted candle. It doesn't give you the shine. No, it gives you a sheen, right. like a satin. Like, you know, like um, chalk paint and you get the wax. Right. The clear wax to go over it. Well, that's what that is like. But it's water-based, a wax that is water-based. So cleanup's brilliant, but it does, it gives you a nice sheen. But if you put that on thickly, yeah. guess what that does? Cracks? Yeah. So there you go. Basically, all the products, and most of them in the show, are <laughs> crackle products as well. Sam, thank you. Don't forget, if you oh, do want to go you. for our Gilding Flakes combo that we started the show with, where you get all three colours, silver, copper, and gold, uh, the white and black gesso, that was the gesso that Sam used in the demonstration where it puffed up when she heated it. Plus, you're going to get your adhesive and you're going to get your varnish to protect your gilding flakes. The whole thing for that was just £18.99, pence, which is amazing. Here it comes. This is what we started the show with earlier on. And I know lots of you get home round about now, maybe just switching the TV on. NQ3095, 18 99 gets you the lot. The two products at the top, which are the varnish and the glue, and down the bottom, the three gilding flake pots and the black and the white gesso. So awesome value for money. Check your baskets out in a second. We've got Craigie here with Crafter's Companion. And I'll tell you what, you're going to love the dies that we've got for you. And then after that, coming up at 7 o'clock, a brand new launch with Sharon Curtis. To say she's excited is the understatement because we've got the launch of the 49 and Market collection of dies and stamps. That's all on the way, coming up between now and 8. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. If you're shopping here at Hobbymaker and have a discount code to use, this is applied at checkout via our website or app. Once you've added all your items to your basket, then simply pop the code in the discount box and click redeem. The price will automatically adjust and then you're ready to continue with checkout. Alternatively, if you're shopping with us via the phone, our friendly help team will apply the discount for you. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker.
Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hello, we're back yeah. just after six o'clock. Hello, good evening. The weekend starts right now, right here. Absolutely, you've done that before. I do that plenty of times, yeah. Just channeling my inner dermat will He wakes up in the morning and does that first thing. Oh, I do. The first thing that does start is that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Craig yeah. is here. Mr. And the shower and everything. Mr. Craig is here from Crafters Companion, and we've got an amazing show for you with dyes that you can do so much with. The versatility of this. To say that you can do dozens of different things with these nesting dyes. Absolutely. It's an understatement, isn't it? It is an understatement, yeah. So uh, shortly within the show, we are going to do a full demonstration. Mm -hmm. But once Dave's gone over all the details now, what we're going to do is we're going to maybe spend about 10 minutes or so with one of the die sets. We're just going to have a play because there's lots of different ways that okay. you can use and kind of interact. So that's what we're going to do to start with, and then you'll be able to do it with all of them. Now, with nesting dyes, you expect to get lots of different shapes, and we're not going to disappoint you. We're going to give you the heart. We're going to give you the hexagon. We're going to give you the circle. We're also going to give you down here, we're going to give you the star, we're going to give you the oval, and we're going to give you the square as well. There are seven dies in each of these packs. So seven, 14, there's 42 dies here. Um, and you can use them individually, use them together, make frames with them, cut apertures. There's so many different ways of using them, and they're beautifully decorative. But I just want to quickly show you what the deal of this is. Because Crafters Companion have very brilliantly put together some other essential items that you're always going to need. You've got 60 sheets of multi-purpose white card up the top there, okay? You've got 40 sheets of multi-purpose A4 black card. That's included as well, so 100 sheets between the two colours. Going down, you've then got a full pack of these beautiful sequins, which you can see here, soft pastel pink sequins. You've got three rolls of low-tack tape with their dispensers as well. You've then got some foam on a roll, which every crafter needs on a regular daily basis. And you've also got the acetate as well, 25 sheets of heavyweight acetate. So if you were to buy all of that, which every crafter will buy, I'm sure, on a regular basis and use on a daily basis, if you were to buy all of that separately, that alone, without the dies, will cost you £42.24. So if you, let's just say you were buying that and paying £42.24, what would you expect to get the 42 dies for? Well, with the deal we've got today, you will get those 42 dies for £22.50. That's the deal. Should be £90.18, but today you're going to get all of it for £64.99, and it's on split pay three-way as well. Three? Three-way, yeah. Three-way split pay. So you've got £42.24's worth of cardstock, sequins, foam tape, acetate, things that you're going to use on a regular basis, and you're only paying then 22.50 for 42 dies that you'll reach for and use time and time and time again. And the three-way split way basically means you only have to pay today 22 pounds. What does it work out to? 21.66. 21.66 is your first split pay of three to get basically 90 pounds worth of dies and goodies from Crafters Companion. Pauline's in straight away. Hi to you, Pauline. Good evening. You're in, you're in, you're getting this deal. But let's look at the boards with mm -hmm. Craigie and it will give you an idea as to the versatility of the dice. Yeah, and when I said before, like, we'll have a look in a minute that you'll be able to get lots of different permutations from the one set. You'll be able to mix and match as well. So maybe you want to use the outer die for it. This is the circle. Yep. So maybe you want to use that plain edge outer circle die, but then maybe you want to use the smaller heart within the middle. So you've got an outer circle with an inner heart. So this is where you can start to mix and match if you okay. want. So there is your dies. Now, if you use the outer die on its own, that gives you that perfect, just a perfect circle. But if you use the little star die, now that cuts into your card. So if you use that into your card, then it creates that pattern all the way around. Love it. Now, if you use that star die, that little tiny circular star die on its own, Dave, because that cuts into your card, if you were to cut that into like a square piece of card, yep then you're going to get square, but with a circular star cool. in the middle. Yes. So this is where you're going to be able to use them in so many ways. So using a couple of the other dies together on their own or uh, separately, then you can do that. This is just a few ways you can use the circles. 
Again, same with the hearts. We'll mix it and match in if you want to. Do you know what I'm seeing here? That, especially the heart's got a bit of a folk art mm -hmm. feel to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you agree? yeah, absolutely, yeah. completely agree. And then because you've got the plain edge die, and then you've got the decorative inner die as well, what about framework, your memory books, your cards, mm -hmm. your scrapbook mm -hmm. pages, anything like that, home decor, you can do that with. Then you've got your star as well. So can you imagine, Dave, using that one there and then using the plain edge star die yep. within the centre yep. there? So you're going to be able to get, no joke, hundreds of different ways. In I which said you dozens, can start. there are hundreds. Yeah, there really, really is. You've got your ovals, tiny little butterflies. So very, very briefly, the circle, you've got little stars there. You've got tiny little dots within that star. The love heart, you've got tiny little love hearts. But let's go back to the oval where you've got lots of little butterflies. These are great for shakers, all the waste bits. I've just Keep worked out, you know, you're going to get Hexagons. six sets. Bearing in, in mind, square circle. with the cost of the extras being 42.24 normally, 22.50 for all six sets, it works out to less than four pounds per nesting die set. That's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. It's incredible. And because these decorative components inside, because they cut in, that means that if you just use them in your card, they cut into your card. You don't have to use the outer edge. Right. Create your backgrounds if you want to, but then use them separately. There's our love hearts there as a topper, mm -hmm. as the focal point, but then bring in all your different inks. Maybe you got our tropical yes. collection earlier on and then start to ink up all your cardstock and then start to then matte and layer, colour in. There's a nice one there. There's a little 8x8 uh, eight eight memory book page That's there with a the little wall. star. Or, of course, just going in and decora decorating your boxes. None of these have been cross-pollinated with each other. You're no. going to be able to do all of that as well. And that's why I want to spend maybe about, you know, five, ten minutes uh, just shortly, just having a play and showing you different ways. Also, though, think about when you want to have um, apertures that are slightly unusual. I mean, we see nesting dies every day of the week, and they're all, a lot of them are quite similar. These are very, very different because you're actually going to get those cutout sections. So you're going to have the cutouts of the butterflies. You're going to have the cutouts yeah. of the hexagons. So they can all be used not as waste. Don't throw them away. Keep them as light shaker. Definitely. Them. Yeah. And you might have other nest and dies, straight edge nest and dies. Why not start to use them and yeah. mix and match? So, OK, yes, this hexagon one here is a specific size. But say you've got a larger nest and die of hexagons, still nothing stopping you from incorporating mm -hmm. these ones as well. So it's again, you've got the square with that round edges there. You've got your hexagon there with tiny little hexagons, which just let me tell you, there may be a new launch coming next week with Debbie, which is going to be absolutely fab with that hexagon one. Mm -hmm. But then you've got your love heart one as well. You've got your square once again, and then you've got your circles there as well. Seven dies within each set. In all my days, I don't think I've seen nesting dies that have got those little elements. I've seen wavy lines and distressed edges and stuff like that, but to get the, the little stars, the little hearts, to get the little butterflies all included, and you can mix and match them, as, as uh, Craig was saying. The whole thing today, with 42 24s worth of extras, and it's not extras that you know don't sell or you're never going to use. The extras are everyday essentials, the everyday cardstock, the black cardstock, the sequins, uh, the foam tape, the uh, heavy-duty acetate, the sequins, a pot of sequins. All of that has got a 42 20 24 value and that means if you are paying that for that you're only paying 22.50 for all six versatile nesting die sets which makes basically each set about four pound each roughly mm -hmm. which is incredible now we've got a big surge on the phones now remember to order from us if you are new to us at hobby maker all you need to do if you've never shopped with us before i always say give the call center a call because it's a free phone number always a free phone number even on your mobile 0800 001 4433 they will give you an account set it up for you make sure it's all fine uh that's the easiest way you can do it yourself on the website and on the app but i'd, I'd phone the call center myself mm -hmm. tk2029 and say that you'd like this as your first item and you'd like to have split pay peas and even if you've never ordered from us before no problem they will offer you split pay it's something we do as a company it's not a financial organization or anything like that we just basically say give us a third of it today and crafters companion will send this out to you straight away okay you can see everything else that's in the show if you go to our website which is hobbymaker.co.uk right then i'm intrigued right let's have uh, a little play here now with these ones you're going to be able to use all the gemini's i'm going to be using the gemini midi which we've got another show myself and yourself tomorrow tomorrow yeah we've got that but you're going to be 
be able to use them with all your Geminis, plus you're going to be able to use them for other branded die cutting machines. But let's just take the plain edge dies for now, Dave, just to show you. Let's pop these ones onto just some different cardstock that I've got just to show you how they're going to look. Craig, we're busy. 20% of the stock has already gone before we even get to demo. So everyone's realising the value for money and the versatility in these. They are slightly different to other nesting dies, aren't yes, they? Yes, they are. They really, really are. They're the decorative nesting dies because you've got that decorative component and feature inside there. Should you choose to use that, you yep. might want to use it on its own. And although, Dave, this is what I'm looking for, Look at the waste that you've yeah, got. That's you've not got that framework. It's not waste at all. So let's bring in these other couple that I've got. So again, at the moment, I am just using the plain edge one. And this is just showing you how you can use them as simple nesting dies if you want. These could be for you to die cut little toppers. You could stamp into these ones if you want to. This one, if I was a little bit more careful in the corner, you could do four of them and mm -hmm. create a tiny little patchwork picture look if you want to. So if I bring them in there, this is where you've got your straight edge ones that you can see there. And That's you can do like that. A, quite a retro vibe. Retro to look. Yeah. I, I definitely got that retro and Also, look. I'm thinking of all the thousands of people that have bought from us the thermal cinch uh, over the last few months and That's so on. That's true. And are making journals and books and albums. Um, then these dies are going to be perfect to use in conjunction with that as well for maybe framing pictures and stuff. But then you've got your acetate, so you're going to be able to do shakers. So yes. if you're doing shakers, maybe you want to do framework. So again, we are only sticking at the moment with the plain edge. So if I use that, that's one size frame that I'm going to get. If I use that, that's a thicker edge frame that we're going to get. So let's pop that one in here. So basically, with the dies, they're giving you, included in the deal today, all the essential extras that you can use with them. Yes. Yeah. You've got the sequence to make shaker cards if you don't Absolutely. want to use what the dies cut out. You've got the acetate, you've got the foam tape as well to create that height so you can have that shaker. I didn't realise that until you said Yeah, because these shout out shakers. Yeah. They, they definitely do. So if I take that one out now, we've then got our framework that you can see. And, and again, although I'm using the squares with a circle edge, you'll be able to do that with all different sets here. So let's take that one out. So once again, there's another outer frame that I've got. There's another mat and layer that I've got. But let's bring in the decorative components here. So let's take a piece of card. No specific size I've cut these. Again, it's just to show you different ways in which you can use them. So let's use that larger one. So let's mm -hmm. pop that one in here and tape it down. Then let's go in with the next size down of the decorative part. Remember, these all cut into your cardstock. So what I mean by that, let's just take that one out of the way for now. Let's say we use that on its own, Dave. And I tell you what, let's also put that one in here. And we're just going to tape that one down. And this card, the actual card I'm using, it could be 4x4, four four, it could be 5x7. If you're using a large die cutting machine, you know, it could be 8x8, eight eight, it could be whatever size that you want. Let me just say hi to Tricia, Dillis in Kent, Pauline in Lincolnshire, Patricia in Northamptonshire, Crafter, hello to you, brand new to us, Doreen in Berkshire, all checked out already. Loads of you putting it in your baskets. It's a brilliant combination of nesting dies that you'll use day in, day out, and of course, all the accessories to make your amazing shaker. Absolutely, yeah. And all these bits that come out, I would get a little cello bag or a little storage box from Hobby Maker website. Keep all of these, because this is the sort of parts, the elements that you want to keep for shakers. But also, they could be leaves on trees and that's They can thing, do it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there could be a nice alternative for gems or perils in the corner of your cardstock. Pearls. Pearls. I love it. Cut this that. into your mirror cardstock. Say so curly whirly. Curly whirly. Right. This is a continuation from the three o'clock show. Had, oh, uh, Nigel had me saying words as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch the three o'clock show. I was, I, was, I was busy in meetings discussing this evening, so I didn't hear you say that. So <laughs> not, I'm yeah. not copying what Nigel did. It, it wasn't those words. It was oh, different okay. words. Right. It was different words, so don't worry. But there we go. So there's just two of the decorative dies that you've got. So it's a little bit like that kind of stitched work yeah. as well yeah. that you've got all the way round. However, that's not it. You do have other ones. Let's still just use this one here, Dave, and then let's bring in that decorative part, and then we can tape that one down, and we're going to add that into the middle. Let's then take the smaller one, which is like a little stitched edge, into the middle 
here and tape and I'm doing it straight Dave you could go at little angles mm. if you want to you can offset it it doesn't have to be straight on like and I'm you know doing what? yeah for nesting dies these are really interesting and fun normally nesting dies are fairly quite conservative and quite boring quite straightforward mm -hmm. these have got you know the smaller versions of the bigger shape the smaller hearts the smaller ovals the smaller uh, stars and the hexagons all of these so then if we take that one out we can then pop these bits out. if you've got your die tool then of course you can pop that out and this is just the square with the circle uh, corners. Yep. What I'm doing here, you'd be able to do exactly the same, Dave, with every other set that I've got. So if you can imagine there, all the different ways. You'll spend a whole afternoon when you arrive just playing. Of course you would. Hundreds of different permutations. So this is, this is only just some so far. You've got these, you've got your inner frames, you've got your different smaller frames as well that you've got. You've got all these layers, you've got inside. All of these could be completely individual if you want to. But then what about, let's take, tell you what, let's go, let's stick with this one while we've got it. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in that cardstock here. So that's the largest square that I'm using. But what about, Dave, let's go in with one of the stars. Uh. So let's bring in the star. So this is one of the decorative components that cuts in. Quarter of the slot gone, Craig. Pop that in. I am not surprised in the slightest. And I think this is why um, in our meeting beforehand, Dave, with yourself and Alex, that's why I was like, let's just have a place yeah, to start with. Because I think idea. sometimes, you know, you, when we say, you know, hundreds and hundreds of different ways until you actually see it. Now at this point, I actually tell you what, I was going to use another square. What about Let's go in with, let's even just add in, let's do it. So can, so let's go in with the so smaller one. So you can use one. the rounded square, the star, and the heart all together. All together. That's, That's why there's hundreds of permutations. Tiny little tight, so let's bring it, actually, I know what will look quite cute. The tiny little love heart into the middle here. Yeah, like it. Now, probably at home, I think now, going by, those of you checking out, the pennies dropped as mm, to yeah. why we say hundreds and hundreds of with different me. ways. Bringing that one in, move that out the way so we can then pop that. So we've now got tiny little hearts there. We can take that one out. We can take that one out. We can take that one out. And let's pop these little bits. And then you can see now. Oh, I love it. And again, that's just one of seven stars, and that's just one of the hearts and one of the square. And imagine how good that would look if you've got a little bit of baker's twine or a little bit of um, twine of some sort that you wanted Check to kind of sew it through. Dave. I know, sew through the holes. Now, okay, let me put a different spin on it. It's $64.99 for 42 24s worth of cardstock, foam tape, sequins, um, low tack tape. Uh, high quality, uh, really strong acetate, okay, for your shaker cards. That's the way to look at it, and you're, it's costing you 22.50 for the dies then. That's the spin I put on it at the beginning of the show. Let's look at it from another angle. We have got the dies on their own, which is in the show, and that's our JV2087. So if you just want the dies on their own, we'll put them up on the screen for you. JV2087. If you don't want the card stock, you don't want the foam tape, you don't want the sequins, don't want the low tack tape or anything like that, you just want the dies, you fall in love with those, and that's all you want. $44.99 is the price on its own if you would like just the dies for all 42 dies. That's working out to just over one pound per die, which is incredible anyway, isn't it? So that's another option for you if you just want the dies and nothing else. And then that makes just 20 odd pounds for 42 24s worth of extras if you look at it in that way so whichever way you look at it if you're buying the whole thing and thinking about how much the dies are costing you if you do buy the whole thing or if you look at the dies on their own and then don't worry about the other bits it's fine you can go for either or whichever way so if you're i don't know what your budget is but remember with the big collection we have it on split pay three-way split pay 
So today you pay, if you want split pay, 21.66 to get everything. Okay, there'll be two more payments, one in four weeks and the final one in eight weeks' time. But for 21.66, this will be on its way straight away from Crafters Companion when you've made your first purchase or paid your first split pay, okay? And if you bought something already today, it's free PMP. If you haven't bought anything today so far, it's only one PMP of 3.95 to get all of your orders for the day home. And I know many of you will be tuning in for the seven o'clock launch tonight of a brand new very special launch it is the 49 and market from Sizzix launch with Sharon uh, first time you've seen it on uh, Hobby Maker that's coming up at seven o'clock this evening uh, and we're a little bit worried and concerned about the stock levels so that's on the way a launch coming up at seven o'clock tonight but if you get that now you don't have to worry about PMP for the rest of the day from midnight to midnight okay Right so, well, we'll go back and have another look at the boards and samples okay. again. So now that you've got that idea, yep. now how you can break it down, you can extend it, you can mix and match, you've got within it the dies. So within each set, you've got your seven dies. So we've got our circular dies. So we've got our... Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Dan. There you go. You've got your circles there. I thought you'd gone, so. the pub then for a minute. <laughs> I thought you'd gone as well. Yeah, he's like, I've had enough of Craig. <laughs> you've only got one more day, my Dan. So you've then got your circle die, but then that could be your star in the middle, it could be the ovals there in the middle, it could be the hexagon in the middle if you want to, but that is just, of course, your circle ones. Well, that's if you just want the circles on their own, 799VT2001. And then you've got your star. Have you seen how you've been able to mix and match? And although I use that larger inner decorative component within the uh, square one, you could have used the large square, uh, sorry, the large star, plain edge square, but then one of the larger love hearts in there. If you the struggle hexagon. for teenager cards or masculine cards, you know, you can call your teenage son a star, you can call dad a star with that. Yeah, yeah or really you well. know, your dressing room, it's got a big star on it. What dressing room? You could. Uh, <laughs> could do three of them and then get your alphabets and then, you know, just, uh, you know, of course, do any names that you want. Thank you. Say, Absolutely. You want to. Yeah. And you've got the little mini stars that get cut out by the bigger stars as well. They do indeed. Yeah. And then you've got your love hearts as well. Make your own sheriff's badge. Yes. Wow. yes. You could do. Yeah. I could imagine you in a sheriff's heart. Sheriff Row. Yeah. It's got a ring to it. Yeah. yeah. Sheriff Row. Hmm. Laird. Laird. I was going to say, who's Row? I'm Laird. You're Bradford. Who's... who's it's another friend of mine, though. Oh, ah, so. okay. Okay, Dave. <laughs> uh, you've got the love hearts. Now, with these, certainly, when it comes to your plain edge ones, these are still going to be able to cut through things like your thinner fabrics and that as well. You know, the small decorative ones should be a little bit more tricky, but certainly your plain edge ones, you can absolutely use that, so maybe applique as well. Yep. You would need your metal shimmer, your Gemini, but it's still a possibility. Then you've got your ovals here, so you've got the tiny, tiny little butterflies that die cut out. Again, keep them for shakers. You've then got your hexagons. Sorry, I'm going a bit too fast there, Alex, sorry. So you've got your ovals, and then you've got your hexagons as well. Okay. Now, you know, I don't know what your budget is. If you haven't got a budget of 60-odd pounds, you may think, oh, I like that one, I like that shape in particular. I'm going to just buy one of them. Yeah, they're there for you. 799 SO2076 if you want the hexagons. And then one of them that was predominantly focusing on to show the different ways. And, you know, I have to stress, Dave, there is still so many other ways that you could have used that set. You mm. know, it was just a little inkling. And, of course, it can always be a diamond shape. Yes, yeah, it could. So that's probably the most versatile out of all of them, to be fair. 7.99 for that set. And I do like the kind of um, angled, like, leaf cutouts. Really, really attractive, that. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. PT2003. So I hope you'll agree there's something for everybody's budget in the show today. Whether you want to go for the big bundle where you save the most money and you're going to get all those extras to make your fantastic shaker cards included, the everyday card stock, the black card stock, the foam on a roll, the heavy duty acetate, the sequins, and of course the low tack tape to hold your dies in place. That's everything you need basically to make amazing shaker cards. That is worth 42.24, which means you're only paying 22.50 for 42 dies. Think of it that way. It's about 50p a die when you think of it like that, which is pretty incredible. And you know, some dies you'll use once a week, some dies you'll use once a month, some dies you'll use once in a blue moon. But you love them and you bought them because you love them. And then there are other dies that you'll use on a regular daily basis. And nesting dies like this are those dies. So you'll never regret the purchase. And to get them in a big bundle where you've got so much extra included for so little is a great opportunity. The other way to look at it, you buy the dies on their own. The whole set is £44.99, I think it is. Yeah, £44.99, which basically then makes the extras just 20 quid. 
so you're saving about 20, 20, 22 to 23 pounds, whichever way you look at it, by looking at it, comparing the cost of the dies without the extras or the cost of the kit, if you're paying for the extras, what the dies would be. So it's a great deal, TK2029 and three-way split pay on something of 60 anything. We don't normally do. That would normally be a two-way split pay. So to get it on three, you just give us 2166 today, plus your PMP unless you've already paid it, and then the next payment in four weeks and the final payment in eight weeks' time. And the reason I was shocked at the start of the show, because my details is two-way, two-way split it? pay. Yes, but Alex has managed to get three-way split pay, so um, always that little bit extra, but certainly helps. Oh. So we'll go in, in in a moment. We'll we'll do a proper demonstration now, just using the hexagon and show you the different ways. But again, let's look at the finished samples once again, because you could do this style, but you could do this with the ovals, or of course it could be the hearts. Here. Imagine doing this, but with the heart cut in, and then your red cardstock, pink cardstock would look fabulous. What would look really, really nice with this is maybe large number dies. Yes. That Ooh, yes. may be launching tomorrow. Maybe. You know, that would work in complement. Not that we're giving other. anything away. Not at all. Not at all. Would I ever do that? What time's that? Two o'clock. Okay. Two o'clock, yes. Two o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. Brand new launch. It's going to work really, really well with these ones. So, you know, if you're wanting to maybe just use the two die, so your outer die, the inner die, and do all your different backgrounds. Imagine using the color bloom, color change in ink pads with these ones here would be beautiful. And then bring in your luxury card stock, you know, going in with your floral elegance from Sarah's signature collections, your memory books there. Again, that one there, it could be, of course, with the love That's hearts. So sweet. And it could be uh, around Valentine's or weddings or anniversary. And even if you don't do scrapbooks, not everybody does, think about picture frames. You know, mm -hmm. having those in a lovely picture frame of a newborn baby or a grandchild or something like that, but having those extra shapes and elements there. I love that box top. Yes, yeah, really, really smart. And I can't stress enough. Remember, guys, you're going to be able to mix and match with these. Christine, please check out your basket. Christine's in Dorset. Teresa in Essex. Jane in Derbyshire. Crafter in Greater Manchester. Leslie in Northamptonshire. Patricia in Devon. Pauline in Middlesex. Check your baskets out. That confirms your purchase. If something sat in your basket, it's not yours until you basically pay the first split pay or pay the full thing if you'd rather do that. We don't demand that you have split pay. It's there as an option, basically. And if you want to call the call centre, they'll talk you through and set an account up for you if you're a brand new viewer. And I know we've got loads of new viewers recently. Uh, with uh, recently joining Virgin. So if you are watching us thinking, how do I get involved with Hobby Maker? Just give the call centre a call. They're upstairs, UK-based call centre, free phone number, even on a mobile, 0800 001 4433. They'll do all that for you. It takes a couple of minutes and then you're, you're with us. You can phone in anytime or order on the app, order on the website. You know what I've just thought? What's that? Imagine something like this, Dave. Mm -hmm. But with your favourite illusion film in the background. Oh, my favourite illusion yeah. film. Yeah. 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 Can you imagine that? All your illusion films in the background. Yeah, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. You know. It's fast become my favourite project. You like that, yeah. yeah. That Maybe film. kind of like that clear one. That clear one would yeah. be a good yeah. one. Or the yellow one, whatever yeah. one's your fancy. Right, let's bring in some cardstock here. Now, we're going to use the decorative hexagons here. Now, for this one, let's take... We're going to use it as a topper, but it's also going to be a background on the back as well. So yeah, let's use the middle plain edged hexagon. And then we're going to go in with the stitched hexagon into the middle here. So it's going to cut out as a hexagon, but on the inside, it's then going to cut a little stitch. So we're going to just pop that in. When you get them, just, just set aside an afternoon, which is just, just a bit of you time, and play. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you'll come up with new ways of using them that even we haven't come up with, or Craig hasn't. So. Of course you will, absolutely. And then, as I said before, even bringing in some of your other nesting dyes. Well, the be yellow and the gold in. could be like honeycomb, exactly. bees, that sort of thing. It could yep. be. It really, really could be. So we're just going oh. to run that one through. And message in the show from Elizabeth. Hello. Oh, this is another thing you can do. Send us messages via the website and via the app as well. Elizabeth in Gloucestershire says, I love Crafters Companion dies. They're such great quality. I'm quite new to die cutting, but I love them. And my Gemini Midi Lizzie, we love you. Thank you ever so much. Lizzie's in Gloucestershire. Brilliant. The Gemini Midi, the unique one, the Mojito, is on the website now. And it's going to be on the show tomorrow at 6 o'clock if you fancy tuning in. And it's a special one just for us. You can't it, buy it anywhere it else. It is indeed. It is indeed. So much so that I even bought it myself after hey. the last time I was here. Right. Because we can't get it at HQ. We don't have any no. at HQ. We've got them all here. You know, we can't use it. And when I say we can't use it, on education shows, we can't use it. It's for hobby maker only. Now, there's your outer edge that I've just cut. But you've got the little, you can see the little, see the dashes yeah. in there. And I've also done 
the smaller one just here. I'm just going to do a couple more there, Dave. Craig, half the stock has gone. It's half past six. So we're heading towards a potential sellout, if not during the show, shortly after we end it. So I know this time of the evening on a Friday, lots of you are getting home. You've had a stressful journey back, maybe. Driving at the moment on the roads is not much fun, so no, you have my not. sympathy. Uh, yeah, please just phone up the call centre, go onto the app, pop it in your basket, check out your baskets, and enjoy this deal. It's an amazing deal, as so many of you are finding out. Right, so I've done another one here. So the same, just the smaller hexagon. So that's a couple. But what I've done earlier on is I've done just a load of them here. Yeah. And then I've got the same here. So this is where we're going to create a little bit of a background. So I've taken a piece of white cardstock. I have cut this five inch by two inch. And then I'm going to go in with my straight edge tape runner. An amazing deal on the tape runners from Crafters Companion. We'll give you those details after we've done the demo. We will. Now, what I'm doing here, you could use your tacky glue. It could be double-sided adhesive sheets. But essentially, what I want to do is just create an adhesive strip. And then all that I'm going to do, Dave, is let's just pop one of them down. doesn't matter if Random. it's straight. doesn't matter if it's at an angle. And then what we're going to do is, because it's the hexagon, we're going to join them up together like a quilt and we're going to be creating kind of like our card quilt yeah so let's bring that in and these are going to all perfectly meet together doesn't matter if it's a bit of a mess because we're going to trim it down we're going to then bring that into here and we're going to add that into here and then don't worry about that bit there because we will be able to use any of the excess so I'm using scissors, but you could use your paper trimmer, your guillotine, it could be your craft knife if you want. But we're just going to trim all the way down, all the way around. So we've now created a white strip into a decorative background, and the background stripped, and then take that out, and then even just that tiny little bit into there. I'm hoping I've got, let's bring in a little bit extra adhesive on the end there. Let's, bring, let's just bring in a smaller bit because I didn't need that. Tuck that in, turn it around. Then we're just going to snip and tidy that up. Mm -hmm. So we've now got our background that's got that perforation oh, lines. But then what we can also do is let's put some tape into the middle. Now I could have done this at the same time, but it doesn't really matter. And we're going to add that into there we're going to add that into there and I've not even focused or started yet on the main topper element this is just going to be an accent backdrop mm -hmm. let's go let's add a little bit into there add that in and because these all nest inside each other as well perfectly you know that you're going to be able to then get a perfect look let's just trim that that Bethan in Cheshire says, this reminds me of Blockbuster. Uh, yeah, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, remember that. Remember oh, that. One of my favourite shows. So we've now got our strip there. So I have already done one day, but the only difference is just added it on a bit of black card mm -hmm. that we can see here. So let's move that out of the way. I'm going to bring this in. Now, this is just some mats and layers, yellow and black. New paper pad tomorrow. Oh. New tomorrow. So I'm going to... Add that on. So this is going to fit a six by six card blank. Bring that in to here. What time's the paper bag on? That is also on at two o'clock. Two o'clock. Yes. Saturday afternoon, destination, hobby maker from one and then until eight. We're going, you're in all day tomorrow, aren't you? I'm doing a double bubble. You're doing a double. Yep. There we go. So let's bring that in. So that's the back of our card. But let's bring in the focal point. So same colours that I've got here. Let's bring in these ones here. Let's bring back in my hexagon. So we're going to use that large one. And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to keep that one just as a whole hexagon. But it doesn't matter if it's not perfect in the centre okay. because it's the inner part that I want. But this will also show you once again, like your, uh, the first kind of technique demo that we've done, We've now got a shaker or framework there. That could be a larger piece never, of card. Never if you throw want. those elements away. Never, never throw them away. So we're going to take that same die again, but we're going to use the tiny little hexagons that you cut know what? in. These dies 
Any nesting dies, for that matter, are worth their weight in gold because it means you've never got any card waste. No, definitely not. Definitely not. And because you've got some smaller dies, it means that any of the little bits that you don't want to get rid of, that you want to keep because you think you're going to use them, mm. then, of course, you can use them. Or as you said, those ones, bits that you just keep, these are going to be the good ones to use when you get them home and have a play, Dave, and just cut. These dies help you to save cardstock which in turn helps you to save money to make your cardstock go that much further. So they're worth their weight in gold, they really are. And then you can see how these can then layer together yeah, here. It. Let's move that one out of the way. So let's bring in, let's go in with that medium hexagon that I used before. So we're going to go in with a bit of white and we're going to tape that down. So let's bring that into here. We're also then going to use, let's go in with, now where I had, let's take, there we go. Let's bring back in that little hexagon that's got the little perforated lines in. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add that in. So this would, Dave, give me that look that I've done there. So right. you've got the hexagon with the little perforations. But what I want to do is let's mix it up slightly and let's put that smaller hexagon in the middle. I do remember any of these dies will work in any die cutting machine, not Definitely. just Gemini. So if you haven't got a Gemini machine, don't think it's not for you. They'll work for you. So run that one through. So as we run that one through, move that out the way. What we've then got is tiny little diddy hexagon. But if I take that off, we've now got the outer hexagon with the perforated lines, but then we've got an aperture within the if middle you, if you there. If you cut that out of silver mirror card, you've got a nut and a bolt then, haven't you? Yes, you do. So yes. it could be like a, a yeah. dad's card if he's a mechanic or something like that. Or, or you know, good for uh, elements of cogs of that, steampunk, yeah. that sort of uh, look and feel if you want. Do your grungy backgrounds, any of your darker brown card stock. So let's do the final cut before we assemble it. Let's take that one out here. And with that, in actual fact, what I should have used, but it doesn't matter because you can go back and add, although that's fine like that, I also want to, where I've used the small hexagons there, I want to do the same with this one. Mm -hmm. So even if you forget, or a lot of people, they aren't quite comfortable about using multiple dies at once right. because they're scared that they might jump and damage each other. If that's the case, then just do all your cutting separately. But if you've taped them down nice and secure, like I've been doing, you've got nothing to worry about. And that's why they've included three rolls of low-tack tape with Absolutely. the dispensers in your bundle today, all for that price of 64.99, which is incredible. Right, so if we move that out of the way now, so now I've got the outer hexagon, the inner hexagon, cut in hexagon detail, and then the perforation all the way round. And then what we can do before we bring and assemble those ones is I've got another piece of white cardstock. Now, this is the largest die that I've got, but Dave, I want to give it a little additional matting layer. Okay. So I'm going to add my tape and I'm going to put them onto a bit of just white cardstock. I might be a little bit snug, but I'm going to go for it. And then I'm going to bring in my guillotine or you could use your paper trimmer. And I'm just eyeballing up the edge there. And then I'm going to cut, and I'm just going to do just a few little slithers, and then just trimming all the way around. So I'm leaving maybe about, maybe about two mils or something. You're a dab hand with this All the way, yes, I use it all the time. Absolutely love my guillotine. It's a standing joke that I could probably, quite possibly stand for a whole hour and do a show just on the guillotine oh, good. and all the different ways that you can use it. So we've now got an additional mat and they're just using our guillotine. Excellent. So let's, let's assemble this. So there we've done that one there and we've got the white one that I've done. But I've also done exactly the same, but I've done it within black. And then the white centre that I've got, I want to use that. That hexagon, I've done exactly the same and just given myself a white matting layer. So this is when your dots are going to come in really handy for these small ones. So if I 
put my tape on. I'm going to add that into here over the top. So we don't see the yellow on the outer edge. We only see it inside, mm -hmm. but we've got the white. I've got my little white one. So let's take that little bout here. And this so far, it's just one die set, one die set that I've used. But then we're going to change it up. So we're going to turn it around, Dave, oh. and then snip it in half. So Didn't we've got that, that one. Coming. Didn't see that one coming. This is about focus on your card. It's using your nesting dies, your decorative nesting dies, as, an, as another focal point and adding decoration to the back of your card. Let's bring that in. Let's bring in this one here. Again, we're adding and using the dots. That one, we're then going to go into, let's go, oh, I need my, there we go, I need that one. Your Pop brain that is working one. overtime. It is, isn't it? yeah, I can, I can it is. It. it really, really is. Just again, the ways you can use it, the different ways, the different um, combinations. I'm going to add, although you've got the foam on a roll, I'm just using the foam pads here. Let's bring that in to here. And all these techniques are from just basically the hexagon die set. You've got the same thing that can apply for all the other shapes, the rounded square, the heart, uh, the circle. Um, what was the other one? You've got your oval. oval. And the star, yep. So let's start to layer this one together. I would, of course, at home, always add a lot more foam pads. But we, I just want some just across the centre there. Mm -hmm. So if I take these ones, and then if we take the hexagon that we've chopped in half there. So let's go that way into here, like so. And then you don't always have to use all your shape dies in the initial shape they're intended. Why not bring that one uh, yeah. up into there? Like it's running off the page. Like it's running off the page. I love When stamping, I love stamping off the page. It makes it look a lot more full and kind of organic. And you can do that again when it comes to your dies. You've got that vision oh. running in an angle. And then all that I'm going to do, and I, of course, gone in with height. You don't. You can keep it completely flat if you want to. But let's take, now I, don't, I only need them towards the centre here. We're going to just take these ones, lift that on foam pads, and within the new launch tomorrow of the number dies, you've got some sentiment stamps as well. And I'm going to pop that into there. Love it, love it, love it. And then that can just go onto a six by six card, or if you want a, li a large white frame that I like to do, seven by seven card or eight by eight, you can make that bigger if you want to. Now, do you get it why Craig was so excited about the versatility of these? There are literally hundreds of ways you can use these mm -hmm. nesting dies. And remember, you get six sets, six different shapes and styles, circle, hexagon, heart. Down the bottom, you've got the star, the oval, and the rounded square. Now, just in case you've got home, it's that time of the evening on a Friday. A lot of people, you know, get home from the train, get home from the car or whatever and turn the TV on, maybe having a laptop tea tonight, hope you had a good day at work or whatever you've been doing today. This is going to start your weekend off in fine style because what the guys at Crafters Companion have done is, first thing they thought was most people that buy these will think about making a shaker because that's one thing you can do, lots of other things you can do, but one thing you can do with these dies is make lovely shaker cards. So they thought, what a great idea to give you 60 sheets of multi-purpose white cardstock, 40 sheets of black cardstock, 100 sheets between the two, then down the bottom, they're going to give you the uh, heavy-duty acetate, which is perfect for your shaker cards to make that kind of uh, windshield. You're then going to get the foam tape, which is going to give you the height to separate the card from the acetate so that your shaker bits can move. You get your sequins, which can be the shaker elements in that pot. And to keep your dies in place when you're doing your die cutting, they give you three rolls of low-tack tape. So all of those things are essential crafting everyday must-have items. Value of that, if you were to pay the proper price for all of it, is $42.24. Take that off your $64.99 that the whole thing's costing you. It means your dies, the integral part of this deal, are costing you $22.50 which is basically four pound a set, roughly, give or take a penny or two, for seven nesting dies in each one. 
and they've got the element of that decorative edge. You've got the hearts that have been given a decorative edge. You've got the hexagons that have been given that decorative edge. The butterflies in there, some of them as well. I think the oval's got the butterflies, but they're brilliant. And you're going to get everything for $64.99, and it's on split pay. So in other words, what I'm saying to you, you're being charged for the dies if you're paying $42.24 for everything else. You're paying less than what you should be paying for the dies today in the first split pay. Just $21.66 is all you need to give us, and you're going to get everything. The next payment in four weeks, the final payment in eight weeks' time. And if you just want the dies on their own, they are available for you at $44.99. But that's without the 4224s worth of value. That's just the dies on their own. So, and it won't have split pay on it. So what I do is I go for the big bundle that's got split pay. Everyone seems to be doing that. Mm -hmm. I did promise you that we've got a special deal going on the tape pens. Now, if there's a, if there's a, someone said to me, what is the one product that you probably would use every single day when you're crafting? It would be a tape pen. Definitely. Without Definitely. a shadow of a doubt. Yes. Now, the Crafters Companion ones are regarded as being some of the finest in the business. Are they got, now, they're longer now than normal, aren't they? Uh, yes, yeah, so we do have uh, another rate. It's the exact same adhesive, but okay. just refillable. Uh, and they are, you get more in them. However, the adhesive inside are exactly the same of what we've got. So here. how long adhesive do we get in each of these tape pens? So in these tape pens we've got today, they're 22, 22 metres. metres. Yeah. Now in standard, other industry tape runners out there can be 10 yep. to 12 metres. Yep. Ours are 22 metres. So the tape runners that um, Craig's been used, using in the show, so we've got a deal. Now, normally the standard tape pen, the one that's the straight, is 3 99 and the dotty is normally 4 99 So if you'd like two, £7.98, and that's going to give you 44 metres of adhesive, OK? And this is the extra strong adhesive that Leanne, she, she, she basically turned down so many, so many variants of it until she was happy. Today, we've got a buy one, get one free deal. You get two for three ninety nine. That's £2 per tape pen. I don't know how long this offer is going to be on for, but grab as many as you feel you need. Um, remember, if you bought something already, you don't have to worry about any more PMP for the whole day. Three ninety nine should be one. You get two today for that price. MO2064. Already lots of you coming in, putting them in your basket. So that's if you want the everyday straight sided tape runner. If you want the dotty one, now they are a little bit more costly to produce, so they are $4.99, and the dotty tape pens are going to leave the dots of adhesive where you want on things like sentiments, on filigree backgrounds, things like that that are really tricky to stick down. The dotty tape pens are revolutionary. $4.99 is the price for one. Today, you're going to get two. So a buy one, get one free. Now's the time to stock up. If you buy maybe four, you'll get two free. If you buy uh, six, you'll get uh, three free. Um, think about it, because if you run through maybe a, a tape pen a week or one every yeah. three, three or four days. Well, that's it, because no, when it comes to these, and this also goes for the, the straight tape runners as well, but I, I don't know the full science of them, but technically it's actually a wet adhesive yeah. within dry form. That's why they're great for construction. But what they're good for, and certainly with the dots as well, you can still use your gilding flakes. Yep. Now, with the gilding flakes and the dots, tiny, tiny little dots, if you use the straight, rate, straight tape runner, then, of course, you get the straightness of your gilding flakes. You can still use things like your glitters that on mm -hmm. there as well mm -hmm. or as many people do they buy them to wrap parcels my mum uses them now for wrapping christmas yeah. presents all that sort of yeah. thing she can't she can't use standard tape anymore with the fingers and hands bridget in newport hi crafter in west midlands sylvia in worcestershire jane in cambridgeshire christine in dorset coming and through you don't need to like discount these or do no. these you know we sell these you know in hundreds and hundreds on a daily basis on our own website we don't need to do it on hobby maker have you tried the standard tape pens before love them but you haven't tried the dotty ones before. We've got another option. If you want one of each, one dotty, one straight, if you want multiples of this, you can order them multiple times, you'll get both for £4.99. EY2050, EY2050, four ninety nine. If you've never tried them before, or maybe you've tried that before and love it, but you've never tried the Dossie one before, and you're thinking, I want to give them a go. Here's your opportunity. You get both for four ninety nine. I go for maybe four of those. For less than 20 quid, you then got four of the straight, you then got four of the dotty. They should last you hopefully weeks and weeks and weeks. And EY 2050. And just, to, you know, when you're saying that again, just to remind you, you know, and I'm not dissing any other brands, no. but they are about between 10 to 12 metres in length. Whereas, you know, if you've got ones that are 10 metres, this is more than double that you're mm. getting within each one there. And honestly, this is one of those products that 
you would buy every day of the week mm -hmm. that flies off the shelves in shops, that flies out the door here. Just by people going onto our website, even if they're not featuring in a show, they'll just buy the tape because they need them to get a buy one, get one free deal. It's like when you go to the supermarket and your favorite coffee's on buy one, get one free. You don't buy you know, just the one. You buy maybe four or maybe six if you can afford it to take advantage of the deal. It's a deal that won't be around forever and they don't need to be discounted. That's what no, amazes no, me. No, definitely don't. You know, whether it's ours, whether it's Hobby Makers website, it's a key staple. It's something as well as, you know, our ultimate pro and Centura Apparel. It's something that we are famous for when it comes to our tape runners and the mm. fact that you can still use your flakes on there, your glitters on there as well. You know, you can do your mats and layers, you know, just go around with your tape runner, add your gilded and flakes. That cuts down on weight as well if you're worried about post in so there's just many many benefits in using the tape runners out with doing your mats and layers and, and just knowing the fact that you know maybe you've bought something already with Nigel earlier on today your 395 you've paid that actually won't come off your card until midnight tonight because the way our system works is all your orders that you make during the day from midnight to midnight get collated by our computer at midnight tonight that's when the payment gets taken whether it's the first split pay or whether it's the PMP or whatever uh, and then you get an overnight confirmation email showing you what you ordered today and also that one PMP of 395 so if you want to take advantage of that cap PMP that we have every single day here it's not a special offer for a day or two it's one PMP every day of three pound 95 no matter how many things you buy no matter how many companies you buy from whether it's crafters companion now whether it's Sizzix in the next show they all come from them uh, or in Sizzix's case from our warehouse but the PMP is just one per day of 395 and anyone that is uh, relatively new to us at Crafters Companion or even new to hobby making, you're like, well, what exactly is the dot? It's the same tape that you've got within your straight tape runners. But what it is, it's tiny, 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 minute little dots. So therefore, any intricate bits, if you've got intricate die cuts, your die cuts, you know, I do love Mataki glue. And I, when I'm at home, you know, I sit and I've got the time to go over Mataki glue. Maybe you don't have time. Maybe you've got dexterity issues. Maybe you just don't have the patience. Run these over the back of your intricate die cuts and then of course the dots will only stick to the intricate bits. Now Crafters Companion are not prepared to let all of their tape runners go on a buy one get one free basis. They have allocated a certain quantity for this that. offer and that quantity is going down quickly. So if you want the straight sided, half the stock of that offer that we've got from Crafters Companion is gone. If you want the dotty option, a third of the stock of that has now gone. And if you want the combination of one of each of them, that's proving popular as well. But we have only got a limited quantity of that offer available. And then when you see them later, they'll be back to their normal price, which is $4.99 or $3.99 each. Uh, now, what about something else that Crafters Companion do so well? Love this. Luxury card. There is actually, how many sheets was it? I thought it was. 190 sheets. Where? Actually true. Isn't it? Sorry, I know, Alex. Oh, here he goes again. The luxury card stock, you actually get like a taster on the front it's to do with the packaging. Oh, so you yeah, get yeah, like yeah, a yeah. medium one and then a smaller one. That's not actually included within okay. the count. So they're thinking like extra. So you get 190 plus. Mm -hmm. Look at the colours. Non shed glitter card is what you've got there. Look at the satin finish on this as well. Talk about opulence. Look at that. Look at that. The reflection. This is top quality, high quality mirror card. You're basically you're getting, getting 10 of each of these color Saturn. options. Look at that. Again, non-shed, no mm -hmm. glitters coming off on my fingers. And some of these are a thin self-adhesive. This one is. Glitter. Yes. Yeah, that's self-adhesive. Yeah. So some of them are cards, some of them are self-adhesive. Um, look at them. Look at that purple, Crafters Companion purple. There's you got the mirror cards. That's chocolate, chocolate. That's my favourite chocolate. Cho you like that one? I don't like eat chocolate one. much, no. but I do like that one. So that first bundle you were showing the precious metals. You've got 40 sheets in total with a variety of weights and colours. What you're looking at now, so you know, you're know you there on your purple. What you're getting, technically we're saying you're getting 30. You're getting 10 of your shedless glitter, 10 yep. of your mirror, and 10 of your satin. A little bit more with the extras. And that runs through all of them. So I know Dave's showing you them, but your silver, your green, your blue, and then your gold. It's 10, 10. And 10 yep. in there as well. which comes to 190 but you do have the extra uh, kind of different size cuts on the front of the packaging which aren't included that 190 now your price should be look that is actually a dark green believe mm -hmm. it or not look at that it's incredibly rich now you imagine using your decorative nesting dies with Ooh. one of the deep green mirror on the oh, back yeah, 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 yeah. and then there's the green in the satin finish then we come on to the blue always a firm favorite Look at the shine on this as yeah, well, the mirror shine, finish. Yeah. That's a very subtle pale blue. I know it looks silver, but actually if I put it against the silver, you see there's a very light blue. 
Yep. Then we've got the satin in the blue as well. And then more of the luxurious gold at the back. So 190 sheets in total. 10 of each of the varieties, 10 of each of the finishes, plus the extra offcuts that you get in the front of the box of each one. Now we're going to drop this price from 62.94 today. You can have it for under 40. Wow. That is a 23 pound saving. One pack is 9.99. Okay. And you got how many packs? So you've got six. one, two, three, six. Is it six? Yeah. Six. Yeah, six packs. Six packs. For thirty nine ninety near me too. Thirty nine pounds and ninety six pence gets you all of this and one P and P to get this home. Imagine how much one hundred and ninety sheets weighs to post. Exactly. That would be probably exactly, yeah. fifteen, twenty quid postage. Not with us. One P and P per day of three ninety five. I don't know how we do it. People say that to us all the time. How do you do that? I don't know. I didn't think it was going to last, to be honest with you. Didn't you? No. no. You thought it would be a fit. I, I, I thought thing. after a wee while when the channel first started. No, no, no. I I thought oh, but has been and as far as I'm concerned always will be yeah yeah mm -hmm. what a deal but you're going to use to have this instant collection and these these are actually uh, I can th I think I can show you that the smaller pieces that um, Craig was talking about that oh, there, yeah. there you go you get one that size one that size and one that size on the packaging at the front so you can see the three different finishes but that's not included in the 190 no it's not no, no extra. It's not. all extras Six packs, 36, uh, 39.96, the most affordable six pack you can buy, I reckon. Uh, and it's OW2020 if you want that today. Uh, and it's going to be a complete stash delivered in one order to your door for that one PMP of £3.95. Now, before we say goodbye and launch, remember, we've got coming up next 49 and Market. Brand new to Hobby Maker today. Sharon Curtis is beside herself. Uh, so am I. It's going to be amazing. Um, 49 Market are famous for their 12 by 12 papers and that sort of thing. They're not so famous for their dies and stamps. That's what we've got. And it's launching here in a minute at 7 o'clock. But if you want this bundle today from Crafters Companion and Craig, remember six sets of nesting dies. There are 42 dies in total, six sets of seven. You're going to get 42 24s worth of extras. So that's everything you need to do your shaker cards, including 60 sheets of multi-purpose cardstock, 40 sheets of black. You've got your um, high grade acetate as well, the tough acetate. You've got your foam on a roll, you've got your sequins, and you've also got your low-tack tape rolls as well. That's worth 42.24. The whole thing is only 64.99, and you saw brilliant demos from um, Craig as to how to actually use them and get the most out of them. So we're together tomorrow. We are indeed, yes. Uh, tomorrow, so I've got three shows tomorrow. At the end of the day, I'm on for two hours back to back with you on yep. all day tomorrow. I am. And uh, my first show tomorrow is going to be at two o'clock with a brand new launch. We've got a couple of launches, all about the number dies. Okay. However, we do have some brand new floral paper pads as well what i am going to tell you right now and it's the weekend we don't have a large large quantity so okay. keep that in mind tomorrow when we go large i think laura's planning on maybe potentially popping it on pre-order okay. just before but it's going to be two o'clock tomorrow okay 49 market then this eagerly awaited launch from sizzix is on the way after a short break don't go away to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Hobby Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. 
We are live every day from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Hobbymaker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your craft room essentials to paper, tools, cutting machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Hobbymaker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Hobbymaker. Alternatively, you can call our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Hobbymaker. Everybody, it's Friday. The weekend's already started for most of us. Great to have your company. And to say that this show has been the most eagerly awaited show of the week so far, I say, is probably the understatement. Because um, we have got for you today something that is, to me, relatively new. I've, I'm not very familiar with this. 49 and Market. Yes. I saw it. I thought, oh, that's new. I've not heard of that before. Now, having chatted to you, Sharon, they're really well known for their designs, very often of 12 by 12. Yes, yes. Mostly scrapbooking right. is probably what they're well known for, but scrapbooking kits and yep. collections, yep. Um, beautiful designs of 12 by 12 papers. Um, they do smaller size paper pads as well, eight by six, rub-ons, washi tape, all of those kind of things. But what they're not normally known for is what we're about to show you today, which is why everybody is waiting for this so eagerly. Um, Sizzix, the brilliant brand that we all know and love that have been with Hobbymaker for a little while now, um, have this year deliberately made a conscious decision to do as many collaborations with great designers as possible. And this is another one of them that I know so many of you have been waiting for. Katie Petit is the actual designer's name behind this. And this is a combination of stamps and dies, which is relatively unusual for them to do, isn't it? Yes, yes. Um, and it, it, it just works so perfectly. The designs with the Sizzix dies, obviously, bring it to a whole different level. Um, if you are familiar with 49er Market and you've got any of your collections, then these are going to be a brilliant accompaniment to them. But these are a standalone thing. You can create your own beautiful designs with these. Now, to give you an idea of the concept quickly, mm. um, yes. well, we've only got one. They're, they're so scarce. We've only got one set in the studio here. I know, Sharon, you've got your yeah, own. Yeah, I've got mine. But if I just open up the packaging just to uh, explain the concept a little bit, what you've got here is a stamp set, and they are layering stamps, which I must admit is one of my favourite things to do at the moment. Yes, yes. And don't be put off by the word layering and think that you necessarily need to have a stamp platform and all of those things. Right. I know not everyone's got one. The idea of these is that you're going to get a very loose watercolour right. look. So you've got your background layer, which actually you're probably going to spritz with water to make it a little bit messy. That and then the outline image, which is the, this that one, one there. Yep. is going to give you the look of a pencil sketch over the top. Okay. So it's all got a very loose, sketchy watercolour feel absolutely beautiful and then they've added in in a lot of the sets you've even got your little splatters and things because if you are not a mixed media person and doing the whole splattering paint thing is is not your thing but you like that look you can create that look without all the mess okay so you've got stamps and dies that work together so the layering stamp set there has got the matching die that will cut out your artwork for you yes. and that's the concept that runs through each and every one of these now the next one i want to show you quickly is this one just here now this is your toadstool again i want to show you these i need to open them up to show you because otherwise you won't actually appreciate what's inside each one but there here we go look so you've got all of these layering toadstools yes 
You've and got your layers characters. to add your sort of messy watercolour look to them. So you're going to colour them with your inks. Oops. And you've got the dies too. And you've look. got the dies to cut out the outline. So no fussy cutting here. Nope. And you've got the splodges there as well. So if you're not a big fan of kind of flicking the paintbrush and it goes everywhere other than where you wanted it, yes. this is the more controlled way of getting that effect. So these stamp and die sets are nothing short of breathtaking. You've got your toadstools. You've got your flowers that we showed you a few seconds ago. Further down, we've then got a selection of butterflies. Uh, next to that, we then have this beautiful floral that you can see there as well. I'll lift this up so you can see. It's a lovely leaf, a leaf design. It's leaf quite, design. It, it makes me think of eucalyptus. I don't know if it is eucalyptus, but it's got that kind of look to it. There's your butterfly one. Butterflies are gorgeous. Um, and, of course, they've all got the, the different layers and your little splatters and things. And then down here, next layer down, we've then got these fantastic um, kind of words as well. You've got the kind of curiosity there as well, the curios. Yes, great sentiments here. Um, you can colour these in as well with your watercolour paints, anything you want to, mm -hmm. but they mix and match beautifully with all the imagery. And then you've got More butterflies dragonflies and, dragonflies. and butterflies. And again, again, it stamps and dies together. Yep, different sizes as well. And then, and then this one this here. lovely frame. It's not just a frame. You've got a really useful big sort of splatter that can go behind that frame or I've actually put it behind other elements. It's just a really good piece. And then you've got a kind of scribbly circle. So these are great for backgrounds as well and great for sort of little tuck-ins and things. And then the last one and this is that is beautiful, beautiful floor as well. this is a beautiful stamp set because you've got that lovely background done for you and then you have a die to cut out the central flower part so you can kind of decoupage that up. And again, if we just show you some of the finished um, mm. cards here that you've got. This has been so, so eagerly awaited. Already you're checking out and the price has not come down. Now, we're not saying we're the only people that are selling this. What we're saying is the deal that we can do you with this is exceptional. I mean, we are even way lower than Sizzix's own website. We can also offer you split pay. Now, 151.92 should be the price. What about on this brand new release? And there's no reason to reduce a new release like this. This is so eagerly awaited. And remember, it's the designs of Katie Petit. We can let you have it. Should we get the price down? Okay, let's do it. We can get the price down, not by 10 or 20 or 30 pounds. We can bring it down today to under 100. 99 pounds and 99 pence gets you all those stamps, gets you all those dies. And we have got it on four-way split pay. That's what we can do at Hobby Maker. We can save you 50 quid and we can ask you interest-free. It locks that price. It's fee-free and interest-free, remember. $24.99 to pay today, plus your P&P unless you've already paid it. Otherwise, it's a delivered price. And this brand-new collection will be on its way from Sizzix and 49 and Market, the latest collaboration between Sizzix and the designer, uh, Katie Petit. You can get all of it. I mean, if, like me, you love layering stamps and the effect that you can create, we have got such a busy show already. Hello, Amy, Carol, Kay, Crafter, Crafter, Sarah, Helen, Sue, Sonia, Stephen in Somerset. Stephen in Somerset and Sonia and Sue's checked out before we even dropped the price. Everyone pays the final low price. But it's all about getting in now while we've got this fantastic... Let me just show you another one. Oh, it's a bit difficult to see on the packaging sometimes what's actually inside. Let me just open this up so you can see. This one is your Hello You and Sentiments as stamps. A quarter of our entire stock has gone already. I did ask the question earlier, have we got enough to last? There's two shows of this tomorrow. So you've got the words curious. Let me put it so you can see where we are. Yes, we hope. lovely, because you've got the big, big, bold letters that, you, that have got, um, you can colour in yourself. Yep. And then you've got accompanying, so you've got always stay curious, you and then are amazing. Absolutely. Celebrate every moment. Really nice, sort of quite generic sentiments that are going to work actually, not just for card making, they're going to work for your journaling and your scrapbooking as well. Is this what you've been waiting for? Is this I've what you've been, been waiting. saving your pennies for? I have for? been so excited about this. Um, I saw this collection at the trade show in Frankfurt at the end of January. Yeah. And I've been itching to, to get this show um, on air because I've, I've had these um, stamps and dies a couple of weeks and I just, I you've couldn't stop. You've fallen in love with them. <laughs> you, you haven't stopped talking about them. That's how no, I, I've been boring everyone to death. No, not at all. Every, you've made everyone want them. Let me show you this next one. I'm sorry I'm doing this individually, but I thought we'd had two sets to show you, but we haven't. So let me just show you this one. This one is your, uh, there's 11 stamps and one die in here. So this one yes. is a beautiful, there we go. This look. is the pencil leaf set. 
Look at the size of this. It's a lovely, big, bold sort of statement piece. This one in particular, you've got one sort of background that's nice and sort of, for want of a better word, it's a bit bitty, so it's not a full solid background. Mm -hmm. Then you've got individual solid pieces for each leaf, which means you can go in with different colours on all the leaves if you want to. All will be explained and demonstrated yes. with Sharon during the show. They're supposed to be three shows tomorrow, or two shows tomorrow, two shows. I beg your pardon. Three shows, including the one tonight, but they're going so quickly. Hopefully, if we do sell out, we might be able to get more stock, but whatever you do, grab it while we've got it. The deal is insane, at le at better than 50 pound off. And remember, we've got four split pay interest-free payments. 24 99 to basically get £150 worth of new goodies uh, from, of course, um, 49 and Market, delivered to your door for you to play with. Um, get on the phones and order them now, and then come back and watch the demonstrations because uh, Sharon's going to inspire you. Already getting lots of messages coming through. Donna in Cornwall. Oh, no, Helen in County Antrim. Sorry, Helen. I've been waiting for this for months. So excited. Very happy, Sharon. Uh, Sharon is demonstrating with you, Dave. Oh, thank you very much. Ah, That's thank nice. you, Helen. Oh, That's great lovely. To, I'm, great to, I'm glad to be doing the show. I just love so it. So am I. <laughs> OK, now, should we show a few things that you've made? Yes. Do you want to yes. tell everybody what you've done? Yeah. So this first one is that lovely stamp set with the floral. And for this one, I've kept it really simple because you do have a die with this one. If you want to layer it up, you can have the, the flower separately. But I, I wanted to show that you don't always have to do that. So I've kept it really simple. All the little splots and splatches and splatches in the background yep. are from the stamps. So I haven't had to do any messy techniques with this. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're someone that doesn't really like all the mess of doing your own splats, you can, you know, use these for that. And then this is that beautiful toadstool. Look at that. Gorgeous, um, isn't it? Again, I've used stamps for all, the, all this sort of messiness in the background. This is all done with stamps. I haven't had to sort of um, be precise about any of it. And I've just used um, oxide inks to colour it all in. Mm -hmm. Then again, I've kept this one to one layer with that lovely floral set. And again, nice bit of inking in the background. Um, You've even got the sort of splatters around the flare, flower head that look like you've kind of really done some inky techniques. And then this one. Now, we're not saying with any people to have these uh, stamps and dies far from it, but we are the best place to buy from because look at the deal, look at the price, look at the interest-free split payments as well. And that's the best way of being able to get a collection that's been so waited for around the length and breadth of the UK globally as well. Sizzix, the latest collaboration, is here for you today. You don't have to cherry pick what you want, although if you do, you do just want to buy one or two of the stamp and die sets, they are individually on the website available. But if you get the whole collection and can spread the cost of it over three payments, interest free, or four payments, beg your pardon, $24.99 is all you have to pay today. And you're going to lock that $99.99 price. You're not paying four split payments on the higher price it's four split payments on the new low price that we're launching out today poxc03 right i'm very keen um to get on and see how you use them go, if that's get all over right to my little demo area. yeah because not everyone will not appreciate layering stamps or, or how the dies and the stamps work together so let's have a little look yes so what i've done i thought first of all let's start with the journal we have got the journal die on the show Obviously, today the show is all about the stamps and the dies, so I've already cut the journal out, covered it with cardstock, and I've even done a bit of um, stenciling on it. I've gone round the edges with Distress Ink, but I want to just add a little bit more background detail. We're going to use that lovely, big, bold leaf set on here because this is such a good size. It's going to be a lovely, big, bold statement piece on the front cover of my journal. But I want a little bit more going on in the background. And this is where this set, or all these sets, just going to come in so useful and I will say all the little um, background splatters you're going to be just keeping on your desk and using those with mm. all your sets because it's just such a nice way to um, I'm no, I'm to no good using that. a paintbrush it just goes everywhere apart from it where I want it goes everywhere all over your clothes yeah. and yes and in fact actually this top I've got on I've still got some ink on it from the <laughs> time I wore it on air and got, you're allowed. got ink on it so I'm going to use that lovely floral but I just want some little bits for the background so I'm not even going to put this on a block and what I'm going to do is just put just some little little bits I'm doing second generation stamping as well I've even got it upside down it doesn't matter it's just to have a little bit of text here and there and just some texture this is all going to be in the background so um, that's a good background mm -hmm. then I'm going to grab 
from this big set where I'm going to use the leaves, I've got these little splotches. So I'm going to grab one of those and I'm going to use some colour on this. So for these, I want it to be sort of in the background. I'm going to use oxide inks. Okay. So I get that kind of subtle. subtle and uh, are, these, are these stamps and dies aimed at card makers, scrapbookers, journalists? Or All three, I think. All three, journalists. Yeah, because yeah. Um, 49 and Market really are, I would say, more, more leaning towards scrapbooking. Um, it just means they're the perfect perfect match for Sizzix really because if you think we've got Eileen Hull with all the fabulous journals yes so therefore anything designed for journaling scrapbooking is going to team perfectly because of course Eileen gives us the blank canvas Eileen gives us this journal 49 a market are now giving us what we need to decorate it and with this fabulous little ink splat I can straight away create that look of a messy mixed media background Without, without having to mess. do all the mis mixed media techniques. So um, I know a lot of crafters who, who haven't tried mixed media are a little bit put off by the idea. So this is a great intro to it. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. That's going to be a great background. I've used the stamp set um, and I've stamped that on vellum to give me a little border piece. So we'll pop that on afterwards. But let's get to this beautiful set and I'll show you the concept and how this works and all the stamp sets work in the same way yeah they do yes it's the same principle you get different types of layers with them but it's the same principle so you've got your outline die which is basically your pencil sketch outline so I tend to do that one last okay but I do keep it to hand because it's handy to see where you are with the individual leaves to right. work out which one goes over which one then this other stamp here bring the packaging in because you can't really see a clear stamp can you this is your background for your leaves so that's going to layer up with your pencil outline but it's going to give you this lovely blotchy effect like you've really inked it okay so this sort of almost solid one I'm just going to pop on a block now we have got the stencil and stamp tool on the show I'm just using a block for speed um, at some point during probably tomorrow's shows I will demo that and explain how that works so I'm going to pick two different greens, maybe a bit of green and blue, actually, for my colours for this. Mm -hmm. Let's stick with kind of eucalyptus -y colours. Let's go with speckled egg and bundled sage. So I think for my first layer, we'll go with the light green. And what you're going to do is ink it up. I find pigmenty sort of inks like an oxide. Pigmenty. I'm making up my own words tonight, aren't I? I'm so <laughs> excited about this. I can't even get my words out. Pigment um, type inks where you've got a bit more blending time. And I think oxides are purple cause you, perfect because you've got that lovely chalky finish. Sure. So I've put that on there, but I'm not just going to stamp with it because I really want to go for that loose watercolour effect. I'm going to give it a spritz of water. Right. And you can see the ink all beading up on there. And that's going to give me a really nice if, look. if someone watching though Sharon wanted to do it in like really psychedelic colors like Warhol-esque could yes, you do that you could do that you could do anything right um and again this is another sort of um a bit like I say about Eileen Hull this is anyone's taste yeah because if you're into clean and simple you can do clean and simple yeah if, if you really like vibrant colors you can do that you know I've got some samples where I've really gone with a rainbow now when you place that down I am using watercolor cardstock I should mention let it sit for just a second because obviously I've put water on that if I lift it straight up half half of it's just going to come back on my stamp so let it soak into, so the, card. It soak into yeah. the card for a couple of seconds before you lift it and then it gives you that beautiful loose watercolor look I'm going to give it a quick dry so that doesn't look like a stamped image at all does it no no not at all it really looks like you've been um fabulous with your watercolours and a loose brush and and that's the appeal of it because it not is. everyone likes the look of stamped images you want to have something that looks naturally arty yes I, that's arty that's the word um your finished piece here you'll see when we get to the end of this is very arty looking mm. so that's the first layer and let me just wipe that off now with this particular one the leaves they've given you individual leaves for each one so if you really want to to be a bit adventurous you can even do a different color over each leaf 
these are solid and I find it's easier to look at my stamp to work to remember which one's for which. Yeah. So um, I won't do all of them. But if you grab one, you can kind of line it up and I can see that's that one there. Um, no, it's not that one there. You'll see the shape of it. Yeah. So we'll start with that one. And it's the same principle. Pop it on your block. We'll ink this one up with blue. So I think blue and green is going to look lovely. Okay. Now, you can ink all of it up. If you wanted to carry on it even really splotchy, you don't even have to put ink all over it. And again, give it a little spritz with water. And you'll see the ink sort of bead up on it, like so. And then, same as before, line it up. Now, I'm doing this with a block. You don't necessarily need a stamp platform with this because it doesn't have to be perfectly lined up. Mm -hmm. Um, that's kind of the idea of this. So I'm going to let that sit just for a second, then lift it up, and it's oh, yeah. filled in the rest of it. And it gives you the sort of edges you get, you know, uh, particularly if you dry it with a heat tool, it gives you the sort of hard edges that you get when you use watercolour paints. Honestly, these are so different to any other layering stamps I've seen before. They are, aren't they? Yeah. And, and it's such a fabulous concept. And of course, I'm only putting one colour on each one. If you wanted to, you can use a couple of different inks at a time. But not everybody wants that kind of crisp and clean cut. You know, you want to have that kind of a, what looks like it's natural watercolour art that you've done with a brush. And that's what yes. stamps are creating for you in a very clever way. It is it's so clever. I'm, I just really love it. So the easiest way, as I say, is to grab your, grab your stamp. Now match up, up, match up the leaves. So yep. That's that one there. We'll do that one. We'll do two at a time, actually. I won't do all of them. I'll just do two more. And I know this one lays on top of that one, so I'm going to do... I can see why in there there's been so much, um, well... All the hype. So much <laughs> All the excitement. And so much anticipation. That's the word I was looking for. So much anticipation for this collection. Um, they're no ordinary layering stamp sets, are they? No, giving you a totally not at all. unique effect and finish. One, Half the stock's gone, by the way, and we're not even halfway through this show. We're supposed to have two more shows tomorrow. Now, this one, I haven't spritzed it. I'll, I'll do one solid just to show you there is a difference. Okay. So you'll get a sort of more solid colour there. Oh, fine. Than the loose. So you can do either. I tend to do the spritzing every time because I just love that look. But, you know, you can vary it if you want. And we'll do one more. And then I won't do the other two because it's a bit repetitive and I want to show you how this is going to come together. So again, a bit of a spritz, let that bead up a bit. Mm -hmm. And lay that on top. Press it down just for a couple of seconds. Lift that up and you've got that lovely. Have you got a favorite set that jumps out at you out of all? Well, I keep changing my mind really. Um, I do like the, the butterflies. Mm -hmm because I think they're really versatile. I like this one, and then I like the flower one with the background already done. Right. I'd say those are kind of my favourites, but it's hard to choose. And remember, you've got six stamp sets and two die sets included. I mean, a lot of the stamp sets come with dies anyway. Um, there are two stamp sets down the bottom that are purely stamp sets, but you get the whole lot with an over £50 reduction off the price down to 99.99 on a brand new release. There's no reason for them to do that sort of pricing because people would have paid the full 151 pounds as many of you were checking out at that price. But yes. everyone pays the final low price. I would have been more than happy to pay that. Yeah. I've been waiting, honestly, I've been like a child at Christmas <laughs> the last few weeks. So you've got your die that matches, which means no fussy cutting. They're really easy to line up mm -hmm. because you can see through them. Yeah. And the blade on Sizzix dies is right on the edge. So what you see in that kind of opening, that is where the edge is. That's exactly where so it's going to come. Yeah. They're really easy to line up. So you just jiggle it about till you're happy. Um, there we go. Like so. I use a bit of Sizzix Maker's Tape just to hold it in place and mm -hmm. then we run it through. Excellent. I've got to let you know, the quantity is going very rapidly at the moment. It's our busiest show of the day so far today. Um, the expectation has been that great. 
And even I'm impressed at the discount we can give you and the fact it's on four split pays instead of two or three um, to get a, a brand new collection home. And remember, this is only one of the collaborations that Sizzix is planning during this year. And it's a, a great one. Designer Katie Petit, remember, from uh, 49 and Market. It's, um, it's been waited for by so many people. And normally, we just think of paper pads with, with that brand. But today, you're getting the dies and the layering stamps, which is relatively rare. And they've done it beautifully. They really have. They have. They really have. So I've got my leaves ready to go on. And I'm going to cut a butterfly as well. Let's grab the butterflies. Mm -hmm. Now, for this card, card, this journal, I'm only going to use the top layer because this is the beauty of having the layers. You don't have to use them all together. If you just want a butterfly, you can have a butterfly. And remember, so, the dies are tucked in the packaging with the stamps. So they I know are. They're off out of shot at the moment. But so for the butterflies, you've got two different go. size butterflies. There's the dies. Um, you've got all these fabulous layers. So with the butterflies, you've got more layers to this. Mm -hmm. These are great just as, as sort of splattery backgrounds on their own anyway but you can see you can do the solid color with one one color and then layer these up and you don't have to use all the layers you can just pick one do all three do two etc mm -hmm. so um really really fun to play with and i think if you're someone that doesn't like all the mess but you like that look then this collection is just perfect. And I think as crafters, we're always looking for a new way of crafting, a new technique maybe. Maybe you've used layering stamps before, but you're looking at these thinking, well, although they're layering stamps, they're different types of layering stamps. Yes, exactly, exactly. They are a bit different, you know, and as you know, Dave, I've been around a long time mm -hmm. doing this. Mm -hmm. And it is really exciting, you know, you saw how excited I was earlier. Oh, absolutely. Um, it is nice to, to have something so new and exciting because, you know, it doesn't happen every day, does it? No. So I'm going to do a butterfly. I think I'm going to have my leaves like so. And I'm just going to do a butterfly on vellum. So I'm going to just stamp. We'll go with the smaller one. We'll just stamp that. I'm going to stamp it and heat emboss it because obviously I'm stamping on vellum. Mm -hmm. My ink won't dry very quickly unless I use a Stazon or a Brilliance, but I'm using VersaFine Clair. I'm using brown because I think black would be a bit too harsh with all that loveliness I've got there. And I'm just going to put, so that I don't smudge that, I'm just going to put clear embossing powder over it. Okay. Because then I can't smudge the ink. It means we haven't got a hang about waiting for that to dry. So I'll just put clear over. It will also give it a nice shiny outline as well. Which and also it may well be that nice. you don't necessarily want to use the layering stamps every time when you use no, the outline. You that's, I like to mix it up and I thought, do you know what? I'll just use the outline for this because we've used the layering for the leaves. Let's do something different for the butterfly. Because obviously once you start using acetate and vellum and things like that, there are other things you can do with a stamp. Mm -hmm. So... And by the way, individuals are on the website now. We don't have masses of quantities of the individuals, but if your budget doesn't go to 99.99, even with split pay, um, you might think, oh, I just fancy one of them, or maybe you just want the butterflies, or you just want maybe some of the stamps or whatever. Have a little look on the website. They are there individually priced for you. So I've turned it over onto the back, and I'm just going to add a little bit of colour from behind. So I've just got some alcohol pens. I've got a Copic and a Pro Marker. I mix and match my pens because alcohol pens are pretty much the same. It's just about which colour you like and mm -hmm. do the centre. So when I turn that back over, you'll see that. And it's quite subtle. Because yeah, I love it. I've gone with dark colours because, of course, once you look at it through the vellum, it, it tones it down a bit. Now, these are genius because um, you've even got the tiny little antennae there. But I've got a little peephole in my die. Mm -hmm. So when I line this up with the butterfly, as long as I can see my brown ink through that tiny little cutout there, I know I'm lined up because obviously to go around those very fine little details there. So I'm going to put a bit of tape on it so that doesn't slip and I can run that through. And this has saved me the, I mean, fussy cutting around butterflies is a bit fiddly. So I'm really grateful to have this die to do that work for me. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. 
So we'll pop that out and it's beautifully die cut. Even look at the detail on that. Gorgeous. Perfect. Um, you know, and Dave, you know, when we're here, it's very hard to line things up because we can't lean forward because of the camera over our heads. Absolutely. <laughs> so the fact that that's done that beautifully shows you how helpful that die is. So I'm going to pop my butterfly up here. I'm just going to put a bit of hot glue and I'll keep it to where I've got the pen behind so it won't show through. And the rule with butterflies always is you stick it in the middle. So don't stick the wings down. Yeah. You want to lift them up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we can pop those beautiful watercolour leaves on. And, and of course, this could be a card. doesn't have to be a journal this, or a book. This or layout would work for, yeah, a card. Box frame. Box frame. Yeah, it would be lovely as a gift, wouldn't it, framed? Absolutely lovely. So look at that. I mean, it looks... It looks like I've painted it, doesn't it? Exactly, absolutely. And just to show you a few other fantastic finished samples we've got here as well. I mean, again, this is using some of the dies and the stamps in this collection. Absolutely magnificent. Here's another one as well. Just bring that in so you can see that beautiful leaf that's in the collection too. But it's very important that I show you exactly what you're going to get because I was hoping to have a separate set that I could show you as a, like a little flick through, but we've only got one. That's how scarce it is. So let me just flick through exactly what you're getting in the collection here so there's no, um, no uh, misapprehension or anything like that. So here, this is the first one we're going to show you. So when you look at the packaging, you can see you've got this beautiful distressed flower, which is not only a, a stamp, but it's also a die to cut out that shape for you as well. So that's the first one you're going to get in the collection. And these are going to work in any die cutting machine. It doesn't have to be um, a big shot or anything like that. It can be any brand. Um, and this one? is the beautiful labels that you can see here as well. You've got, again, that lovely kind of splodge design, for want of a better word, the squiggle there as well, which I would struggle to do freehand, but the stamp gives it to you to perfection every single time, so you get that stamp set. Uh, this is a stamp and die set. These three beautiful, well, two butterflies and the dragonfly is a stamp and die combination. Then we've got this, which is stamps, purely stamps. You've got the word curious. Uh, you are amazing, celebrate, uh, celebrate every moment and hello happiness, really lovely and again the splodges are there for you. You've then got the leaf design which is again a stamp and die set, beautiful, so there's all your layering elements to it and the die in the background. The toadstool I think is probably my favourite out of all of them, I love this and again you've got the outline die or outline stamp should I say. And then the fill-in layer for your layering techniques, which, of course, Sharon has done using oxide inks and then spritzing it with water to give you that a true watercolour effect. And there's the die to cut them out in the back. Two more, your butterflies, more butterflies. This time, again, stamps and dies. That, of course, Car uh, Sharon was using, of course, in the last demonstration. There they are. And then finally, you get your beautiful seven stamps and die in this particular set of the wildflowers. So you've got the outline, you've got the layering stamps, the butterfly layering stamps, and the die in the background to cut it all out. And remember, this is uh, a brand new thing for us to bring you here from Sizzix, and it's a collaboration between that amazing designer, Katie Petit is the name of the designer, and 49 and Market is the brand, which I know many of you have been familiar with over the months and years for their papers and their uh, 12 by 12 paper pads, that sort of thing. Well, they don't very often venture into dies and stamps, but with the brilliant culmination uh, of getting to, to, together with Sizzix, they've produced these for you today. So it is a milestone show today. First one of three. We've got two more shows planned tomorrow, but the stock is going incredibly quickly. And remember, it should be £151 on a few pence. We've given you £50 off which if you look online or whatever, you'll see that's an amazing deal. And it's on four-way split pay. So that's a treat. It's a treat for us to have the collection. It's a treat for you to have the split pay. All you have to pay today is £24.99. So rather than having to find £150 in one go, which you would have to elsewhere, you have to find just £24.99 today and you will get the £151 collection delivered to your door in the next few days. It's in our warehouse, ready to be dispatched. We get it from Sizzix. It goes in our warehouse. It then gets dispatched directly to you. So what a treat this evening. What a great way to start your weekend. P O X C. Zero, 03. Now, we mentioned the journal die, didn't we, earlier on? 
Yes. Um, the Eileen Hull Journal die. Now, we do have that in the show. It We've is, of course... We've got two, Dave. That's the field notes die. Oh, you want the big one? The big one is the one I just used. Okay. Yeah. So that's this one here. So this is an A4 Biggs die. Okay, so you will need your Big Shot machine. You need the Big Shot Plus or the yep. Switch for that one because it is A4. So it's a like um, a cartridge But it die. makes the journal that we've just decorated. So okay. it's a nice sort of A5 journal that you get to work with. Now, we have this available. Um, and remember, this is the one that's got the steel blades that are concealed within the felt. And it will cut out the front of your journal. Cut it out twice. It will cut the back out. And then instant journal. And you've even got, of course, all the other elements that you need to kind of decorate maybe the spine of your journal as well uh, and this will cut through grey board mount board all that exactly even leather even leather yep uh, now 46.99 we still have some stock we had this on shows last week and if you're thinking about using what we've just launched in conjunction with making your own journals and memory books notebooks that sort of thing we can let you have this die today if you've got the machine that will take this die we can let you have it for not 40 anything not even 30 anything half price I know, twenty three forty nine. I remember when these dies used to be 40, 50 quid each. Yeah, well, going back, yeah. they were about 100. Yeah, when they um, first came when out. When they first came out, yeah. Twenty three forty nine. but if you're maybe thinking of doing journaling or making journals for your own personal pleasure or to sell at craft fairs, you know, what would you sell a journal that's been handmade for? 20, 25 pounds? Mm, at least. At least. I think so. Uh, and you can make, you know, take commissions. Uh, Susan in Mauritius is in. Hello, Martin. John in West Sussex. Hello to Amy in Surrey. Crafter in New York's coming through. Yes, we can ship to America with Sizzix. So if you are watching us in America, we ship your shipping and handling or, or cap your shipping and handling at $12.95. That's for a 24 hour period from midnight to midnight. So if you missed out on it last time, or maybe these stamps and dies we're showing you today, the new collection is making you think, do you know what? I want to start journaling. I want to start making books. I want to start making notebooks. Uh, even if it's just like a telephone jotter to have by the side of the phone. A third of the stock of this is now gone. I'm not surprised at half price. No, it's a great deal. And it just um, proves... It does work so beautifully with this collection as well, as does the other journal that we've got. Um, and actually, Sizzix did ask me what else to put on this show yeah. because um, I really like the whole field notes type theme, that whole botanical thing. And these... This collection just works for that theme. It does. Um, I mean, this is the journal. This is the size it's going to make, isn't it? Yeah, so that's the big one. Yeah. That's the big one. There we go. Look. So that's the, the size. That, that's a really practical journal. You can keep it, of course, in your little bag if you want to. It's not too big that it's going to get in the way, but it's big enough that you can do a lot with it, you know, and it's so easy to put your little notebooks inside it, or indeed you can fill it with memories. You can fill it with your artwork. You can fill it with sand tangle if you've got tiles. Exactly. Sort of and Dave, I want you to comment on how beautiful my notebooks are because I made those with the synth. They are gorgeous. That I put in there. So if you've got the cinch, you can even make your own notebooks. Look at those. Put in there. There we go. <laughs> Thermal cinch has done that in the middle. So and of course, because I made my own notebooks, I could make the covers from watercolour card, which meant I could then decorate them with the stamps. Do you know what? I've, I've, since I since I presented the, the show with Carla with a thermal cinch, I've noticed a massive, massive increase in the demand for anything to do with journaling. Yes. Journaling yes. a few years ago, not many people were into it. Not many people did it. No. But thousands of people bought the thermal cinch. And I think now they're going, well, in that case, I can buy that die. You bought maybe the Switch recently that takes mm -hmm. the big dies, uh, or maybe you bought the Big Shop uh, Plus that takes the big dies because of that reason. You want to start making journals and selling them more. Yes, them. and if you're selling, it's, it's such a great, uh, you know, they work so well together. Absolutely. Uh, we've got one more die as well. If you want to do the slightly smaller journal, You've we've got, got this one as well. One, Dave, at the end of the counter, next, at the back of the counter. Oh, That's here. That's it, yeah. Okay. Show you the so size. <laughs> this size, there we go, still a good size, but this die will cut out the elements to cut and make fantastic books and journals like this and this now, one is called the field notes and it has got that field notes botanical idea to it which means that frame that i've put on the front of my journal that's kind of replicating the sort of field note type thing where you'd have a butterfly in the frame yeah so of course it it's the ideal accompaniment to this set Perfect. Well, today it should be fifty pounds and ninety nine pence. Again, you will need to have either a, uh, a Big Shot Plus or indeed a switch machine that will take the thicker cartridge dies. Um, if you've gone for maybe the other one that we just showed you a few minutes ago, which was the Eileen Hull, uh, the larger one. If you want this one as well to offer a bit of variety, so you can be making journals that size, or indeed with this die journals this size and this shape. The die will actually cut out that fancy edge to your pages as well, which is rather sweet. Mm. Um, 29 99 for this one. 
It's one of my all-time favourites because I love the curved um, cover and the pages. It's just such a nice look. Yeah, it is. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So we're now in single figure stock for this particular die, £29, £99. And again, that could be full of photographs. It could be full of memories. It could be full of recipes. It could be a garden journal as we're starting to think about our gardens now as spring mm. is very much here. Uh, it's up to you what you make it into. But when you've got the die, you can make as many of them as you like. Yes, exactly. And it is perfect to decorate with these stamps and dies. Brilliant. But whatever you do, don't miss out on this. It's the launch of the 49 and Market collection today, um, which is incredible. And all of what you're getting, it's just brilliant. It really, really is. You get a lovely collection of stamps and dies, all brand new, uh, from Katie Petit. She's the actual designer behind all of these. And again, it's a combination, as I say, of stamps and dies. I'll quickly flick through them for you. That's a stamp and die set. That is a stamp set. But again, you're going to get that distressed kind of splodge effect with the actual frame on there. You've got this is dies and stamps with the butterflies and the dragonfly. You've got these uh, that are purely stamps on their own. And you've got cu uh, Curious, uh, You Are Amazing, Celebrate Every Moment, Hello Happiness as stamps. And all those splodges, are they look as if they're random, but in actual fact, they're, they're very planned. They're fabulous because they, it just saves you having to try and do them because... Even as someone that does do that technique quite a lot, there is quite a lot of unpredictability and about it. Wrong. And you can go really wrong and you end up with a splatter right in the middle of your stamped element. So um, to cheat and do it with stamps is, is genius. And two more, and then I'll let you get on with some more demo, Sharon, if that's okay. There's yeah. your butterflies, stamps and dies. And then finally, your wildflower stamps and dies. There we go. How beautiful are those? And it's something a bit different. You can stamp with a solid colour, but I love your idea of using oxide, spritzing them, and it gives you a true watercolour effect. Yeah, it gives you even more of a sort of um, organic look. Um, you wouldn't know you'd just stamped no. that then. No. So it, it, it adds to the effect. So shall we make, because we've got another die set on the show, the waterfall die set, which I did have only a week or so ago. Let me grab my dies to show you. This is going to create a lovely little element to pop inside my notebook to put even more decorating. So I thought what we'll do is we'll create a little waterfall. Okay. And because in this set with the, it's called engraved wings, I've got two butterflies and a, and a dragonfly. Now, just to let you know, if you want to create your own uh, waterfall effect in your journals or on your cards or whatever, Twenty-one ninety-nine will give you all the... These are thin-net dies, OK? So these are not the cartridge bigs dies. They're thin-net dies for any die-cutting machine. They are. Tonight, look at what we can do. For an extra element of interest in a book or a journal or something like that, you can have the waterfall die for nine ninety-nine, and it's dies, multiples. Yes, it is. Um, and I would say if you have any journal dies, this is a really useful thing to have because it creates a waterfall. Um, which will make sense as I put it together. But it's a really nice thing to have inside your journals because it adds interest. Um, with the die, you get a sort of background piece, which I've cut from Pink Card. There's a score line across the top. So I'm going to do three because I've got two butterflies and a dragonfly. So we've got all of those. It also gives you the little slots. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of card that's going to be my waterfall. I've threaded through those slots some burlap and I've actually put magnets on them. These magnets you'll find on the website. Let me just quickly show you. They're Carnation Crafts, everyday craft magnets. Daisy, you must know these very oh, well. Oh, yes, I know them inside. Um, yep. You get a ton of these. You get 30 in a pack. They're really good for this kind of thing because they're very thin. They don't add any bulk. So all I've done is I've taken a bit of burlap and I've hot glued the magnets. And of course, that gives me a closure. And when I put this together, you'll, you'll understand why I wanted a closure. So let's put this together, and then we can get to stamping and decorating it. So first up, I've got the three sort of waterfall elements. I'm just going to pop those on just with a bit of tape. Mm -hmm. And then we can put decorated panels on top of them. Half price for the dies to make your waterfalls. And they're so happy it's, to have in... This is a die set you're going to be using for years to come. Yeah. I... I I kind of don't even put this one away um, in my craft room because I, I end up using it on nearly every show. So all you're going to do is kind of line up the edges 
I might be a bit wonky here because I can't lean right forward. And then sit we'll let back you down. Off. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky. And then you even get a lovely little scallop piece which you can pop at the top to make it look pretty. So I've used some Sizzix pattern paper for that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to work my way down, put these three on. And just to let you know tomorrow, if you're planning your weekend, tomorrow afternoon, one o'clock, is our next show with the 49 and Market. So if you're wanting more demonstration and more inspiration yes. on how to use the layering stamps and the dies, one o'clock tomorrow, make a lunchtime date with us. And when's the second show? Is four o'clock. So we're going to, I'm planning, I've got lots of card demos tomorrow. Okay. With, um, well, I'm going to try and show you all of it. There's so much in this collection, but I've tried through the demos to cover all of it. Okay. So cool. we're going to make that tag with the toadstool. We're going to do all the butterflies. There's that beautiful card with like a rainbow of butterflies. I'm going to show you how I did that. So yes, lots of, lots of like exciting. Yeah, isn't that just so vibrant? So yeah, we're going to do that tomorrow. So. How cool yeah. is that? I always try and get a rainbow in where I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so my waterfall's kind of ready. But now we've got these lovely little panels to decorate. So you get a die that cuts the panel. Let's put that out of the way for a second. And I've cut each of those from watercolour card. I've already done one just to save a bit of time. And what we're going to do is make those look a bit interesting as a background. So we're going to do these two. Okay. So I'm going to use various bits and bobs from the set. So first of all, we've got that frame set, which I mentioned before. You've got this fabulous like scribbly bit which is really, really quite delicate, actually. Mm -hmm. It's nice. So we're going to start with that. And I'm sticking with oxide inks because they have got that sort of lighter, chalky finish. Mm -hmm. I am going for a bit of a sort of shabby chic look here, really. And I'm going to be just stamping these really randomly. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do is random, but these yes. stamps kind of help you achieve it. It really helps you achieve it because if you are someone that tries to be too precise, it kind of doesn't really matter. No. Um, it does take that away from a little bit, I think. And then we can have some splatters. So I've got splatters in most of the sets, actually, which is great because if you only have one set of splatters, you They'll become see, obvious they do become a bit obvious one, yeah, yeah uh, it, it does you can tell sort of thing so um so i'm going to go in with a couple of pinks i've got somewhere here well, by the way we do have a few other items in the show that we haven't had a chance to get to like the stamp and stencil tool from sizzix that is available that's going to be put on the website right now for you um yes. lots of other bits and pieces of cardstock as well so have a little look if you haven't seen anything that takes your fancy if you want the stamping platform which doubles up as a stencil tool as well from Sizzix, bestseller brilliant idea brilliant invention it's on the uh, on the website right now for you to use with those stamps yeah it's it's a fabulous tool um i'm not using it with these because i am going for a messy look so if i miss stamp it doesn't really matter but i i would use it for sentiment for the sentiment sets because sure. You definitely don't want to mess up on those. And, you know, with these, it wouldn't matter really, would it? You wouldn't be able to tell if I missed a bit. No. So that's given me a nice, just a bit of a background. And then I am going to grab the one set that I used first. This is the flower set because this has got a little bit of text on it, which is quite nice. So bring back my brown. And I'm not going to put this on the block. I'm just going to touch in here and there a little bit of that text. So that's a nice background. Mm -hmm. And then we can start to do our butterflies and dragonfly. The other thing I am going to do is just ink around the edges to give that. This is such bright, white, crisp watercolour card. It doesn't quite fit with the look I'm going for. So if I just go around the edge. Be honest instantly. with me, the first day you got the stamps and dies, what time did you get to bed? <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> uh, quite late. Crafting till quite late. The wee small hours, yeah? <laughs> yeah. And because my craft room's at the end of the garden, my uh, 
partner rings me. Are you coming? Are you, are you, <laughs> you coming in? Are you coming to bed? <laughs> like, no, no, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> so those are going to be my backgrounds. So we can go ahead actually and just stick those in ready. I'll just glue those in and then we can add in. That's good you've got a, a separate um, little kind of she shed really, like a craft shed at the bottom it's, of the garden. It's fabulous, it really is. Um, because Your own little haven of yes, it's tranquility. Yes, crammed full, crammed full of things. Actually, do you know what I'm doing tonight, Dave? When I finish here, I'm going home and I'm a guest speaker at a summit called Paper Crafters Get Organised. Ooh. And I'm talking all about my organising and my shed. So if anyone's interested, just look it up. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, I've put a link on there. OK. Um, what time's that on then? It will be 10 o'clock our time. OK. It's like the intro. It, start, it started a couple of hours ago. I must admit, you've got the, the, the smartest and most organised craft room I think I've ever seen from anyone. I am, yes. I am a little bit obsessed with my, my organisation. We've only got five minutes left. Wow. Well, we'll at least get one of these done. If we don't get them all done, we can finish them off. So I've got butterfly um, and a dragon, two butterflies and a dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Now with these, these ones don't have a background. So these are fabulous for colouring in yourself if you want to. So I'm just going to stamp these with brown. Again, I don't want to use black. It's a bit too, a bit too harsh. And I'm just going to stamp these on watercolour card. Make sure you leave enough space around them. Don't forget you're going to use your dies to cut these out. We don't have to fussy cut with these. Would the um, layering stamps in the other butterfly set, would they, are they too you big? You could mix and match them. You could, yeah. If you're doing good, going for that kind of If you want to carry on effect. that look, yeah, this mm. is the beauty of having the whole collection. You can grab elements from, from all of them and, and bring them in. And of course, because you are going for a sort of splotchy look, um, it doesn't have to match. So, yes, you absolutely could. If you wanted to do that, you could just bring in any of them, Dave, really, and make them work. So, Well, um, just a, a word about what's on the screen, sorry. Um, the stencil and stamp tool, which is basically an A4 stamping platform with the stencil adapter. Uh, it's the lowest price we have ever, ever, ever taken this. It's in the box. I'm going to see if I can just take it out of the box to show you what it looks like. Um, this is the lowest price we've ever done. £50.99 is not the price. That's what it should be. Ooh, hang on. Oh, it's all sealed. Sorry. Hang on. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll bring mine tomorrow. All right. Show it. Actually, you can see it on the back there. I can't undo it now. There we go. Look, so basically that's the top where you put your stamps. Uh, you've got the sticky mat, um, of which you get one in there to get you started. And that is your stencil adapter. And you do get some um, stencil adapters that you can attach to your existing stencils you've got at home for doing layering. Um, let's drop the price, shall we? Here we go. And I will say, um, if you don't already have the stencil and stamp tool, Pete's bringing something on Monday that you're going to need it for. Ah. Just saying. Okay. And there will be separate stock allocated for that show, which might run out. So, uh, so if you've already got the stamping and stencil tool, tune in on Monday. If you want to yeah. go for it today so you're ready Get for ahead. what Pete's going to bring on Monday... I'm doing the show, but I don't know what it is yet. I've not looked that far ahead. So 39.99, it's on three-way split pay, so it's just £13.33 today if you want that. And that will go well with the stamps and dies you bought today and what Pete's bringing on Monday. I'm intrigued. Yes. Now, we won't get all three of these done. So I've done the dragonfly, and I'm just going to add a bit of colour to this butterfly. I'm trying to replicate that whole loose, loose look here. I'm not being not being precise so we're just going in two minutes that's all we've got left but we'll be back at one o'clock well, we'll and four o'clock tomorrow we'll die cut the dragonfly okay and then it can go on the top so again really easy to line up you can see exactly where you are with the dragonfly you've just got to line the body up really and you know you're you know you're right so that is my dragonfly, all neatly, even the little antennae bits. Of Perfect. So I would put, we'll put the dragonfly on the top one and then the others would go underneath. And it's just going to give me a lovely, lovely little feature for my journal. So if I bring the journal back in, mm -hmm. 
But equally, that would fit on the inside of a card. It could go on any sort it, of... Yes, it could be inside a card, on the front of a card. These, these waterfalls are great, actually, if you want to sort of use gift cards and things. Yeah. So that is going to go inside the cover. Or oh, like the Hobby Maker gift card. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So I would stick that there, and then you would have a whole little variety to flick through with your mm. other butterflies. So it's a really nice... Great for photos as well. Perfect. So, yeah. Sharon, thanks ever so much. Brilliant demos as ever. 49 in market, brand new today. It's the first show. If you've just got in, been out, whatever, switch the TV on. You can watch this show back a little bit later on this evening after we've finished, obviously, in a few minutes. Um, it's under £100 for all these layering stamps and, and fantastic dies as well. Should be 151 You're getting them today for under, under 100 And on four-way split pay means it's only... 24.99 to pay today plus your pmp unless you've already paid it uh thanks ever so much for your company i'll see you tomorrow at one so will sharon yes check out your baskets now and thanks for watching see you tomorrow when you purchase anything on hobby maker you have a 30-day money-back guarantee meaning that you can shop with confidence Happy shopping with Hobbymaker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to crafting or a seasoned pro, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 1pm to 8pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. a show by watching on the go with our brand new hobby maker app head over to your app store now and search hobby maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet you can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests click on the today's button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show want to know what's hot then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. So never miss a show by watching On The Go with our brand new Hobby Maker app. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. Shopping with Hobby Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.hobbymaker.co.uk where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day.
We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your craft room essentials to paper 